we are here. To be fair, uh, to be fair, I got up this morning and there's nothing. There's nothing in Whitney. And then as, so I thought, oh, I'll leave. And then as I got to, to Broadway and Ensham, yep. there, was, there was a slight... Quite a lot of snow. And then there's quite a bit up here. There is quite a bit, isn't there? <laughs> it's strange, there's weird banding. So they've got oh. it down in the south and then there's a gap where Oxfordshire is. And then there's the Midlands and then there's another gap and then there's Scotland. It's, it's bizarre. And Wales, don't forget Wales. Wales. Yes. Wait, my Welsh friends have got school, snow days today, I think. Snow days. Snow days. So the kids are like, yes! When I was so desperate, she was up super <laughs> early this morning looking out the window. <gasps> Mummy, have you heard from the school? Have you heard from the school, Mummy? No, not yet. Oh. Get your school uniform on. <laughs> yes. I, I'm not going to lie, I did almost go flying in the car park. <laughs> Listen, we've got our security out, gritting everything, salting everything, and still almost Crazy, flying. Stay safe, yeah. everybody. Yes, it's uh, it's 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 fun. Let's, let's it just say. looks so beautiful. That's, it does. That's, I that's, love that's, snow. So it's, but when you're snuggled in home, it, it, when you it's haven't lovely, got to do anything, it? when you have, you've got a fifty mile drive. You yes. Just well, I mean, yeah, you're fifty miles. I'm yeah, literally yeah, around the corner, yeah. so but I shouldn't complain. Fun. But my, we're here, and my goodness me, have we got an amazing amazing Thursday morning plan for you. Now, a little bit of a heads up because your deal of the day today was um, originally going to be Zarite. So we were going to be bringing you beautiful Zarite, Zoltanite, whichever way you refer, you refer mm -hmm. to it. That hasn't landed. So um, quick change around. That will come at a later stage. But I have to say, we've taken a little bit of initiative and we've taken one of your major uh, showcases from the birthday, the first day of the birthday. So it was meant, this was meant to be on the 4th really? of May. So yeah, oh, this amazing. is, so yeah. Wayne, Wayne was like, he did take some convincing um, to actually include it in today's show. For, for this gemstone, you are the perfect presenter of it. Oh, thank you. So, oh, you know, did it? Thank yeah, you, Ross is yeah. saying that's what, that's what tipped it. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm flattered by that, yeah. but I, probably because I'm obsessed with Malachi. And I was thinking about this last night. Malachi is your new deal of the day today. So you won't have seen any promos for this. Um, oh my goodness it's me. The quality it? is unbelievable. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think, I was thinking about this last night because I, like, I think we've seen the turning point of Malachi. You know, do you remember when we go back, rewind? I don't know, three years maybe, when we started raving about Malachite mm. here at Jewelry Maker. And certainly when I was over in Tucson, it was a bit of a laughing joke, you know, that where's Al? Oh, should be by the Malachi. Um, and that's because really, like my, my, and I'm sure they'd say this as well, um, my friends on Gems weren't really into it that as much as I was and as much as we are here at Jewelry Maker, not really that into it as much as, as we get behind it. However, have you noticed now, it, there's a huge shift. It's everywhere at the moment, isn't it? It's literally in all the biggest yeah. names. Um, and I've actually got, and I, I forgot to send it to Ross this morning in amongst sort of trudging through snow. Um, I've got an article which says that, literally from the year 2022, yeah. Malachi is the, one of the hottest yeah. stones, one of the hottest trends. And you know what's going to happen? It's, it's going to become rarer and rarer and the prices are going to go up. So well, grab it when you see it. Grab it when yeah. you see it. And, and I know, you know, testament to our buying team, I know how difficult it is to buy in strands because over at Tucson, mm. where you can buy pretty much anything, apart from Jet, um, you can buy pretty much anything. I saw Malachi in abundance, but not in strands. No. This so um, they were free forms. So check out these. Honestly, they're coming up today as your 10 o'clock. They were meant to be on the launch of your birthday. We may put them on pre-order because <laughs> be, at nine o'clock now, that is, um, purely because we haven't had the opportunity to promo this. And it is such a special showcase. Um, so that's happened at 10 o'clock today. So I'm really excited about that. And, and first thing I asked you, Ross, what was it when you, when you messaged me? First other rounds that's the first thing i asked because we don't see the rounds wow. very often and i know that lovely jewelry makers they're your favorites aren't they so they're coming up at 10 o'clock can i also show you now this is happening at nine o'clock not before so you can't pre-order on this um you yeah. have yeah Absolutely. do you know what this is going to no idea well this is no. a three oh sorry this is a three carat tanzanite in a beautiful cabochon, I'm going to give you a price pledge. You can't pre-order it yet. You'll have to be watching at nine o'clock. This is going under ten pounds today <laughs> for Tanzanite. But, oh, but 
There is a catch. There are only 200 of them available. So you will need to be quick on that. And if you think about it, if people multiply, maybe they're thinking earrings, um, then all of a sudden that quantity drops to 100. So, yeah, that's coming up at 9 o'clock today. We've also got some beautiful Hessenite garnet. We've got some amazing pearls. We've got some lovely kits, of course, because we've got Gorgeous Mark. We've got an amazing show today. So I put on my Facebook post last night that we've got the final, I mean, there are single oh, figures this. of most of them. But I've got, I've got a new range that the prototypes are very nearly here and we're desperately, desperately hoping to launch it in birthday week. I can't tell you much about it. I've probably told the world everything about it so far, but <laughs> I can't. So we need to clear some space. So we've got the very, we've got 13 lines. That's all we've got left of the chestnut close range. Uh. Lots of single figures. We've got a couple in the doubles and that's it. That's all we've got. So that's coming up at nine o'clock. So if anyone misses certain pieces for their collections, we've got those coming up at nine o'clock. Or maybe, or maybe sort of, I'll get that one over this one, had to, you know, absolutely, budget yeah. during the yes, launch, um, yeah. but wanted those other pieces, then today's the day. Yeah, absolutely. For example, yeah. when we when, when we discussed this, I actually said, oh, is there the poppy? Because I need the mm. poppy. Um, so there we go. Here's that opportunity. Yeah. But um, there might be some little, because we are, this is going to be, yeah. we're going to fun be functional as well, mm -hmm. give you that one wonderful opportunity to purchase your, your chest at close pieces um, but yes we do need to clear space for the imminent launches mm -hmm. um, that are coming up um, so there might be a little price reductions on those as well so watch this space yeah how exciting is that um, yeah it's going to be incredible we've got some beautiful strands all around us we've got some wonderful hessenite garnet as your early bird um, this hour as well um, do get interactive is it snowing where you are you can tell it's snowing here because literally my head's me. <laughs> Tom and Tom, can I just uh, can I just paint the scene? Yesterday, Tom and I have made a pledge. Tom's my husband, by the way. Um, Tom and I have made a pledge to one another, and um, it's like in in you know, we just want we both want to lose a few pounds, get a little bit fitter, etc. You know, get rid of the winter and the Christmas right. um, rolls. Mm. Um, so we've both said to one another, and I think you'll like this, um, that we're both going to. A brisk walk. That's a good idea. Yes, because yeah. it's really good exercise, isn't yeah, it? Absolutely. Brisk walk, yeah. 45 minutes a minimum per day. Okay. Regardless of the weather. That's what we said. Regardless of the weather. So yesterday, I came to work, and obviously I'm not going to do it before work, but I came to work, trainers, leggings, big fluffy coat, got changed in, in the dressing room, right? Off I go for my brisk walk. I got back into the car. You should have seen the state of it. Just completely oh. soaked through. You know, when you have like, it was, it was raining. You rain literally on the end oh. of your eyelashes. Yeah, but I did it. You I did, did it and I will do it today as well. So there we are, watch this space. No, right then, should we get cracking? Remember, have a little look at the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Everything is locked and loaded. Ready. So you can shop ahead. There will be some items that are much more limited, um, so much more abundant. But let's get cracking with your beautiful creations. I can see a stunning one That's before amazing. us. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Wow. Um, it's the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Start, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, we'll, we'll share these, shall we? This Look at this. Amazing. How beautiful that is. I love that. Coming from our Sue. Sue, that's absolutely wow. stunning. It's so different. That's what I love about it. Um, wow. Sue, you're number 419. Hi, this is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's one of my Etsy shop. Uh, it's, sorry, it's one for my Etsy shop in the statement section. Beautiful aquamarine and pearls, as always, from Jewelry Maker. Well, Sue, that is lovely. Love that piece. Wow. Number 420 is from Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Oh, oh my goodness, again. Yeah. I'm obsessed with wisteria. And that gives me wisteria vibes. Um, and Sandra's saying, here is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. A spring necklace to welcome all my spring flowers that are popping up in my garden. Well, that's beautiful. Absolutely love that. Uh, number 421 is from Diana. 
Hello, Diana. Oh, loving oh, this. Look at that. Um, beautiful colours. I think I can guess the gemstone. Good morning, jewellery maker. Please find attach my latest entry to the Wall of Fame. Um, I just simply restranded the Amazonite and sea beads, adding a gold plated toggle clasp. Um, all items are from Jewelry Maker except the daffodil. Um, enjoying the brilliant demos and the great tips from the guest designers. Absolutely, Diana. That's absolutely beautiful. This is a very sweet daffodil as well. I love that. That's Over amazing. Number 422 is from Janine. Oh, wow. Look at these. Oh, I love those dragons. The little dogs, aren't they? Good morning, all at JM Studio. Here is my entry for this week. It's made from type A jadeite in white, Burmese green and black. I've turned it into a four millimetre marla with the jadeite hand. The sterling silver beads are from my own stash. Good luck to everyone this week who has entered. That's beautiful, isn't it? I love that, Janine. So Amazing. Number 423 is from Tracy. And Tracy says, morning, you lovely people at JM. Please find attached my entry for this week. It's an earring and necklace set made from fossil coral. When did we last have fossil coral? Funny you should say that, actually. Wayne mentioned it yesterday. Oh, did he? Yeah. Oh, so no. maybe watch this space. Yeah. Plain rounds, picture Jasper plain rounds, a faceted yellow opal pair, gold plated spaces, shepherd hooks and toggle clasps, all purchased from JM. Good luck to everyone and love and best wishes. That's stunning. Thank you, Tracy. That is, that is, I, love, I love fossil coral. That's just really be, uh, Do you know what? The attention to detail, it's that little piku at the yeah. bottom. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Stunning. Incredible. And last entry today is 424 and it's Barry. Oh, maybe a hu husband and wife team, maybe. I think there. maybe. I'll look at that. Amazing. That's your sort of jewellery. Yeah, you're wearing this. I would definitely yeah. wear that. Hi all, please find my entry for this week. It's a shell pearl and gold plated spacer sliding bracelet with everything purchased from JM. Keep up the good work and best wishes to all. It's That's gorgeous. Amazing. Look at the talent. Well, good luck, well everybody. Well um, still got time for you to send your entries into the Wall of, Ca uh, Wall of Fame, which obviously happens on a Wednesday. Um, amazing. Um, yeah, come and say hello to us this morning. Tell us what you're up to. Have you got a snow day? I, th I think that's what my six-year-old is hoping for. So we shall see. Yeah, it would be good though, wouldn't it? Do, 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 yeah, we don't ever get a snow day. No, no, no. I remember, I remember the last time. <laughs> the last time there was really heavy snow, and you might get away with it because you are so far away. I can remember once upon a time, um, literally management who had this massive oh, four yeah. by four driving, yeah. a, literally picking. That was us when all we had up. Beast from the East. Beast from the East. Yes. I remember. Yeah. Beast from these, we got picked up by uh, the big bosses. That's right, yes. <laughs> They're four by fours. Right then, okay, let's get cracking, shall we? Um, again, do take another little look at the website, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. If you click watch live, scroll down, um, and you'll see all the items that are locked and loaded, so you can, uh, you can purchase, you can shop ahead. Even if the items are saying um, an amount, doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna be staying there. We may be taking them even lower. Um, some are already priced up, for example. There's that beautiful Hessonite garnet I was talking about. You've got Kotan mutton fat in your butterflies. Oh, the, the gem set Baroque pearl. I love that. Um, that's coming up. Bumblebee Jasper. Wow. Um, but that gem set pearl, by the way, is not even here yet. The snow has actually prevented it getting here so far. What, what, what? Blue amber. Oh, yeah. Baltic Gosh, sapphire, blue ombre amber. amber. Extremely limited, as is the nephrite. Um, oh, I love that uh, that that beaded chain. Be mm, chain, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, spiny oyster, got some spiny oyster in there as well. Take a little look; it's worth having a, a little peruse. Um, and of course, you can shop ahead on every single one of those amazing pieces. Right then, okay. What would you like me to start with, Roscoe? Uh, I have. Oh my goodness, it's amazing, Amazonite. Yeah, do you notice I hesitated then picking it up? It's like chrysoprase, isn't it's it? It's the colour. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Oh, faceted Amazonite. Firstly, how often do we see that? Look at this colour, though. Oh, my goodness me. Peruvian Amazonite. In, well, if we're allowed favourites, I would say it's one of mine just because it tends to glow. It's mm. got the most beautiful quality of saturation. Uh, absolutely. So I'm reiterating what Ross is just saying in Mark and My Ear. Um, yeah, it has become one of our absolute favourite gemstones here at Jewelry Maker um, because, you know, premium grade like this, I think you'd all agree that's what this is. Um, you know, it just it's just got this wonderful presence. It's got almost parade esque colours. Um, I agree. Ross is saying I think this is one of the best rounds we've ever seen. It's beautiful. How many do we have? 20. Oh. 
We were going so well, weren't we, Mark, <laughs> until we looked at the quantity. Oh, tell a lie, oh. says Ross. Don't lie, Ross. That... <laughs> No, he, he actually, he, he actually, can't, he actually can't lie. Do you know? Do... <laughs> oh, dear me. Um, he says he can't tell lies. No, well, that's a good thing. That's a positive trait. He says actually, there's fifty. There's fifty of these available, so um, wow. slightly pl more plentiful than we originally thought. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence for that level of quality. Again, you can see in the graphics right now, not a single enhancement whatsoever. How beautiful would this be? I'm going to throw this one in there. How about this with your malachite? I think so. You've got that hint of black running through. Yeah. Running. I think that'd be really nice. Shall I grab a strand? Yeah, that is nice. It works, doesn't it? Mm, yeah. It's the shades of green. Um, so there are 50 of these available. Everybody loves um, Amazonite. Don't, well, that's a very general statement, but I think most I think people it's do. <laughs> it's become your favourite, isn't it? It's my number one. Number yeah. one. Yeah. We're going to give you a bigger saving, even though we are... It's already... a mega deal, apparently, I've A just heard. mega deal. Yeah. Who said that, Ross? Mm. Yeah, he loves a mega deal. For this quality, he says. I agree, I agree. It is amazing quality. Goodness me, that is low. Wow. That is low. Do you know what? You could you could look... Amazonite is in lots of the big jewellery brand name, uh, names yeah. at the moment, yeah. but it's actually... It's much more of a pastel, would you agree? Mm. More of a pastel-like yeah, yeah. no, colour. Um, whereas this has got a lovely, intense, glowing saturation. We had 50 available opportunities. You're not restricted if you want to multi-buy, you absolutely can. Come and say hello to us as well here in the studio. We'd love to hear from you. Um, okay, okay, there's a six second clock on the screen. A couple I, of weeks, I can't remember, I don't think it was with you, it might have been with Carol, but I, a couple of shows ago, I did a full demo on the goddess bracelet. Yes. And this shape and size would be absolutely perfect for your goddess bracelet. That'd be beautiful because the mm. luster catches. Yeah, That's the one with the wire lovely. which kind of wraps around yeah, it. Sort of a, it's like, a, like a zigzag. Yeah, yeah. lovely. Yeah. I yeah. remember that clearly. Yeah. Um, okay, we're going even lower. Ruth's on it. Well done, Ruth. Victoria, hello to you. Straight away, multi buyers. Mary, well done. Beverly, well done. West Midlands, hello to you. Brenda and Surrey, Jean, new customers. Lovely to be with you on this very snowy Thursday morning. Coldest March since 2010. Uh, yeah, I heard that on the radio. Yeah. Um, not last night, the night before was the coldest night in 13 years. Wow. So yeah, that makes sense, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. That makes sense. That's Crazy. exactly what you just said, but I just reworded your <laughs> sentence. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, I did feel it as well, did you? Yeah. Stay wrapped up, all cosy and warm. It's beautiful. I think that I know where he's going. I think I do. I think I've got, I yeah. think I've, we pick up a vibe, don't we? Yep. Yeah. Is that what you were thinking? Yeah. Under £10. We've squeezed it under £10. Which and is what better. we were saying this morning, that's two litres of petrol saved. That's what we were looking at it this morning. It has come down dramatically, hasn't yeah. it? Still not quite enough. It can no, still I'd come agree. down 20, 30p, but I'd agree. it's better than nothing. I'd agree. At least it's yeah. not over two quid. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, I went into our supermarket on, on uh, when did I go Monday to get some get our weekly shop, and um, we've run out of olive oil because we use a lot of oh, olive gosh. oil. It's gone up from four pound fifty a bottle to eight quid for the same item. Over but doubled. I, I didn't. I didn't buy it. Well, it has doubled. Yeah. Yeah. Nearly doubled. Nearly doubled. Oh yeah. my goodness! And you're only allowed to buy one bottle at a time as well. It's one bottle per customer. What you're rationed on your olive oil? Oh, olive oil. Apparently, it's, it's the nationwide thing. Yeah. It's, oh. It's crazy, isn't it? Goodness me! I know. Yeah. It's the way of the world, isn't it, at the moment? We were talking about, we were talking about the Lou Roll gate, do you remember? Oh, yeah, <laughs> Lou Roll. Oh. Yeah, that, oh, that got silly, didn't it? We were all literally <laughs> wrestling over toilet, <laughs> toilet roll. We're a strange breed, aren't we? Oh, we Brits? are, rather. We are. Oh, my goodness, everybody else is buying toilet roll, so I've got to buy toilet roll as well. You know, who'd have thought... Oh. The year where we all went a little bit, oh, well, well, oh. I mean, I get it, I do get it. Um, um, a little bit loopy, yes. Um, what's that? Sorry, the clover connectors have been requested. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, are we going to be doing wow. those now? I don't think I've ever seen so many multi buyers for the first sale of the day. Look, yeah, Threes, two, I'm not surprised six, though. Four, six. I'm not surprised. The One quality of that Amazonite yeah. is so beautiful. Yeah. Okay, see if I can do this. Do you get both then? We get both well, of these. Oh, they're beautiful. Very Alhambra-esque. Very much so. Oh, 
Now, they are oh. not cubic zirconias. We are looking at a beautiful, round, brilliant cut spinel, black spinel, and also sky blue topaz. Wow. In your 925 sterling silver as well. So these are precious metals. Um, a connector does so much more than connect. Well, I'm just thinking what you could... I would use them as earrings. Get, get a couple of sets and make a chain tassel from nice. either end and make the most of it, or, or a mala tassel, anything like That'd that. You be don't beautiful. need to use them as a Put them on your slider bracelets, yeah. couldn't you? You That'd could pop them. Yeah. Um, it's a way of actually attaching sort of multiple mm. layers as well, I guess. Yep. A connector, I just think a connector is a very general term mm. and it can do absolutely loads. Um, so again, these are 925 sterling silver. Straight away, immediately, we've got multi-buyers. Look at the gram weight. So there's a you know big investment wow. in precious metal. Um, there should be prices on your screens right now, says Russ. Never been anywhere near under £10, okay? Well, that kind of suggests to me that today's the day. <laughs> is, that where you go, is that where you're going with this, Ross? <laughs> Can you imagine if yeah, you then just went, and they're not going to today either? <laughs> is that what you're doing, Ross? Because you're already under £10 each. Is that what he means? Ah, oh, £5 per connector. How amazing is that? Never have they been anywhere near under wow. ten pounds, but today is the day. How many do we have then, Roscoe? Forty. Okay. And there's a, a, we've there's got. Another one oh there. yes, we've got. Oh yes. So hang on. Oh, these would be really beautiful just with lengths of chain in between. Um, because we've also got. See if I can do it again. I think I, I reckon I'd be too lucky to be able to do it twice. Oh, look at that. Wow. She's only gone and done it. These are coming up straight after this same price, pairing. Same price? Um, why not? So at that price at the moment, you can get that set free then. You can get all four for the price that's on your screen. <sighs> so right now we're doing these. Then second auction, we're going to do those. Oh, How really beautiful. Great. Very Alhambra. Very Al yeah. Van Cleef and Arpel. Van Cleef, the Maison. <laughs> uh, 9.99. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're well. Wow. Um, have you got your snow boots by the door or are you going to stay all snuggled up, cosy and warm, mm. snuffling up these amazing jewellery maker treats and being inspired wow. by the wonderful Mark? Uh, Mark. Um, uh, Mark I almost said Mark Designer then. Mark Designer. Mark Designer. Mm. It's all right, I'll take that. Take that one, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I was so worried about not coming in today that I filmed demos. I know. Which we sent in. Well, we spoke about it. I was so, like, um, yeah. yeah. We'd have found a way, way around. You could have just stayed yeah. in the warm, had a cup yeah. of tea, Skyped in. Well, no, it's much nicer being here. It is nicer being here. It's nice to have you yeah. here as well, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, yeah, it is nice to have you here. But, you know, weather permitting, of course. Um, so, yeah, you could, well, you could put demos and things like that on your Facebook page. I can, or something I'll like do that, that when I get you? home, yeah. Uh, 9.99 for these. This is for the black spinel and the sky blue topaz. Um, we had how many did you say? 40. We had 40. We're bringing you the other set, um, literally on the back of this wow. as well. I like um, the idea of having them on slider bracelets because I'm not sure what is that amethyst and what are the other two stones in the other garnet. set? Garnet. So you've got four birthstones. Oh yeah, so that's just a one good of idea. those on a slider bracelet. What a lovely birthday gift. Yeah. What, mm. Yeah. So you've got August. Yeah. Topaz November. is November. And then right now you've got February and January. Yeah. There you go. That's nice. There you go. So you could do some lovely birthday gifts. Um, obviously, we're not going to stop at 19.99. Never been under £10 again, as we said. Um, again, you are, what, two and three quarter grams of precious metal plus beautiful round, brilliant cut birthstones, wow. as Mark has yeah. just pointed out there as well. Um, have I got the same quantity? Yeah, 40 of them available. Laura, oh, Shirley, yeah. Helen, Theresa, Victoria, Susan, Veronica, Valerie, uh, and new customers getting involved as well. Um, yeah, what a lovely Thursday morning we're going to have. You've got wow. beautiful kits, amazing jewellery. You're going to love the jewellery that Mark's created. Um, amazing deal of the day. I'm really excited. I don't know how Ross has managed to wangle today. this. Yeah. Oh, so happy. Um, and by the way, if you like under £10 deals... Oh, yes. I was wondering what you were talking about. <laughs> but where's he going? Ross is like, have you forgotten already? Even though we've spoken about it at length this morning. Yes, we have. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've even said it out loud. Sorry. Yes, yeah, it's me like vague. 
Do you know that blank expression on my face? Yes, sorry. The only only the three carat tan tonight that you can't pre-order, but it's happening at nine o'clock. I apologise, Ra. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just had this vacant look. <laughs> he says he never listens to me. It's fine. It's all good. I wouldn't listen to me. To be fair, you're not alone. That was just the general vibe when I was at home yesterday. Literally, not a single member of the Stevens family paid in. It listened to a single word I said. No, no, nothing. Tiggy, please don't climb. Tiggy, Tiggy. I'm just, you know, just literally ignore everything, everything I say. Yes, under £10 for that three carat tan tonight. <laughs> Please show number nine. Thank you. No problem. Um, that is the most amazing pearls. Um, are we doing it now? Oh, let's do it. What a great request. Um, gorgeous Dan. Can I borrow? Um, can I have a bust, please? Is that his name now? Is that just? Well, it's it's going to come from uh, from Adam. Adam right. calls him gorgeous. Well, he right. is gorgeous. Right. He's, he's got the most smouldering blue eyes. So it's kind of stuck. Mm. <laughs> And he is, you, you are gorgeous, Dan. Right. You know, just take that one. Worst yeah. things to be called. Cool. Exactly. I'll go with the white, I think. What do you reckon? Yeah, white. The white bus. Yeah. Thank you, lovely. Um, here we go. Oh, Please. what a request. What a request. They've got a hint of green about them. They have. Which is really unusual, isn't it? Oh, my word. These are firstly metallic, firstly. Wow. They are also huge. They are also natural. Look at these. And they are absolutely stunningly beautiful now um these are your brock pearls which means you know we are uh, if you if you oh yeah of course oh is that is that what i'm calling ethan golden boy you're the golden boy ethan i mean i'd take that as well and i and you haven't proven otherwise so yeah let's go with that <laughs> anyway back to, back <laughs> What's his dad? Ross is saying, Ross is saying, as long as you don't make any mistakes, you will maintain and hold on to that title. <laughs> Just, <laughs> oh my goodness! Seriously though, look at look at what Ethan has oh. found. Oh my goodness me! natural colors overtones is referencing the fact well mark you've just spoken mm -hmm. about it there's pistachios there's that's, that's the tone there's, Pistachio there's green, pinks yeah. there's golds there's coppers and it's that's all beautiful. natural um we've got three available opportunities you know the, uh, again five virtues it's actually seven virtues but i always narrow it down to five five virtue size well these are colossal as you can see seven to 15 millimeters oh and um, if you're thinking that's that's vague um well it's actually the undulations really within a brock pearl it's quite difficult to well you couldn't just have one no, measurement no. um then we talk about the color is it natural is it not yes it's totally and utterly natural then we start talking about the nacre how thick that nacre is sometimes with lesser quality pills you you might have some exposed areas where um, the actual nucleus bead is actually visible and um, ideally you don't want that I can assure you I'm not seeing any exposed areas on this um, and also it kind of leads into your luster well without the thickness of the nacre which is that rare precious material that forms your pearls um, if you don't have enough lust, uh, lake or rather, you won't get the luster, which is how mirror-like, how mirror-like, how reflective um, each and every single one of your pearls are. These are beautiful. I totally love, I love the fact that you're getting, you know, if you, you know, sometimes you're like, oh, do I like the pink pearls? Do I like the purple pearls? Do I like the papaya? Mm -hmm. Do I like the white? You're kind of getting be you get, uh, get a bit of everything in this as well. It's going to look beautiful. It's a head-turning piece for sure. And definitely a pearl opportunity for somebody that wants something that's different, I guess, from the rest. These are all the rage at the moment. Now, our should be price is £399, which is unbelievable considering we are significantly over that sort of milestone in pearl size. And what I mean by that is, you know, you know, like one carat is to a diamond. It's like a, an aspirational mm. milestone, isn't it? That's what 10 millimetres is, is to a pearl. And we're massively over that. Now there's three available, should be 399, but because there are only three available, a, a big jump, wow. You've basically put 25% back into 20, 100 pounds 
back into your pocket. You've got 31 minutes to make your confirmations, but in reality, you've actually got a full 30 days because um, you can get these home, you can get a second opinion, you can take them to a pill specialist and do make sure that they are sort of, uh, you know, qualified uh, um, specialists in your pearls um, at 299. We can't go any lower because these are one, some of the biggest pearls we've got in our vault, quite literally. Um, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, let's do, oh, these are beautiful. Oh, with the connectors. Oh, yes. Yeah. Guess the gemstone. I was going to say white onyx, but it's not white onyx. Opal? Botswana? A very pale Botswana? Two of the pearls have gone. Well done. Well done. I'm well so done. There's one left. Lancashire, you can get that last one. I think you requested it as well. Amazing. Guess the stone. Is there a hint of pink? It's confusing me. I... I... I Crazy no. lace. White. I've never seen this before. No. Oh, gosh. Crazy lace is normally quite... Mukite. Mukite, yeah. Mm, earthy tones. Yeah. Wow. Wow, this is beautiful. So, uh, yeah. on that basis, Ross, we've never brought this to air then, have we, as a team? Um, how amazing is this? And I assume it's totally natural. Because crazy lace normally is. Okay, so there is a treatment to it. That's okay. Um, but don't you think that enhancement then, I, I, I assume, and I'm no, I, 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 please, I'm no uh, um, scientist on this, but I assume the actual treatment process is, is giving us firstly that lovely, yeah. almost like a white jade yeah. colour, yeah. but also notice how it's enhancing our ability to see that really beautiful crazing, which is one of the appeals of Crazy yeah. Lace, uh, Crazy Lace yeah, Agate. Stunning. Never seen this strand before. Hence, as you can tell, uh, you know, I, I, I'm learning with you. How beautiful. And, of course, in your, in your four-leaf clover. Um, now, this design, this shape, has been so popular. Um, and that's why it's included in this hour. Have we, we won't have many of them, will, though, will we? Okay, 40 available. We are under £20, and we're going to go again. You know, you've got to remember that, you know, agate. Al, Van Cleef and Arpels use agate in the Alhambra design. They use That's mother right. of pearl. They use they use gemstones that you know you and I have been working with for many a years, many a years. Just because they the maison, um, they're no different a gemstone. You know they work with agates and it's still thousands of pounds. I'm not making comparisons because they are very different. I think they use a blue agate. Um, how beautiful is this though? Yeah, I, I was I was stumped on that one, Ross. I was like, mm, opal maybe. It's always nice to get something different though, isn't yeah, it? it's gorgeous. Even at 19.99, how amazing is that? Of course, yeah, hugely popular shape. So many, uh, you know, it sort of opens so many doors in terms of our creativity. Whether you keep it simple like the Alhambra, let's be honest, it is. Um, or whether you, uh, you, you, you actually, I don't know, use your bezel strips, your sterling silver, all of the above. Today, we have 40, or rather I should say had, because there's a lot of you already wow. getting involved. <laughs> for the cutting alone that's crazy so i think the white onyx clover is well it's definitely more than that wow. um the malachite ones were they 39 i can't remember 39 or 49 can't remember but they're definitely not 12.99 Goodness me. So, yeah, maybe this is the first time that you're getting the opportunity to actually purchase the four-leaf clover because they are more complex to, 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 to cut. There's no two ways around no. that. Um, they are. Um, you've got checkerboard faceting on, on the front and reverse. Um, and, of course, you've got those pronounced clefts. We talk about it all the time, don't we, how challenging it is to cut, to actually facet a heart shape. Wow. You've got to remember you've got, what, one, two, three, four extra uh, yeah, clefts, haven't you, within this. Yeah. Um, we had 40. There are... Literally so I'd many love these in up. rounds, you know. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. rounds. I wonder if this is the only so, strand we've got. Sow the seed to our way. Yeah, yeah. He was asking, by the way. Um, uh, that's a good idea. So Ross's request was multi-gem. Multi 
a multi-gem strand of clovers, oh, yeah, yeah. like yeah. the Adele bracelet. That's a nice idea yeah, as well, yeah. Ross. Good thinking, Roscoe. Yeah, yeah. get your quest in to yeah. Wayne. Okay. He'll always, he will, he will, he will literally do it as you talk to him. Oh. So, see he's, if he can... he's um, agreed to my last request, which I can't wait. Yeah. Which I've told the world about. We're having an all singing, all dancing relaunch of faceted shell pearl. Do you remember back old school, real love old it. school? I so love Shell Pearl. Yeah, we've had the, we've had to go ahead for that. Yes. That, that might be sort of a, um, May, June time. Birthday. It might have oh, to replace wait. this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because we've basically stolen a show from the birthday. Yeah. Um, amazing. Well done, everybody. Uh, yeah. Shall we do some slider bracelets? Beautiful diamond cart. I love this. Look at it. So the detailing on these. Um, right, we're going to do it in one price crash. Oh, this would be perfect, wouldn't it, with those... Um, oh, yeah, with those connectors. connectors we've just had. How funny, we were just talking about that. Oh, they would. They or, and what would, you, they? what would you do? Uh, would you use a head pin or would you use a jump ring? Jump ring. Just a little just small jump dainty jump size, ring. Silver jump ring. Look that at that. It's amazing. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Diamond faceted, so you get that. It, all, it is almost gives the illusion that they are um, encrusted with your diamonds. They're not actual diamonds. It's actually wow. the technique of polishing your precious metal. Um, absolutely beautiful. You can see that amazing luster. We're at £39.99. You do get both, by the way. It's not just the one. So I'm put them both over the back of my hand so I'm not confusing anybody. Here we go. Um, so you do get both of those. Look at that. Look how Look, it's, 20 it's, quid. Yeah. 20 quid. Oh, my God. <coughs> That's a very high pitch thing, isn't it? <laughs> what? I know. That's I do mad. that when I'm Just excited one as of well. Those is an amazing price. I go all squeaky when I'm excited yeah. too. <laughs> How incredible. Um, but you've got 24 minutes on this hour to make your confirmations, lovely jewellery makers. Sorry, I don't, I don't wow. know where the time has gone this morning. Wow. It's just literally racing by. Um, yeah, come and say hello. Tell us what you're up to. Are you having a snow day? Is it not snowing? Is it not snowing by you? Um, hello, Mandy. Love the clover shape. Got mine. Mm. Thank you, jewellery maker. Oh, amazing, Mandy. And no time. doubt you'll make it in some yeah. beautiful jewellery. Um, make sure you send those photos into the wall of fame wow. yeah it is a lovely shape i'm mm. excited about ross's suggestion that's a good idea yes, isn't it yeah. do you know what multi-gem strands i think mm. we should have more multi-gem strands yeah very popular. there we are ross there's another one to suggest isn't it just general multi-gem strands we used to have them in rounds didn't we mm. he says i'm not gonna lie al you're piggybacking on my idea <laughs> i'm not trying to take credit this is all your i was just <laughs> praising you <laughs> You know what, Wayne? Uh, this, is what I'll, this is what I'll do, Wayne. You know that was my idea about the multi-gem clovers. <laughs> I would never do that to you, Rick. <laughs> right. <laughs> I have got the bangle. Um, and, uh, I know he took it to a brand new low price tag. Now it comes yeah. boxed, yeah. This is like auction worthy, mm. auction house worthy. Um, it's a very special bangle. There are only two. We're going to match Dave's price. But if you weren't able to tune in on the weekend, then here's your chance. Um, as one wishes, there's lots of meaning behind uh, this bangle. Now, we all know that the bangle is the elite, isn't it? Mm. It's, it you know, it's what every jadeite uh, cutter, carver um, wants to create, ideally. But it's quite difficult to because, you know, boulders naturally have their fault lines. Um, well, they've achieved the bangle and then they've taken it to another level because this bangle and we really ever see this is actually carved um, on the outside now it's always been 499 until the weekend and Saturday yeah it was Saturday morning and he um, honored a brand new low price tag can you see as well on the inside I'll try and find it for you just look at the luster on the inside can you see there's bamboo, Love bamboo. can you see that the bamboo literally carved onto the inside. It's all the meaning behind the actual bracelet. We are going to match that closeout deal for you. Um, so again, you, you'll see there's a lotus flower on the outside. You've also got the Ouroboros uh, carved onto this bangle as well. Beautiful. It's a, it's a work of art. It literally is. Wow. Never been lower than the previous price point at 499. Um, and it was uh, dropped for the very first time um, on Saturday. Um, so it's the last opportunities really. There are two of 
these remaining. Once they're gone, they are gone. I mean, we talk about legacy jewellery all the time. Um, that's how I envisage this, you know. This is the kind of piece that I definitely would love to be able to pass on to my uh, to my girls. There are three of you there. That's your price point. It was £499 up until the weekend just gone. Um, they all flew out, obviously. Um, so I've got the final two. You go two hundred pounds. I mean, two hundred pounds back into your pocket. You know, let's say it as it is. You could probably buy. You're not far off another bangle. Not one of these. You know, we we do yeah, bangles. Uh, we I'm do. not far yeah, off yeah. that. You know, two hundred pounds. I think it's sold out. Well done to the collectors that were successful wow. on that one. Amazing, truly amazing. Um, we, okay. need to, we need to do larger bangles for gents. Well, we've introduced the hinge bangle for that reason. Mm. So, so you don't have to push it over the top of your hands. You can actually close it around. That might be an option. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yes, it's quite difficult though. Yeah. Quite difficult to get sort of sizes um, mm. of your bangles. Yeah. What are we doing now? These. Ah. Oh. Look at all of those. They're cool, aren't they? So you know, Ross was there just saying, "Stop trying to piggyback on my idea, <laughs> Elle." Do you know? <laughs> am I allowed to? Am I allowed to? Am I? <laughs> Ross, like, I don't know what's coming next. <laughs> you were pitching this idea years ago. I did. You did know that. Oh, you're being sarcastic, right? Okay. <laughs> I pitched this idea long before, long before the pandemic. Yeah, absolutely. And literally, I had all. You know, you know that you have like a mood board yeah. and everything. Yeah. You go and say, oh look at this, look at this, 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 this. I did a mood board. That's. I was asked to do a mood board. <laughs> I was, <laughs> it wasn't a presentation. I was asked by our buying team to do a mood board. So I did a mood board and then I went off and then obviously COVID happened, etc. And then, and, and I had Tiggy and I was watching Jewelry Maker at home. Lo and behold, what gets launched? <laughs> I was like, oh, I've been wanting those for ages. But does you know what? It doesn't matter. They're here now. You get all of them. Yeah. You get all of them, that's two pounds each. They're just really beautiful. There's a reason why I was pitching these because yeah, I just think they've got this a little, it's, it's a bit more casual, I guess, yeah, than yeah, the actual yeah. sterling silver. Day wear, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And can you see how these um, actually are in the different direction? Can you see how the actual slider goes horizontally across the wrist as opposed to down? Yeah, um, so they, they sit a little bit closer to the, um, to the wrist line. These are beautiful. I love them. I absolutely love them. It's a nice, strong slider, by the way. The actual sliding mechanism is, gives you it gives you great purchase too. Obviously, you use it in the same way as you mm, would do other sliders, exactly. don't you? Yeah, yeah. for cutting um, jump rings or your um, rosary linking. You can do all sorts of things. And away you go. These would be nice for your kits, Mark. They would. Yeah. There you go. Absolutely. So imagine, put whatever you wish. Maybe that those Alhambra yeah. motifs that we had a few moments ago. Don't forget the three carat tans tonight that you can see peeking behind. Look at me, I'm going under ten pounds today. Um, three carat tans tonight, solitaire, Sorry. under ten pounds today. Can't pre-order it yet though. You do get all of these ten items in 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 five different colours. No, I was talking about the tan tonight. I mean, what? Focus, Ross. Oh, honestly. He said, you said under £10 and he went into autopilot and put it on the graphics. So I assume these aren't meant to be. Oh. <laughs> He's blaming you now. Standard. Oh, look at this. Standard. Oh, I get blamed a lot. It's okay. <laughs> it's fine. That's ridiculous. Just that I'm like, okay. No. They shouldn't be under £10. <laughs> Adam says I bring it on myself. Okay, I mean, okay. Nine. I'm not even going to argue with it because you know what? Because everybody at home's yeah, loving it. Look yeah. at that. That's but What is that working out at each? A pound? Poundy. A pound per slider bracelet. You can't even get two cream eggs for a pound. No, you can't. Mm. Overrated. Going to mm. just throw that one no, out there. No, I don't. I'm not first of cream. You're not a chop. You're not a chocolate person, though, are you? Mm. Overrated. What do you reckon? Cadbury's cream eggs too sweet. They make my gu you, you make, they make your gums <laughs> retract. They're that sweet. No, not for me. Give me a good old. Give me a good old fruit and nut. Um, Ross is saying, please don't buy that. <laughs> 
about that, Ross. That's Have you seen the course easy. screens? Of course. Well done. Um, oh, I love this. I absolutely love this, Mark. The one on the website picture's got a little face. Oh, that's it's got a little face. It's like a little poodle, doesn't it? <laughs> it looks like a little poodle. That's so cute. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it, does look, it does look like a poodle. A little doggy, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Like one little floppy ear there. Oh, right. What we are looking at right now, firstly, is a beautiful Baroque pearl. And by the way, those are genuine gemstones, not crystals. So you're looking at tourmaline and peridot that has been set in the sterling silver into the pearl. This is half drilled if I just tilt it forward. So all you need to do is literally, in fact, hold that thought, hold that thought, um, because I actually launched these. These were a previous deal of the day, and I'm fairly sure, if I'm right, I've still got the original one from the launch. Hang on. Yep, there you go. Knew I had it. Hang on. Because I demonstrated how, hang on, sorry. I demonstrated how easy it is to make that piece of jewellery. Mine's got a little face as well. Oh, yeah, great. Oh. Ah, so basically all you need to do is, what, secure your, it's not glued in very well, by the way. Um, secure your pendant bail and away you go. Look how beautiful yeah. that is as a piece of jewellery. Why do they all have slight canine faces? They're great, aren't they? I love it. Absolutely so love it. you tube set the stone, which, which is well, quite I haven't. difficult. And then the tube setting is then bird out to pop into the pearl. It's exactly. A lot of work. All the work that's yeah. gone into it. And I know that um, lots of our lovely customers can gemstone set mm. into pearls, but like I said, it's actually the, it's the whole yes. process. Yeah. Um, we're £149 and we showed it, uh, showed you lots of, show, I almost said showed it. Um, we showed you lots of different designs. We showed... <laughs> <laughs> we showed lots of um, other retailers that ha had, had offered something similar. Um, I mean, these are diamonds, obviously. It's an 18 karat gold. Um, how about these? I love the title of these. Perfectly imperfect. Brock and Keshi yes. pearls. Um, but again, beautiful. $3,200 for those earrings. They are stunning, though, aren't they? Absolutely stunning. Um, these, I like these, but they're, technically speaking, they're not embedded, are they? <laughs> they're stuck on the surface. Stuck. <laughs> yeah, so mm, not so mm. not yeah. I love them. I think they're absolutely beautiful. Don't know the price of them, but look how amazing. It's the positioning of the diamonds in that. I bet they are they cost a pretty yeah. penny. Um wow. way beyond my budget. Way I beyond think I my prefer budget. the term embod what what was that word back then? Embedded. Embedded. It's the word encrusted. You don't, I don't like, like encrusted? No. no. Yeah, I think it's just the crust. It just okay. Of, I don't think it's a very nice word. Yeah, no, I go. I can embedded. I, I, embedded. Nice. Yeah, well, they are, aren't they? They're yeah. embedded into these beautiful pearls. Wow. Again, look how beautiful they are. And I know that you know, given the components, you could absolutely make mm, something yeah. like this, couldn't yeah. you? Um, I love these. Absolutely love it. I launched it. They absolutely flew on the launch, and I know that we won't have many of them left within the vault. Um, how many in terms of quantity? How many? <laughs> 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 eh? <laughs> How many have we got left in terms of quantity? 30. Okay, so if you think about it, that's, that's you know, that people might want to multiply, yeah. so that's 15, 15 people multiply, if you're thinking yeah. about earrings. Yeah. They absolutely flew on launch. £49.99. I just think they're lovely. All you need to do is secure a bale or whatever you wish, a little uh, head pin, if you like, just to create the loop. Um, mm. The final 30, Victoria's in there straight away. Well done, my lovely. Um, you're not alone. Claire, West Yorkshire, Janice, Diane, new customers getting involved. Everybody has chosen to multi-buy thus far. I'm not surprised. Um, is that not what we launched them at then? Oh, you're going to go lower? Really? Amazing. Mm -hmm. How fabulous. And again, I know these are techniques that some of our jewelry makers can do. You can set gemstones into Baroque pearls, but you have to ream it, and that yeah. comes with a risk, of course. Burr the holes you have to burr the holes. Yeah. You yeah. have to source the individual round brilliant cut stones. You then have to tube set them, which is this yeah. also known as a rubbed over setting. Then you have to um, obviously secure them into place. It's a whole process, isn't it? And of course, don't forget half drill your Baroque pearl. You know, um, you can do all of that. Of course you can. And I know that's part of, you know, what we love. However, um, is, it, is, it, is it cost effective? Is it time effective at the end of the day? Well, we're going to do the final few. These flew. Like I said, they absolutely flew on the launch. I think we had about 200 originally. Is that right? Um, we're down to the final few. You've got 11 minutes left on this hour.
Well done, Janice, who's got two. Victoria, who's got three. I can see new customers. Diane, London, uh, Lincolnshire, you're there as well. The final opportunity. So I'm going to have to get some more, more of these. 29.99. So even the ones that were just like glued on, wow, or yeah, to use yeah. <laughs> to use Ross's <laughs> words, Brit sticked. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember Pritt Stick? Yeah. Or Copy Decks? I've got this amazing Pritt Stick from Hunky Dory. Ooh. It's purple, yeah. so you can see where you're going with it. And when it dries, it dries clear. Ooh. It's amazing stuff. Can't beat Pritt Stick, can no, you? No. But yeah. apart from when it dries out a little bit, mm. you have to cut a little bit off the top yeah. so you get the glue. Um, <laughs> Goodness me, yeah, yeah, even the crystals, which weren't gemstones, you know, those Swarovski crystals that weren't set into the pearl, they were literally glued onto the surface with considerably more than what's on your screens right now. And that's saying something. Um, these are looking like they'll be a sellout. They're going all around the world. Hello to you, New York. Hello to you, Heather. Um, Elaine, hello to you, Lorna. Claire, you've multi-bought. Hello, Elaine, Caroline. Hello to you, Yorkshire, Diane. New customers getting involved. Good morning, everybody. I hope you're well. It's lovely to be with you this, what day? Is it Thursday morning? Oh, is it still yeah. snowing outside? None of us know. We don't see daylight. Yeah. Once, <laughs> once we're here. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> once we are sat down for the studio, we don't see daylight for no, five hours, no, do we? we? No. Little cave dwellers, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Um, well done, everybody. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> um, right then. Okay. Great. Oh, yeah, this is beautiful. It's like a lotus flower. Or I said it, or I said it yesterday, like, you know, like peonies are really mm, yeah. close, tight, yeah, tight nice. buds. Yeah, oh, look at that. This is nephrite. Oh, so yeah. the original jade. Older, 8,000 years nephrite has been celebrated and incorporated into amazing jewellery. Um, it's, it's, it's a different gemstone to jadeite, but they come under the same surname. That's how I always describe it, because we always ask, get the question, um, what's the difference between nephrite and jadeite? If you imagine them as siblings um, with, uh, with one surname. Um, but nephrite is actually more, it's got more of a waxy surface luster. Um, like your jadeite, you get it in lots of different colours. You can have spinach green, you can have um, Kotan mutton fat white jade, you can have all the yellows, all those different colours. Um, this is a really unique, this beautiful really colour. unique beautiful shade. Colour. Let yeah. me turn it forward as well, because you can see it is um, drilled through the centre. Look at that detailing of the stamen just there. It is a lotus flower, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You can see yeah. that. Um, <laughs> just about to open up it's been through that transition through that journey um how many have we got 80 oh. so symbolic you know that you know the lotus flower we spoke about it yesterday about how you know much like the phoenix when dave was talking about it's that transition isn't it it's the um going through uh, sort of times of adversity if you like um, that transition into enlightenment. So the lotus flower literally, um, it, it forms in the bottom of muddy waters, doesn't it? It does indeed. And yes. the flower travels its way to the surface and that is where mm. it, it, it actually blooms. Often seen in tattoos and lots of uh, sort of um, beautiful artwork as well. Even if we were to stop at 29.99, given the fact the history of this beautiful gemstone, I've just looked at the time. My goodness me, it's racing by this morning, isn't it? Um, we have got a available i think i think it's been a bit of a typo because um, it says gray nephrite uh, that, should, that should say green it is green and then green it's yeah. definitely yeah. a typo yeah definitely 29.99 it's natural color oh we're not staying there no not stopping there how lovely <laughs> would this be just on a simple stretchy bracelet like lovely, i'd have this it? as a little charm. or he on head pins oh nice but don't cut the metal just have that long post oh. with the dangle so it's like the root. Hecky thump. Hecky thump. Mm. That's a Yorkshire term. I Is think. it? Yeah, hecky thump. Nine ninety nine, and then a clock. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely gobsmacked. I can't believe we're doing this. No. It's a master carving. Be it a smaller one than we normally see on our screens, but it's still 11 millimetre ounce. And actually, the smaller it is, 
I, I don't know, I'm no expert, but surely the harder it is mm. to carve, surely. How amazing is this? And I think we can all relate to the lotus flower. Whether you go with this kind of meaning and the history of the lotus flower or not, um, I find it relatable. I, and, I, and for me, like, if... I've got a, a, one friend springs to mind at the moment who's going through a really challenging time and, you know, um, her and her family. And I just feel like this would be a really nice gesture, just on a simple stretchy bracelet, you know? It's a lotus flower. You could do a little, little write-up. You could put a little card in there as well. You know, but we can all relate to it, can't we? At some point, wow, my goodness me. <laughs> At some point, I think we've all encountered adversity. That's what the, uh, um, the lotus flower is all about literally overcoming that, so, uh, that, 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 or maybe being part of that journey. 7 99 for the original jade. Original, yeah. Older than jadeite. Nephrite is actually the most expensive piece of jade that sold at auction is not jadeite, it's nephrite. How amazing is that? Hang on a minute. Can we just just a moment of di you know, to di fully digest? We're bringing you a master carve nephrite right now for seven ninety nine, and I'm also in, in, in not too uh, too distant right. future going to bring you a three carat tanzanite for under ten pounds as well. What's tanzanite going on today? And a tenner. I don't blame you, Victoria, for buying ten. Brenda's you could bought use two. These from, if you were doing a marla necklace, you could use these as your markers. Oh, right? beautiful. Yeah, Really lovely. Um, how wow. nice is that? And I think, and I think you could flip it upside down. You could, yeah. That's nice. I think it'd be thought. quite lovely flipped upside down. They will sell out. There's a load of you there. Lots of multi buyers on this one as well. Um, make sure you do check out your baskets. Our call centre are keeping up with the volume of calls um, that we have today. Yeah, don't forget that Tanzanite is coming up. We're launching it um, at under ten pounds. Crazy as if I'm saying that. Um, did you just say what I thought you said? My goodness me. Um, I'm just going to borrow this little piece of paper here because, look, again, Pareba Tourmaline. I think immediately, it's Brazilian Pareba Tourmaline, though. The real deal. The real deal. Mm. It, 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 it's a topic of debate in, um, in the gemstone world. Some people don't consider other deposits true Pareba. It's, uh, you know... And I, I, I won't enter into that because it's, to be honest, I think it is, you know, um, it's just because there's a slight difference in the copper content in different locations. But Brazilian Pareva tourmaline, it does, you know, rightly or wrongly, have a, a, a huge impact on the price point. You know, for example, and I can't remember what, Ross, have you got that information? Um, the difference in price points between Brazilian and other locations. Um, it's vast. It is, it is vast. Now, let me just explain where this parcel, I can't believe I'm saying that out loud, a parcel of Brazilian prey batormine actually came from, <laughs> other than Brazil, we know that. But, you know, um, this is mined out. It's gone. You can't get Brazilian prey batormine from the ground anymore. Um, how have we got it here today on Jewelry Maker and how on earth are we at £299? Um, I'll tell you, this is one of, this was launched by Dave Troth not that long ago, and this parcel was one of Steve Bennett's per, uh, personal purchases. Um, well, that that's sense, how it yeah. came into fruition. That's the yeah. only reason. Look, you've got Windex Blue there. Can you see it? Mm. The, the, you've got the beautiful green colours. Again, absolutely um, beautiful, amazing value. Um, you know, these, there's no doubt about it. These are investment gemstones. Um, but the two blues that you can see at the front, they're the ones that really command massive price points. So even here at £299, that's an unbelievable deal, an absolutely mm. unbelievable deal. Um, of all your tourmalines, there's no two ways about this. Pareba tourmaline is the most expensive that's out there. Um, you know, I could probably count on one hand the amount of times I've ever actually brought Pareba tourmaline um, as in separate auction opportunities to air. I know we did a strand some years ago. We had this. And I think I've done a couple of pieces of jewellery on our sister channel, and that's about it. That's uh, genuinely, I think that's about it. Prior to jewellery maker and Gemporia, never. I'd, I'd, I knew about it, obviously, but never had I actually witnessed it. This is 100%, you know, um, a collector's stone. Here we go. Quality Pareva tourmalines range from 2000 to $50,000 <laughs> per carat. You know, even from the lower number, $2,000... 
here we go. Some Mozambique material sells for well over 5,000 US dollars per carat. Some Brazilian material sells well over 10,000 US dollars per carat. And it can fetch up to 100,000 per carat. It is the most expensive tourmaline, much more than other colors. So there's the difference between Mozambique and Brazilian. You've got Brazilian. The only reason we have this is because I said this was a purchase from, uh, well, Dave launched it. Maybe, I don't know how the conversation went, oh. goodness me. Um, yeah, we've basically got our founder to thank for this opportunity. You've got one minute to make your confirmations though. Um, you can get hold of a parcel of genuine certified Brazilian Brava tourmaline for 39 pounds um, and 50 pence only, which is just crazy. Um, I, I can't believe we're saying that. I can't, I genuinely can't believe we're saying that out loud. Not one of those individual stones. And I, I look, they're not as big as the piece that we just showed you, obviously, but it is still Brazilian Pareba tourmaline. So one of them at 79 is just unbelievable. I'll leave that with you. Well done to our collectors and connoisseurs who managed to get hold of that. Um, okay, we're going to dive straight into our lovely early birds um, because time is ticking. Oh, they're long, beautiful strands. I love Hessonite garnet. Beautiful, isn't it? It's got a softness to it. It has. It? Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's, it, it's one of those that, you know, when you, um, I don't know, on a creme brulee, when you caramelise sugar, it's got that really oh, yes. sweet... That's exactly it, yeah. Caramel, yeah. It's yeah. got that really beautiful, yeah. sweet, like, glossy luster and, and, and just amazing colour saturation. It's warm and you can all... It's, it, it, you, it, visually, it's delicious. Does that make sense? Hessonite garnet, it's a member of the, obviously, garnet family. Garnets are renowned for having the most beautiful high refraction. So what that basically means, here in the studios, it looks lovely, doesn't it? Draped across the back of my hand. But wait until you see it outside in natural sunlight, even on a wintry, snowy day like today. That's when you really see these beautiful natural stones come into their own. These aren't small, though, are they? Um, Ross, did you say that we're taking this to? Really? What? Should we do a price promise? You get two. I've got two back-to-back -back auctions. Hessonite garnet with treacling, by the way. I'll explain what that is in a second. Both of these strands separately are going under ten pounds. From the angle, from the angle I'm sat looking down at that strand, it, it's, every single stone has got this sort of copper. In a glow about yeah, it, beautiful. completely different colour inside. It's beautiful. I love it. It's, it's almost yeah. got the tones of amber as well, it hasn't does. it? So you've it's almost gorgeous. got cherry amber tones. You've yeah. got your um, cognacs. Absolutely stunning, but of course considerably more refractive than any amber out there. Um, a beautiful gemstone. Actually, one of the first gemstones that, as we've mentioned earlier on, uh, um, Steve Bennett, our yeah. founder, he yeah. actually unearthed with his own two hands. This is coming up straight after. I've price promised it. Guaranteed under ten pounds. Treacling is basically. Have you ever? If you're a whiskey drinker, I'm not, but my husband likes mm -hmm. to drop a whiskey. Um, if you put a, just a small touch of water in whiskey, you like whiskey, mm -hmm. don't you? Mm -hmm. um, it treacles. It kind of creates that swirling-like yeah, right. pattern or an yeah. ice cube or something like that. This gemstone does that too. $9.99. Seriously, that one stone on its own at $9.99, I think, would be absolutely amazing. Look at the refraction. Can you see how the light literally dances around internally in each and every single one of these stones? We don't see Hessonite very often, and when we do, um, it's always very popular. It would go beautifully. Let me just... What do you think, Mark? I think we'll go with the Amazonite we had right at the beginning of the okay, show. Okay, let's go with that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, I love that. Beautiful together. Well, it's, it's, it's turquoise and amber, isn't it? Pretty much. I think with jadeite too. I think yeah, it would look lovely yeah. with jadeite. Another clock. Yeah, Ross, you said under ten. We're under ten. I'm going again. He says. <laughs> I can almost imagine the head wobble. <laughs> I'm going again. Let's do it. Seventy-five carats. These, because you've got the graduation as well, Mark, I don't know about you, but I'm thinking about some fabulous, full, 
opera length earrings. Absolutely. You know, and, and I yeah. would go on different layers of chain, you know, maybe I don't know, five or seven different lengths and just various sizes, various different colours of your Hess night, maybe a couple of the rondelles just to give you that wonderful difference. I imagine those in the summer. It's just I, the size of them, aren't they? I don't think we we have them this size. No. Because each one of those you could you could easily pop on necklace memory wire. Yeah. I they could be solitaires, couldn't they? We must make some on the show. And just does have one in the centre of the neck. That's Lovely. That's all you need. Not nine ninety nine today. Remember, you've got that three carat uh, three carat tanzanite coming up just after the break. Not too long to wait for that one. Seven ninety nine. Goodness me, it's a big parcel that we're looking at here. Um, yeah, he's. Uh, wow. You're on one today, aren't you, our Roscoe? You know, he's on a mission. He's on weekend mode. This is our Friday, that's why. Oh, of course. So, yes. yeah, because if it, on our weekends off, we're like, yeah, come three days off. And then he's not doing anything Look now, I've got to be honest. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at how beautiful. That's you could gorgeous. literally just restrand that, good. couldn't you? It would suit any skin tone as well, wouldn't it? Yeah, it definitely. Seven ninety nine. Oh. I think I prefer the mixed colours than having mm. one solid colour on each stone. I agree. I, I love, love the that. I love the yeah. reds that you're yeah. seeing within this as well. How many did we have on these? We had eighty, but it's it's brand new. It's a premiere. We're bringing it to the most unbelievable wow. premiere price point. Um, there are a ton of you there. I love I love Hesse Knight, and it's one of those gemstones that we don't have the luxury of seeing very often. When we do, I think we gravitate towards these wonderful, warm. You know, they're quite comforting, aren't they? These colours. Um, but like I said, it looks lovely against my uh, against the skin right now. But when you actually see it outside, that's when all varieties of garnets, all colours of garnets, just naturally naturally love to show off in sunlight. Um, there are a lot of you there. Linda, Kathy, hello to you, Jane, Denise, Sarah. Isle of Wight's got four. Victoria's got five. Pam's got two. Gabrielle's got two. Louise, amazing. Walden to you. Highland, Christine, Barbara, Patricia, Kerry, Jacqueline, Denise, Linda, Selena. Hello to you. Um, super duper busy. I'm going to leave that one with you because I've got one more hair tonight, Garnet. Since I've been with JM, you know, I've had my eyes open to lots of different products that we've brought to air. But I think for me, the standout is garnet. Yeah. Because I had a, my mum bought me a garnet ring for my thirteenth birthday, yeah. and it was nearly black, as you know, high street jeweller garnet is. Yes. Yeah, but then coming here and finding it that it not only does it come in the deep reds, but it comes in browns, oranges, it comes in blues, it comes in greens. greens. Yeah. It's just completely. Same. I have no idea. No, no, yeah. me either. No. Me either. The knowledge that I, sort of I think we've all yeah. um, gained as part of Gemporia yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, has been invaluable, totally. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know about Zavrite garnet. I didn't no. know about no. No. Demantoy garnet, gems like that, colour no. change garnets. It is beautiful. Um, and again, it's it, it, it's difficult for me right now because I so wish you could see what Mark and I can yes. see. That, that just copper, yeah. the internal copper. It's just beautiful. Hang what? on, hang on. <laughs> Sorry, Ross, uh, you were trying to get our attention then. We, we, we went off on a tangent. It was like... I've opened it up, Al. I've opened it up. We didn't even look, did we? No. Six ninety nine is where you've opened it up, Ross. And there's a clock. And there's a clock on the screen. I don't want to separate them. I like them together. What they do you think? They are lovely together, actually. Yeah. yeah. So like if you that. like that, what you know, what I held against my neckline, but you wanted to space it with. Further mm. Hessonite garnet. Mm. How oh incredible, wouldn't it? And it works with every metal colour as well, doesn't it? Does. It does. That's beautiful. It is beautiful. I feel sorry for garnet because it's the birthstone right at the beginning of the year when it's cold and miserable and it's the after Christmas blues and it just I think it's it's a bit underrated garnet myself, I have to say. Um it can command some of the mm. highest price yeah, points. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, and so it, do you know what? It, it got the headlines when I was over in Tucson. Mm. It was all about garnets over mm. in Tucson. Yeah. You know, you were asked to look at certain stones. They were like, look at this, look, you know, look at the Demantoid, look at the Hessonite, look at the look at the Zavrite garnets that I've got available. And they were fortunes. They most certainly were not four ninety nine. <laughs> Four ninety nine. Um, is it just me that's laughing at that price point? You're getting twenty Crazy. carats of beautiful Hess Knight garnet. That wonderful warmth. It's comforting. It is. It's like that snuggly blanket yeah. in a gemstone, yeah. isn't it? 
a, a bit like amber, I guess. Amber, you get this wonderful, particularly with sort of the, yeah, warm burning embers. But this actually performs massively more than any uh, than any amber will. This has got a beautiful level, one of the highest refractive indexes, um, and that's generally speaking, actually, the Garnet family. So it shows off. It literally plays with light. Do you remember, cast your mind back, lovely jewelry makers, when you were in um, school and used to do the straw in a glass of water? Mm. And do you, I never really yeah. understood yeah. what I was doing. Like, well, yeah, oh yeah, it bends. <laughs> but I never, it never really digested what it was we were talking about. Now I get it. You know, it's re, you know the refraction of, of of materials. In this case, obviously your gemstones. How many did we have of these then, Roscoe? Oh, we had a big quantity, wow. but the phone lines have gone nuts, um, as has the website. Amazing. Now this beautiful Hessonite garnet rondelle strand and the previous drop and every other auction, including those beautiful pearls, for example, um, the Paraba tourmaline, the slider bracelets, the beautiful Alhambra sterling silver, the gem encrusted, um, sorry, gem, you don't embedded. like, embedded, sorry, <laughs> um, pearl. Every single one of these items will disappear um, in a few moments' time. So, um, yeah, if you've got it in your baskets and not yet checked out, they will disappear from your basket. So make your confirmations ASAP. Um, if you see them again, they may well be at the, uh, at the previous higher price, higher price point. Um, coming up after the break, we are going to be launching that three-carat Tanzanite. Um, at Cabochon. We're going to be launching it under £10. Once we dive into the break, we're going to put it on pre-order. Here it is, vanadium rich in its colour, guaranteed under £10. There are only 200 and you think how many multi-buyers we have. Chestnut Close is coming up just after the break as well. Last opportunities. Mark, I'll be back after this. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, everybody. Now, a lot to squeeze in. We have last opportunities to get hold of Chestnut Close. Oh, that's a bit bittersweet, isn't it? It is. It's been lovely. But I have to amazing. say, yeah. the fact it is so exclusive, it makes it, I think, yeah. even more special. Um, and also the fact that there's something on the horizon. Mm. Exactly. I so. think for me, the, the saddest part is my mum didn't get to see autumn and winter and i think she'd have loved those pieces but never mind oh never bless mind. you never mind yeah there were, well collections are always a very uh, a very mm. uh um, very personal this, absolutely this, this whole collection and it was my first after three years of <laughs> nagging. Twisting and nagging. nagging yeah i relented and gave in well, i'm yeah. glad you did mark because these are absolutely yeah. beautiful so we have last chance opportunities mm. for you to get hold of chestnut clothes from all the different seasons um yeah and of course we've got some lovely inspiration to bring you as well but before i enter into your early bird i need to talk to you about your deal of the day now you won't have seen any promotion about this and that's basically because what was originally going to be your deal of the day um there was a few issues i think in terms of its landing time etc so We've had to revisit it. Um, and basically, to give you a little bit of a, um, a heads up on how how things worked out yesterday. Was it yesterday, Ross? I think it was yesterday. Yeah. Um, the discussions that um, was going on behind the scenes of what we're going to do instead. Um, Ross kind of pitched the fact that we love Malachite, don't we? Um, and Wayne, he was very resistant because he basically said, well, we've got some new Malachite, but... Um, it's for the birthday. It was meant to be one of the, I think, I don't know if it was going to be, oh, was it going to be the deal of the day on the 4th? Wow. So it was not oh, only God. going to be on the actual birthday, it was going to be the deal of the day on the actual birthday. So um, I'm not surprised you had to twist his arm somewhat. <laughs> um, but apparently the clincher was, yeah, um, we do love Malachite, don't we? I'm obsessed mm. with this stone. Yeah. And the quality is second to none so these are coming up at 10 o'clock today um, first question i asked ross was have you got malachite rounds that was via whatsapp did i not say that first question i asked he said you've got you've got malachite tomorrow he said and i was like yes that's how i replied <laughs> and then next question have you got rounds yes you've got rounds in four different strands and oh. you have um, th th those wonderful tumble-like shapes. So I do expect them to sell out. At least I hope they do anyway on the back of, you know, yeah. the, the <laughs> fact we've basically taken birth. Don't worry, the birthday will be filled with something else. That's purchased for all year. But right now, let's step into an, um, another elite gemstone that I think even if you're very new to the gemstone world, um, you understand its rarity, you understand the global excitement since its initial discovery. I'm talking tanzanite, of course. Tanzanite was discovered in uh, the 1960s um, and immediately was this amazing gemstone that succeeded with, uh, that had sort of overnight success, didn't it, in terms Completely. of its popularity. Yes. Yeah. But, um, and I've read this, this information before, let's read it again, because it really does highlight just how, how special this gemstone is. Um, um, so, one, it's 1,000 times rarer than diamonds. The unique geology pressure and intense temperatures of Mount Kilimanjaro Jaro, sorry, offer you this once-in-a-lifetime deposit of intense blue-purple gems rich in history. 
um, with experts ranging the chances of finding it anywhere in the world at one in a million. Wow. You know, that's the likelihood. <laughs> uh, tanzanite is one of the rarest and most intriguing gemstones known to man. Experts have predicted tanzanite mines will have given their last gem quality stone in 10 to 20 years, giving it incredible collectible value. These factors have, cha uh, have shaped tanzanite as one of the most coveted stones, estimated to be um, at least 1,000 times rarer than a diamond. I mean, again, so hang on, we have price pledged yeah. this, right? You yeah. are, we're not forgetting yeah. the price pledge. <laughs> um, number two, good luck and prosperity. Well, tanzanite is known to hold attributes of good luck and prosperity. The deep blue stone is thought to be a transformation stone which helps dissolve old negative patterns and habits, allowing the bearer to move on in life with a renewed sense of direction, purpose, optimism and confidence. All the key ingredients for prosperity. The gem is also believed to attract energies of good luck, wealth and success, oh. propelling you into the best life. That's nice. We Lovely. all want that, don't we? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So imagine you're making a piece of jewellery and maybe you're thinking to gift one of your nearest and dearest. How nice mm. that would be. Um, and you could say all of those, yeah. um, those beliefs that are attached to this beautiful stone. Number three, new life and beginnings. And that's not necessarily just birth. You know, it's, it, it might be a new adventure or a career, whichever it might be. Um, also known as bl uh, blue zoocyte, the tanzanite is a stone of many properties. Beyond its unprecedented beauty, intense ranges of blues and rarity, tanzanite has often been associated with new life and new beginnings. The stone can be gifted for births and new milestones in life as a token of fortune and hope. It is a stone of fresh starts, rejuvenated health and protection when stepping into the world. This tradition is deeply rooted in the Maasai customs, women would be gifted tanzanite stones after childbirth as a symbol of good luck. So here's me thinking that it was tanzanite one that came up with this idea. Mm. It wasn't. It was actually the Maasai tribes themselves. I wonder what they called it, the Maasai. I wonder. Mm. I wonder. Because sure Tiffany's they... named it, didn't they? Yeah, because they didn't like yeah. zoocyte. No. They didn't like zoocyte, though it was too hard a word. Mm. So they, they came up with it. It was Tiffany's that came up with Tanzanite. Yeah. Number four, and I think um, this is obvious for so many of us, um, it is an heirloom stone for sure. Heirlooms are keepers of time and memories. Passing on a piece of jewellery to another generation is a sign of love, pride and family, symbolising the passing down of a lifelong heritage. The rarity and beauty of Tanzanite complements this tradition as a perfect heirloom stone to carry through the future, particularly as we imagine that in just what 10 to 20 years potentially um, this could be completely mined and out and it is high time. it's definitely looking that kind of uh, sort of time frame as well every single year that ticks by this gemstone increases in terms of its price point what kind of uh, quality though are we looking for because tanzanite which as you can see on those photographs it can be perfectly eye clean um, again you pay a premium for your eye clean stones um, color is what's crucial with this stone though you know um, vanadium is what is responsible for coloring the stone the more vanadium if you can imagine making a glass of cordial the more cordial that you had the deeper mm. the color is imagine you're pouring vanadium into a stone the deeper the tanzanite becomes um, and this has got an amazing Incredible. amazing yeah. depth of saturation now you're looking at a three carat stone i want to just highlight the fact that you know we've um, we're spoiled here at gemporia and jewelry maker quite frankly with tanzanite um, it is a gemstone that you know, we've been able to offer our collectors, um, our lovely, uh, our lovely jewelry maker family, um, for some time. Um, and I guess, you know, much like the jadeite at the moment, we've become quite blasé with the price that uh, uh, we've seen on our screens. Please just let's not forget the the wow. levels, the the depths that these miners are actually having to go to to source this stone right now. It's almost right, really, that the prices have gone up dramatically. Because look, we're almost as the depths. Look at that. We're over 800 meters, by the right. by the way. That's actually 2018, so we're quite we're quite outdated with this diagram. Um, but we're almost at depths now for Snowden. There's going to be a point where they're going to have to stop. Yes. They physically, won't be able. Absolutely, because you think the there, heat. Right? Yeah. And that is literally a vertical shaft. Um, I, again, I, I know that some of our colleagues have been to uh, to, to to the mines themselves, and they found oh, it no. incredibly, incredibly uh, strenuous. Sort of, it's just a vertical ladder. 
It's really hard yeah. work. And they go down in the Speed morning. Down, down. No, no chance. No <laughs> chance. No chance at all. Um, OK. I have made a price promise on this, though. Again, pop along to someone like First Dibs. That's a great point of reference mm. for lots of uh, uh, um, you collectors of gemstones out there. And if you put, go on to First Dibs, by the way, who will sell your jewellery as well if you make um, amazing pieces. Um, so if you research... Tanzanite cabochons, first dibs. Do that. Have a little look. Just, 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 just for a reference, just as a gauge. And the reason why I'm suggesting that is because you will see that their tanzanite is not too dissimilar. You can get the most eye clean. Of course you can. There's different degrees of all gemstones. But my point is you will see the cabochons. You will see the more opaque varieties of the gemstones um, with this beautiful level of quality of colour. What you might not see is, is under £10. <laughs> I'm fairly confident to say that. These poor chaps have gone all the way down that mine shaft. Yep. For a tenner. <laughs> oh, God, don't say that. Honestly. Yeah. It's mad, isn't it? I mean, we, to be honest, no. I mean, let's mm. be honest. Mm. We probably bought a big parcel mm. way back when. This, every Tanzanite has probably been yeah. in the market for decades. Oh, yes, that's true. That's the reality. Yeah. So we actually yeah. probably bought these as part of a, a parcel mm. maybe years ago. I don't know. That's how we honour the yeah. prices that you see. Yeah. Hello, Heather. Uh, love, love, love Tanzanite. Can honestly say Gemporia and Tanzanite turned me into a gemstone jewellery collector. Me too, darling. Um, amazing. It is beautiful, isn't it? I can understand why you love it so much. It's stunning. It's got this really romantic colour. Do you own pieces at home? Um, probably not as many as people would actually mm. think. I haven't got that many. No. I've got one ring. It's only small, though. Mm. It's only a small piece. I haven't got a Larique or anything like oh, that. I couldn't mm. afford that. But, um, yeah, I've got one little trillion cut Tanzanite oh. ring. And I've got a little tennis bracelet. Oh. And I've got a couple of strands, obviously. A few mm. strands from Jewelry Maker. Yeah. You know we aren't stopping there. Look at how deep, rich and intense the vanadium quality is. I know how... When we've got a big quantity... And did you say we've got 200, Ross? Yeah. Uh, OK. Um, I, I've, and I say this every single time. You know the word heirloom that was in that article? I can't say any gemstones an investment. I'm not... You know, I haven't got a crystal ball. Um, and I'm not a financial advisor. However, if a gemstone is imminently... You know, it is likely to de deplete moving forward. Um, it's already had the back and it's got the global success and popularity um, uh, uh, even as we speak. £10 is not going to be a silly purchase, is it? You know, we're not going to regret that price point, are we? Even if we were to stop, <laughs> say this out loud, £5 per carat for genuine tanzanite. That's amazing. There are retailers that sell synthetic tanzanite, an imitation stone. That's mad, isn't it? Uh, when more I, when, than what's um, on your screen. When I first joined GM and we started doing tanzanite, they, lots of jewellers had tanzanite in their windows and they had maybe two or three pads of tanzanite yeah. jewellery. Now you're lucky if you get half a pad yeah. sharing with, with sapphire in jewels. Absolutely. Them, so. One of my, yeah. um, they've retired now, but I've, I formed quite a bond with, um, it was a husband and wife team who were the jewellers local to the studio, actually. Right. Um, and I used to go in quite a lot. You know, we knew each other quite a lot. We used to talk about the stones uh, um, you know, at length. And, oops, and, and she uh, um, had a couple of tanzanite pieces of jewellery in her vault. Um, and, and I actually spoke to her, I was like, you need to put the price up. You need to put the price up on those because she was advertising them. I don't know, I can't remember how much it was now, but it was a couple of hundred pounds. And I said, it should be considerably more than that. The, the price has dramatically escalated. I say that, and then here's us here at Jewelry yeah. Maker, then going, oh, under 10 pounds. Yes, it's Tanzanite. You know, look, those aren't my words. That presentation, oh. you know, doesn't come from the brain of L. That's words that have been written about elsewhere. You know, heirlooms, keepers of time this beautiful gemstone that um, the perfect heirloom to carry through the future absolutely all those sentiments but go back to what Dave was saying only yesterday you know when it comes to gemstones really this history is nice to know the gemological facts are lovely mm. to know this formed 585 million oh. years ago it's mind-boggling isn't it um, anyway that's all nice to know is it beautiful though 
You know, because that should be the number one thing that draws our attention. Nine ninety nine for a three carat solitaire. We are running out of time, so um, please do make sure you check out your baskets. You could use that with things like your bezel strips. Your absolutely, or you could do your your See bead bezel bezeling. Yeah, yeah, lovely. How nice would that bead be? Embroidery. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Gorgeous gemstone yeah. setting as well, because you could get it's a nine millimeter round, so we bring you the calibrated yeah. ring shanks and pendant shanks and things like that to actually work That's with. Um, amazing. Make sure you do check out those baskets, lovely jewellery makers. Lots of multi-buyers on that. I'm not surprised at all. Don't forget as well, your deal of the day is pretty exciting today. We've literally stolen the deal of the day from the birthday. <laughs> the actual birthday. Should put it on pre-order. I think we should. Go for it. Yeah. Not the birthday week. The actual birthday deal of the day. Yeah. We've actually stolen it. It's done. It's done. It is done. Do you know who you reminded me of then, Ross? You know, you know, um, <laughs> you know, you know, at the beat on, on Lion King. What is not a monkey? What is he? He's the and he goes, it is time. Is it baboon? Or baboon. Something? That's it. You reminded me of him. Oh. He's very wise. He is very wise. I can't remember his name. Um, yeah, it is done right then. This is pretty exciting though, Mark, because, oh, look at the quality of that Malachi. It's Honestly, it's mind-blowing yeah. quality. It doesn't get any better than what's on your screens right now. The distinctions, isn't it? This the distinction and separations between those beautiful shades of green. There's an article, and again, I will talk about this article. They're available on pre-order right now. They talk about paradise in shades of green. Mm. Wow, that's it right there. Okay, really exciting opportunity now. If you missed out, maybe you've just found our channel and maybe you didn't know that our lovely Mark actually had his own jewellery collection. Well, it is one of the most exclusive collections that you could get hold of. Um, and it's the first time ever that they've been included with other components. Um, now, they are all very limited and you are not recommissioning these, no, no, are no, you? that's it. Once they've gone, they've gone. So, I mean, that's what I love about these these collections. They are one-offs, which are. is really nice. So you think just yeah. very small percentage of our global yeah. popularity will actually own well, this? Some of the pieces had 100 made and others had 50 made. And that's 50 in the entire world. In the world. So that's quite incredible, isn't it? It really is. Mm. OK, first time ever they're included in kits. I like this idea. Yes. Um, they all come with these little individual cards. And let's just explain what Chestnut Close is all about. So Chestnut Close is um, a cul-de-sac in Whitney where I've lived um, with And I've been there for 15 years. Andrew's lived there for 25 years. And when, we, when I moved in, outside the front of the house is an expanse of lawn. It's probably three times the bit as big as this studio. And it was just a green lawn. And it's taken us over 10 years now to get the garden just where we want it. And we've got flower beds and trees, herbaceous borders. We've got bulbs coming up at the moment. It's a real labour of love. And um, as we mentioned earlier, I've been asked to do a collection now for three or four years. And I've always, A, not had a, a good enough idea to bring to air. Or I didn't have the confidence. You know, will it be a good seller? Will it won't be? And I, was sat, I just happened to come off a show one afternoon. was upstairs with, with Georgia and the team. And um, lovely Caroline said, look, we need to get a range under your belt. Yep. Why don't we theme it around your garden? And it was one of those light bulb moments. And we suddenly thought, well, what about four seasons? And we bought three flora items and three fauna items. But the sole requisite was that every single piece, so the 12 flowers that we've got and the 12 insects and animals all have to live in the garden. And we did it. We Amazing. did it. So we bought four collections, so all the four seasons, and during every season, every flower grows at some point in the garden, hopefully in the, in the time that the season range is launched, and also butterflies, we've had dragonflies, mice, bats, squirrels, oh. everything. So every, every piece of the entire collection, of which there were 24 pieces altogether, have lived or live at some point in Chestnut Close. Amazing. And these have, it's been a, you know, a roaring success, Mark. Yeah, I've, so, been, I've been absolutely thrilled. It's been um, lovely, really lovely. Well, this might well be the last opportunity mm. that you get to get hold of it. And like I said, in preparation for this morning, I actually said to Mark, oh, is, you know, are we going to see the poppy? Because I do need the poppy. Um, and I've got a few of these amazing pieces mm. as well. I love them. Um, should we get cracking? Yes, Shall we? Yes, Which one would you yes. like me to start with then, Ross? 
Which, you Let's choose. do the ladybird. Love ladybird. The lady yeah. Most. Oh, look yeah. at that. Most people immediately <laughs> gravitate towards the ladybird, don't they? Um, oh, look at that. There's the finished piece of jewellery. Yeah. How beautiful. The component. Oh, my word. Um, yeah, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Obviously, he is sterling silver. You can see him there. I'll put the actual. Um, it's a charm stroke pendant, whichever Absolutely. you want it to yes, be. You can yeah, wear it in yeah, different ways. Um, I'm yeah. going to show you the reverse first, Mark, because there is chestnut clothes there it is. that you it's can actually clothes. see. Yeah. Um, the beautiful garden. You know, you're very passionate about gardening, Mark. We love it. Yeah, we love it. It's, it's, it's our downtime, our relaxation time. And, nice. Um, yeah, as I said, it's taken us a long time to get to the point now where we can actually sit back and enjoy it. <laughs> yes, I bet. Well, yes, yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. I love um, <laughs> I can only aspire to something as beautiful as yours. Let's read though, because each of these, uh, the kits will include the little, uh, and you get the little information. Um, you get a little Hessian bag as well. Yes. You get that included They're really beautiful. All the yeah. So, April, the ladybird. The ladybird is a wonderful friend to share your garden with, reminding us that even um, with limited resources and simple actions, one can make a huge difference to the world. Known as a positive omen of good luck, the ladybird reminds us to look after our friends and family but not to overlook ourselves mm -hmm. do you know n r little reminders like that imagine you're wearing this beautiful bracelet that mark's created and like because it is easy to sort of overlook ourselves mm. isn't it no, you, know? Absolutely. you know you've got it you've got you've got to take care of yourself as well as uh, those around you um okay so starting with the beautiful ladybird it is sterling silver as well you've got a big investment of your precious metal comes with a hestonite bag i know i don't have that here comes with a little card comes with with your beautiful red uh, bicones. I don't have the details before me, sorry. And you also have, thank you, um, and you also have your 925 sterling, am I right in saying that? The box chain. How, how long is the box chain? Because it's not on my details. A meter wow. long length of your box chain. Wow. So you could literally just make, you, you could know. literally make the chain as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So you've got the chain there. The chain will go through the holes in your bicone, so you can thread those on as well. And you can use that as the pendant. So what I've done is I've done a demo um, of this piece, which I'm going to put on my Facebook page when okay. I get home this afternoon on my guest designer page, so you can watch it at will. Watch it out well. There we yeah, go. So yeah. have a little look. In fact, then you know yeah. you haven't got to you haven't got to wait till the repeats or no, anything no, like that. So it's not. on no, marks, no. and Off that's jewelry maker, yeah. guest designer, Mark yeah. Smith. Yeah. Um, amazing. Forty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. You're getting a huge amount of sterling silver in this kit, aren't you? Masses. Because um, in the actual um, ladybird alone, there looks well. I don't want to guess. Do we know the gram weight of the ladybird? And you get the spinel and you get the white oh. topaz and the garnet stone. And he's about to take off, isn't he? He is, yeah. He's, he's, he's in yeah. flight mode. How amazing. They are one of the most endearing species, I think, mm. in the garden. It's lovely. And everyone gets excited, much like your butterflies. Everybody gets excited when they see a ladybird. Um, um, have you got any ladybird facts? They are the most carnivorous of all insects in your garden. There you go. Yeah, yeah. So they eat all the nasty they bugs. Do. Yeah, when they're in their larval state, they eat lots of. Oh, do they? So not when they're the, when they're actually in their. They do as well. They they go after nectar when they're an adult, but as a larvae, they eat lots of green fly and white fly. So if you see them in the garden, I mean, we don't use pesticides. We've not used pesticides for a while now. Because you've got ladybirds. You've got ladybirds. You don't need them. Yeah. How amazing is that? You've got over two grams of sterling silver. And we are not stopping at £49.99 pence only. Immediately, we've got collectors getting involved. I mean, that's beautiful, Mark. It's a lovely way uh, to actually wear this. There are only 50 opportunities. Um, wow. Plus, it comes with a little Hessonite bag as well. All your beautiful crystals. Obviously, at the Chestnut Close Ladybird itself. And the sterling silver chain. Wow, that's... That's, that's less than it was launched at. So, wait. You're getting the ladybird for less than the original launch. launch. And you're getting the bicones and you're getting the box chain for free. I mean, <laughs> we did say, I've got to be, I don't want this. I've got oh, to be no. careful how I word this, though. We did say, look, this is it. 
Mark's not re we're not no, we're not recommissioning no. um, Mark's chestnut clothes collection, and there is something in the pipeline. Mm. So basically, we need that space we do. location. We need, desperately need That's it. why yeah. you're getting these savings. Hello, Tracy. Lovely saying morning, Alan. Mark, I have this ladybird, and it's beautiful. Love your chestnut clothes. Bless collection. you. Thank you, Tracy. How nice. They are beautiful. Yeah. I love the ladybird as well. All designed by yours truly. Literally, yeah. for pen to paper. Pen to paper. Yeah. So That's there is incredible. nothing, that, you know, it's completely unique. I'm not saying you won't find ladybird mm. pendants and charms. Obviously, they're really cute little animals, yeah. but not quite like not that. Like this one. So, so I'm very few people. We chose the gemstones, we chose the positioning, we chose the number of, we chose the size of the pendant, everything about it. Even but down to, I guess, the decision, oh, should we have him just when he's about to take off? Yeah, absolutely. Can, yeah. Do, do you know yeah. the answer to this question? Because um, I still don't know. I've researched it and I can't find it, Mark. Mm -hmm. Can ladybirds turn corners? No, you're right. I've heard that. They have to land. And they, have to go in, they have to go in curves. They can't change direction. Yeah. They have to go all the long so, way around. <laughs> I want to go over there. I want to go over there. Land. And off they go. They can't yeah. turn in flight. No. It's amazing, isn't it? $29.99. We have just 50 of these remaining, though. So last opportunity. They were launched at more than what is on yeah. your screen. Um, the next, by the way, is even more limited. There's only 30 of the next kit, so you need to be quick on that one as well. Um, you know what? I the fact that you're getting the chestnut clothes piece itself at a saving, twenty nine ninety nine is amazing. But you also get the meter long length of sterling silver chain and, of course, the Swarovski. Demonstration, by the way, um, have a little look on Mark's Facebook page. Um, you're going to upload yeah, those I'll a little bit later on so yeah, you yeah. can see this beautiful piece. Yeah. Patricia, Judy, Sheila, why don't you? Anne, West Yorkshire, Karen, Catriona, Gabrielle, Hertfordshire, June, Eileen, Elaine, Gloria, Andrew. Um, hello to you, Valerie. Nice to be with you. Very limited opportunity, John. Joyce, you've joined us as well. I think everybody loves the ladybird, don't they? Very cute. Very have you have cute. you got a favourite amongst um, from each season? Might have. <laughs> Most of my favourites have all sold out. Yes. So the dragonfly, I love the dragonflies. They were amazing. I did I like the, the iris. But we do have the squirrel, which is one of my all-time ah, favourite animals. Yeah, and I like so the other We've got one the squirrel well. coming up. I've yeah. got the daffodil. Love which the daffodil. Is just coming into flower now. Yes. So it's a perfect time to grab your daffodil. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Well done, everybody. Okay, let's do the next. We'll leave that with you because it may well be a sellout. Um, okay, moving on to. The anemone. I'm glad you said that. Thank you. <laughs> I sound like, like finding yeah. Nemo. Anemone, 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 anemone. So, so what I've done is I've used the bicones that you get in the kit as well. Oh, sorry. You get 100 um, in this one. 100? You get 100. You get rose gold box <gasps> chain. No way. And you get the anemone. And the pendant, anemone pendant. Which is one of the few pendants that, that it actually includes enamel as well. I love enamel. So big, big, um, big secret ah. drop. Next collection, enamel. That's all I'm going to tell you. How amazing. So what I've done, I've picked up the, the citrine and the peridot from the centre and I've found some seed beads which I've made little, um, on, the, on the necklace, like I've made little stations of Kiss Cross. Yep. And I've found some peridot 80 seed beads and I've just done a bit. I've never, I've not used these pendants in jewellery before. I've just kept them on. on well, let's show that. Things. Here we so, go. So, so Mark's really still nice. showing these um, beautiful Kiss Cross areas. They're oh. gorgeous colour, those bicones. What are they called? Like a what champagne, are they aren't they? Peach. This is peach. Oh. Oh. That, that peridot in the centre, in the round the citrine there, it's beautiful. Um, and then the anemone. So mm. would you like to read this out? Because mm. this is from the autumn, season this is, this autumn. Is from, this is autumn. So known as wind flowers and related to the buttercup, the anemone touches us, teaches us, sorry, to look forward to the future where better things are waiting for us. With open petals during the day, it closes them at night, bowing its head to protect itself from dew. No! Oh! <laughs> I never thought that I could literally be uh, sort of, you know, drawn to the characteristics of a flower. This is very exclusive. There are only 30 of these there's available. The card, then. So there's, there's the card. So there, that's my garden in the height of autumn. Looks still looking all, beautiful. All my colours. garden doesn't look like that in autumn. Mm -hmm. So they turn their head away to yeah, sort they of bow protect down. themselves. They, they close up and bow their heads so they don't get filled with water. If it How rains or, amazing. Yeah. 
Very exclusive, though. Uh, so this is the uh, anemone. Is that yeah, right? Well Have I said that yeah. right? It's very hard work. Um, so. It is, isn't it? <laughs> um, solid sterling silver, genuine citrine and peridot encrusted again. It's and we look, the, the messages that you've put with each of these mark as well. You know, it's about you know maybe you're looking for that sort of. Uh, um, I don't know, that reference of positivity mm, and also yeah. sort of, you know, uh, protecting yourself, if, if mm. you like, from um, things that might be troubling you at the moment. I don't know, whatever you might, you, you read into each of these absolutely. amazing pieces. Yeah. Very popular design now. And of course, enamelling is massive at the moment. Yeah. Our it's lovely gonna Toby. Much, it's going to be huge. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Week, oh, is it? it? Ah, oh. $29.99. Um, that's down, again, that's less than the price of the pendant, and you're getting a hundred bicones. And, and the rose gold the rose sterling gold. silver metre long length. <laughs> how are you how are we doing this, Ross? That's amazing. So what I've done with this one, I've actually taken the bail off on my necklace. Okay. And I've popped on a little, can you see, and then I've rosary linked onto the top of the pendant. So I've still got a silver bail at home that I can use for another project if I want. How amazing. So right now, if you're purchasing this beautiful kit, you're getting the pendant for less than the original launch, yeah. plus the Hessian yeah. bag, plus 100 of your peach bicones, plus a metre of your <laughs> rose gold plated 925 sterling silver. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's wow. amazing. Um, but this is Last Chance Saloon. These aren't being recommissioned. Um, yeah, we know there's exciting things on the, uh, on the horizon. There's a lot of you within baskets. We only had 30. Sheila, Elaine, Gabrielle, Joyce, Edna, Lillian, uh, Pam, Karen, Pauline, Maker in Kildare, another Maker, Maker, Valerie, Janet, Elaine, Diana. You can see you there as well. Make sure you check out your baskets. So the pendant itself sold for more than 29.99. Mm, yes. <laughs> and you're getting the meter of rose gold sterling silver chain. Yes. And a hundred bicones. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good, isn't it? Amazing. It's an amazing saving. Well done. Yeah. I don't want to use the word clearance because this is actually something, like you said, it's very bittersweet. It is. Yeah, it's come to an end now. It's, 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 no, it's been amazing. But a lot of people have worked really hard on this collection. And uh, I, think, I just think it's paved the way for... For lots of other collections to come. Wow, I love that. Lovely. And we've, we've had we've had quite a few viewers as well that have bought every single piece. I'm not for surprised. Every collection. So again, heirloom pieces we were talking about. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, uh, no, it's wonderful. Um, Adam's just saying he loves an an enemy. They're lovely anemones. No, they're gorgeous. I think, uh, do they look yeah. like, um, almost you, like you, wild roses? Yes, we get them in spring and autumn. So the spring are just coming out now and they come in blues and pinks and uh, they're much more of a daisy looking flower. They're okay. a, but they're a little bulb. And then you get the autumnal, they, they call them the Japanese anemones, which you get in sort of late August, September time. Amazing. And you, get them, you see them outside cottages, all pink, big tall, about three or four foot tall. They're quite, they're quite large flowers. They're lovely. But I love the fact they mm. just go, mm. Yeah, Turn right their faces away, away in the <laughs> night time. Absolutely beautiful. Again, wow. looking like it will be a sellout imminently. There's a lot of you there. Um, amazing. Good luck. Well done. Next, well, this has to be one of the favourites. This was the, the biggest in December, yeah. Do you know, um, and I think lots of people have got an emotional attachment to, to this piece, but mm. also to the animal itself. Yes, I think um, so. Little, little little robins, yeah. You see, what's the say when robins are near? So when them. robins appear, loved ones, ones are near. near. Yeah. Um, and I, 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 think, I think we've had a robin in our garden every single day since we lost mum. Every single day. Really? Yeah, yeah. Whether it's the same one, we don't know. But who cares? As if long as, as, long as we're being looked after, absolutely. And, and do you know what? If it gives comfort, then mm. all good. Mm. Yeah. Um, this is a huge piece, though. It's massive. Yeah, it's huge. Now, we have just under 20 of the Robin. This has been one of the most popular, yeah, and I can see why. Well. Yeah, because, you know, most of us sadly have in, <laughs> encountered... How much? 377. 3.77 grams. Wow. Yeah. Hessonite Garnet makes up his beautiful breast. He's lovely, isn't He's he? gorgeous, isn't he? Absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And again, immediately, I think we can all... I don't want to get too much, uh, I don't want to dwell on it too much, but most of us have encountered loss. Mm -hmm. And when you see, when you actually see the robin, it does bring comfort, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, I hope it would yeah. anyway. Well, let's read. This is from the Winter Collection, yeah. as you just said, yeah. one of the most popular pieces. Yeah. Um, there is the photograph of Chestnut Close at Winter. 
probably not looking too dissimilar right, right now. now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how beautiful that is. And I'll read um, uh, read on the the card. So it actually says, when the robin appears, loved ones are near. The robin has a very special place in our hearts um, and our gardens, a symbol of good luck, happiness. Um, the robin is seen as a mem. I can't quite see it, as a messenger uh, for lost loved ones. Mm. Oh, I mean, wow, absolutely beautiful. There are loads of you here um, getting involved. It isn't being reordered again, so it, it literally is now. Sorry? It's sold out. Oh, I'm not surprised. I'm not wow. surprised. Um, that's how quick you need to be with these last opportunities. Um, wow, just under 20 and they absolutely wow. flew out. It's the movement in this, this piece. This is one of the biggest sellers of the entire range I, uh, of four seasons. You know, I asked the question, mm. name your favourites. Mistle the mistletoe mm, is one of my favourites. I've got this yeah. one, Mark. Yeah. So Very cute. it's stunning. Absolutely <laughs> stunning. It's the kind of piece, you know what, even if I only do bring it out on Christmas, mm. over Christmas yeah. time, I don't care. No, it's absolutely. a lovely piece to yeah. wear um, over Christmas. Mine's just on an 18 inch chain, literally just sat on an 18 inch chain and it looks really lovely as so. Um, so again, part of your winter collection. Mm -hmm. um, let's read this together. Have we got many of these? Less than 20 again. You've got these beautiful little seed pearls. Um, I love the fact, this time of year at the moment, actually, you can see all the mistletoe in the trees, you can. can't you? Yeah, it's the, lovely. It's, it's been a really good year for mistletoe this year. And when I drive down and yeah. see my mum, there's lots of trees which have got loads of, lots of bunches mm. of mistletoe. And I, and I think it was you that actually reminded me that it's actually a really good thing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, for the tree. A plant of peace and known um, as an honor for any tree it grows on. According to the ancient custom, after each kiss under the mistletoe, a berry is removed until they are all yeah. gone. Well, there's lots of smooches oh. on here, isn't there? <laughs> Lots it's of beautiful lovely. little smooches under and the mistletoe. And I said, it's, it's the movement. You've got that really that vivid red enamel. <laughs> You've got the zircon stones embedded in the sterling as well. I mean, it's a, it's a really nice Oh, piece. really? So yes, not zircon, zirconia, genuine yeah, zircon. Yeah, zircon as well. How beautiful. I love the mistletoe. I can see why it has been um, one of the most popular. I've got this piece as well mm. and wore it over Christmas. Um, okay, but it's limited. There's only 20 available. Is that right, Ross? Less than 20, I beg your pardon, straight away people getting involved. Um, obviously, you can see the investment in the sterling silver. You can see the attention and de attention to detail. Um, and Mark, these are literally sketched personally mm. by hand. Mm. Yeah, yeah. And you've yes. been through that process from start to finish. You know, ha limited, limited in terms of um, edition, I guess. You know, when Louis Vuitton, for example, say that they're making a limited edition uh, um, collection, they might, they're still talking about tens of thousands. Yeah. You're talking about 50 or 100. 50 or 100, yes. Wow, the final opportunities. Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, is this how, has it all turned out how you envisage? Exactly. Exactly. We've had prototypes that we've tweaked along the way, but no, everything has been exactly how we wanted. That's, that's been great. So there's not yeah. been any that have, you've sort of originally gone, oh, no, that's not right. Let's no. send it back. Or, no. the, or only, the only one that um, it wasn't an issue because it turned out positive in the end. And I don't think we've got it today was the hedgehog. Because I imagine having a flat hedgehog uh -huh. and we had actually had a 3D 3D hedgehog, like, like a golf ball. It was it was enormous. I like so it. Was him, though. I like the cute. fact he's curled up into yeah. a ball. Yeah, no, he's lovely. Very, very, very yeah. cute. They're yeah. one of my favourite yeah. species, hedgehogs. Yeah, Protected now, aren't they? Yeah, yeah we love hedgehogs. Um, amazing again. Lots of you there, Valerie. Well done to you, Patricia, Shirley, Elaine, uh, John, and Susan. Amazing. If you're thinking, okay, hang on a minute, um, it, L, we're about to enter into summer. Um, well, there's just two left of these. I'd be getting it for Christmas yeah, next absolutely. year. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's why I said at the beginning, you know, even if you only do wear it at Christmas, which is probably when I'm going to wear mm. mine, mm. but you've still got the whole of, yeah. that's, that, that's, that's the joy of it. You know, you can literally wear them as and when each season mm -hmm. arises. Um, wow, there's some incredible pieces here that I wasn't expecting to see. Oh, yeah, the snowdrop. No, the so snowdrops are out right now. This, now. Was, this was a surprise to me because we, we, we knew that we were going to put a pearl in the snowdrop but it wasn't until they landed that, wow. that they'd, I'd found out that they'd, they'd, um, they'd put a South Sea pearl in the Not snowdrop. just any pearl, then. Not then. just any pearl. I and as you said, snowdrops were out of the mind. It's been an amazing year for snowdrops this year. Yes, I, yeah, I noticed everywhere. that. It's been fantastic, yeah. 
Um, Ross has said he's never really noticed them until he saw your collection. Oh. There you no, go. This is, this is they are gorgeous. such beautiful flowers, aren't they? Yes, Again, they very endearing. Are they protected snowdrops? I'm I don't think so. Not as much, not as much as something like um, cow slips. blue bells and cow slips and things. I don't think You so. can't pick those, can you? No. Is it, I heard it's against the law. If you pick, this is a really silly fact, but if you, if you get caught lifting native bluebells, you get fined £1,000 per bulb. Per bulb. Mm, yeah, I if mean, you get caught. I think that's right. Mm. Even absolutely. Where they are, yeah, even where absolutely. they are. I love that yeah. sort of blue. There's, it's quite nostalgic for me. Yeah. Um, not just any South, uh, South Sea pearl, though, Mark. This is a perfectly spherical, eight millimeter South yeah. Sea pearl. Yeah. Um, I adore beautiful. snowdrops. I think they're so yeah. beautiful. This is probably uh, one of the, of the collect the whole collection. This is probably one of the most stylistic. It's very, it's yeah. an elegant. Yes. You, you can wear it any day of the year. It doesn't have to be I agree. in winter or even when the snow drops are out. I think it's an everyday, everyday piece. I agree. So very Beautiful. elegant. Um, here we go. So this is the card that comes along with it. How many do we have? 25. So very, very, very limited. You can see the investment of sterling silver. Um, so in January, here you go. The snowdrop or how do we pronounce that? Galanthus. Nivalis. Thank you. Yeah. A tiny fragile flower, the snowdrop is seen as the bringer of hope during the cold, frosty winter. It tells us that spring is imminent, um, a bringer um, of bad luck if yeah, picked, yeah, yeah. also known as the milk flower of the sun. Ah! Yeah. Oh. That that's, 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 that's a Saxon name. How Snow beautiful. Snowdrops has been around for, for hundreds of years. I love this piece. And I also think that they'd be amazing in earrings. Yes. Amazing in earrings. Yeah. Um, but also, let's not forget, you are not just sourcing um, a, a normal cultured pearl. You know, that's terribly worded. But this is a South Sea pearl. So oh, really, you are yeah. sourcing one of the, the world's premium locations of source. We have 25 available opportunities, though. Oh. Still very oh, limited. Grab this. Um, we're going to show you the should be price for a South Sea pearl mm. plus all that sterling silver. Yeah. But it this is, is the, the first and only time that chestnut has been lowered in price. First, so yeah. First well, it will time. be the only time as well because this pro this showcase yeah. is probably not going to be repeated. Yeah. And as as um, Ross pointed out this morning, this is the only the second time that winter has been featured on the show. <laughs> Maybe you couldn't tune in yeah. to the original show. Ah, yeah. oh, Mark. I mean, it's been a huge success, and I'm not surprised by that at all. We've only got a limited quantity. F only the second time to wear, and then mm. we're still yeah. doing, like, almost closeout deals, yeah. which is just amazing, isn't it? Yeah. The final opportunities. I mean, you, yeah. you'd struggle to source a single South Sea Pearl on its own at 49.99, but then to actually be part of the chestnut clothes, to, to actually have that um, amazing exclusivity. Mm. This is exciting. Look how beautiful it is on the underside as well. I'm going to show I'm you that way. It. It's a lovely color as well. Isn't yeah, it? it's crisp. It's, it's a crisp really white pearl. color. Yeah. Top grade pearl. Yeah, absolutely. I'm intrigued. Should be £49.99. Um, Ross is saying in, in our ear that oh. I think everybody has a price <laughs> that they're expecting. You can't do that. Uh, yeah, I've got a price that I'm expecting. Are you? Well, £49.99 would be a good... It is a great price. It's a South Sea pearl. Yeah, yeah. And as I said, you could wear this every day of the year. It's such an Definitely. elegant piece of jewellery as well. Do you remember yeah. the bit on the on yeah. the Wall of Fame? We had that really beautiful piece where we were talking about that, like wisteria. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. This would be lovely in amongst that, wouldn't it? it? Would. Um, yeah. Hello, T U M saying I have the snowdrop. Oh. I remember my husband, uh, who was an RAF policeman, also uh, known as a snowdrop oh, Marie. Amazing. Oh, oh, M, that's absolutely that's beautiful. They, do you know this is what I love about Mark's collection? Is they've got such amazing sentiments behind them. Um, hello, T U Wiltshire. I bought two for earrings they are beautiful thank you Wiltshire yeah they really yeah. are amazing yeah. um, and they do form in little bunches don't they 
Isn't it funny how, like, flowers in particular, they always mm, have, for me, yeah. this... They're, they're very nostalgic. They always take me back to things like my childhood. You've got lots of very poignant memories, I think, associated to flowers. Yeah, yeah. Um, hello, Margot. Lovely saying snowdrops are lupins. Snowdrop and oh, lupin, lupin, sorry, yeah. are my favourite flowers. Wonderful collection, Mark. We can't grow lupins in our garden because it ran, it ran the Oxfordshire area. We've, we, it suffers with lupin aphid. And if you uh, imagine green flies, but monster aphids, you know, huge. And um, they eat... What, they, giant green giant, fly? Giant green fly, and, and they, they, they swarm over lupins in particular, and so we've, we've given up. Are them. they the ones that look a little bit like snapdragons? Lupins, lupins. They're, 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 they're tall, and you get them in reds and purples yeah. and pinks and oranges, all sorts of bright colours, yeah. I can't oh, grow no. any flowers. <laughs> um, I have a go. My technique of gardening, Mark, is every year I have to do it because nothing ever survives the winter in my garden, is <laughs> stick it in and hope for the best. Yeah. <laughs> That's my technique That's every right. single That's time. Fine. Um, OK, well, let's do... Uh, this is cute. How, and, 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 and they're just coming out. They are. Yeah, yeah. If you've just celebrated St David's Day as well. Yes, that's right. Of course, the daffodil is something that every oh. year we would wear. I love the design of this one. I will say, I always mention daffodils mm. and how I think these are the happiest of flowers. They are. No, absolutely. They just look yeah. like joyous little yeah. faces. Mark, the intricacy yeah. of this. We were going to go down the enamel route, but I really wanted gemstones in the, in the daffodil. Look at and the quality of the citrine. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So here it is. Let's read the card. Again, part of the winter collection, the, um, the daffodil. The daffodil blooms. Um, uh, blooms, I can't see it from here. Can we zoom in a little bit closer? There we go. Signify spring on its way. Um, a cheerful flower, its sunshine smile. The 10th wedding anniversary flower, pick a daffodil under the light of a full moon will bring you good luck the rest of the mm. year. I didn't know that. Mm. They always remind me of th things like, uh, um, yeah, for me, when you see a daffodil or you start seeing, even in the, in the supermarkets where they're like a pound a bunch, I, know, I always yeah, buy them yeah. because that, that, great value for yeah, yeah. That's, sum that's summertime on its way. Yeah. Um, absolutely beautiful. We're at 39 pounds and 99 pence. I love this one. Oh no, where's it? Oh. They have never been price dropped before. This is no. first, oh. First time ever. That's a massive drop. Oh, then, well, they, well, they, well, they're not going to go again because they'll sell out today, won't they? How many have we got of these? 25 available. Oh. Everybody loves a daffodil, don't they? Yeah, and they've just started coming out, so they'll be in flower for the next eight weeks at least. I have got some daffodils And then in my tulips garden. take over and... And we're right in the midst of things. This is Do you think, I think back to the beginning of the um, to pandemic, you know, we mm. had a heat wave this time mm. a few years ago, didn't we? Well, we had that really hot summer last year, didn't we? Yeah. 40 degrees. Oh, it, that I hope we don't get it again. No, I mean, that was not pleasant. <laughs> I didn't enjoy yeah. that. 1999, were you expecting these kind of deals? Let me just explain for those of you that have just tuned in. Um, so this is... Really, the finale, isn't it, Mark, yeah. of Chestnut Clothes? Yeah, They're not being recommissioned. No. Um, Mark has something in the pipeline, that's as much as we shall say, um, hopefully happening during the birthday celebrations yeah. in May. Um, and the only reason we are dropping these prices is be basically because you know, it's, it's last chance saloon. Um, we need the locations within the vault for what is it, uh, is mm. on the horizon. So um, do check out your baskets. We are over allocated. Valerie and, and um, Antoinette, Helena, Gabrielle, Richard and Elia, Janet, Suzanne, Carolyn, new customer, Virginia, Lynn, Andrew, new customers. Um, again, as well, if you've got any messages for Mark, maybe you are already lucky enough to hold, uh, to own a few of his amazing pieces. Um, yeah, I can see the popularity of it. Um, this next one is one of my favourites, Mark. I think this is oh, me amazing. It's huge. Mm. <laughs> and who doesn't love a blue tit? Mm, they're gorgeous, aren't they? The they make me smile. They are, they're absolutely beautiful. They're such beautiful little birds, aren't they? Yeah. And I didn't realise in doing research on it that they mate for life. Blue ah. tits. <laughs> Ah, yeah. any animal yeah. or bird that does that. Yeah. Apparently, pe not was it peacocks? Was it peacocks? I want to say peacocks. Um, or was it was it um, the heron? 
What did we have yesterday in our master carving? Crane. Oh, crane. They yeah. mate for life. Do they? I love oh. them now. I'm just like, oh, look, they're just really loyal. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> There's something about that. So the blue tits yeah, mate for life. Mate for life. Yeah. Oh. This is lovely. We, we, we definitely wanted to, to highlight the colours we wanted. And again, I love enamel. And enamel it's an illusion this year. set. Yeah, so enamel this year is going to be massive. Yeah. It's going to be everywhere. So we, we've come in really nice and early with this. And those little wings, the little stones on the wings. He's cute. <laughs> oh, he's beautiful. The, uh, the enamelling as well is, yeah. is such quality, Mark. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I think everybody... Um, blue tits and sparrows. I love sparrows. Mm, I love sparrows. Too. Starlings are our favourite. We love starlings. Which are the ones that always always nest on the side of a house? Uh, swallows. Swallows. Yeah. So we yeah. had one in our old house, and I used to love them. Mm, they're gorgeous. My mum. They used yeah. to make a right mess, but yeah. I used to. And love they them. come back every year. Yeah. And use the same nest. It's yeah. Lovely. How nice is that? Um, okay, let's read about the blue tit. It's, this is a big piece. If I put my hand behind, you can actually see. Um, a lot of 925 sterling yeah. silver. Um, this is, can you see it's like an illusion set? So the actual bale is behind him. Um, so he is going to literally look like he's almost perched on a wire. That's sapphire, by the way, mm, that is uh, yeah. set within his wing. Absolutely. Yeah. Certainly one of the, the, the prettiest, the prettiest birds, mm. I think, within the garden. Um, let's read about the blue tit, shall we? Um, so in January, is that when we start seeing? Mm, yeah, oh. yeah. A very sp spiritual bird, the blue tit is closely linked with love, hope and faithfulness. Mm. Uh, blue tits don't migrate and in fact team up with the same mate for life. Yeah. An adult blue tit weighs the same as a pound coin. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, like at the moment with all those little blue tits are like in their little nests. I don't, think I don't think they're laid eggs. I think they're still nest building and um, yeah. they'll oh. be fine. They'll be fine. Snuggled yeah. up in their little yeah. nests. Yeah. I love that. I love enamel. I love, love It is love beautiful. Enamel. That's almost yeah. four grams of sterling yeah. silver in this piece. What? <laughs> $29.99. And I think this is the only piece in the entire range that has sapphire. Have you noticed the mm. clock there? <laughs> How many have we got? Uh, just 20 opportunities. There's the squirrel and the poppy. There's the squirrel. Oh, there's the iris. I've got that one. There's the poppy, yeah. Oh, my goodness me. Aren't they beautiful? Again, look at the quality of the enamelling. You can see that sometimes enamelling can look a bit, a bit uneven. Or it can go over the, over the wire work. Yes, it it not at all. Yeah. It's beautiful yeah. enamelling. Again, genuine sapphire. Um, Ross was saying, oh, what did you just say it then? This is the only piece for sapphire. Yeah, the only, yeah only there piece we go. Of sapphire. Yeah. Be quick though, the clock is ticking for a reason. There are only 20 available. Richard and Anelia Walden Chu, Anne in Worcestershire, Ayrshire, Valerie, Deborah, Anne, good luck to you, Antoinette, uh, Noala, Isle of Wight, Janet, Andrew, Karen, Susan, Maker. We've given him such power today, haven't we? For that gram weight. I know, that is low, though. That is oh, very, very, yeah. very low. Can we show the back of it? Sure. With those little ring. What did you call it? An illusion. It's an illusion set. So it almost Very looks clever. like it's floating, yeah. if you like, on the chain. Can you see? Yeah. And you can wear it at different points. So if you want to. Depending on the angle of the bird. Want, yeah, yeah, depending. Yeah. If you want him yeah. to be sort of sat upright, yeah. um, just use the one. If you wanted to put him. If you wanted him dipping down, then you can obviously wear them like so. You could also put them on bracelets, etc. So, but again, that's all additional expense if you like adding yeah. to the um, to the precious metal. Look at that amazing! So if you popped a jump, a small jump ring on either of those, you could pop that onto a um, slider yeah, bracelet, couldn't you? Definitely. Yeah. He's sweet. I'm really fond of the blue tip, Mark. He's absolutely beautiful. And again, are they good for the garden? Yeah, I mean they're again for small insects and things and. Uh, I think I read somewhere that if they were on a tree and they ate an insect, by the time they went, they took it to the nest, they'd have used up the, the energy in that insect from flying from there to there. So every insect they, they have to, to give to the babies, they have to eat one themselves. And so it's, they're very, very busy. Very, very busy. They're gorgeous. And they got, they How lazy are we in comparison to... <laughs> Do you know when you think about it that way? Um, sorry, Ross, what was that? The mouse. Oh, he's cute. The last of the winter. Mm. He is sweet. Again, illusion set. Yeah. The little mouse. 
I love mice. We've got mice at the bottom of Willow's, uh, uh, Willow and Tiggy's little summer house oh, at the you? bottom of the garden. It's just basically like a little, little wooden oh. playhouse. And you see them every so often come out. They're sweet, aren't they? Yeah. Um, look at this little... Oh. Beautiful. His whiskers and his ears. He's cute. Did you say he's a field mouse? I think so. Well, yeah, I'm assuming they're field mice. We get them in the garden. So pretty. Not as many as we used to, unfortunately, with the cats, but oh. there we go. <laughs> we won't go down we that We won't one. go down that road. No, let's no. not go there. That's a beautiful <laughs> white zircon that you can see uh, set um, um, in his, is it his eye. Oh, it's... No, it's black spinel. It's on his nose, the yeah, white zircon. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, and we can read about this lovely little little species that is the mouse. Um, oh, little mouse with grasping tail and tiny feet, you climb tall stems of swaying wheat. Reaching the top, you eat the grain, then skillfully climb down again. Ah, oh, ah, oh, <laughs> just adorable, Mark. It's just his little whiskers and nose, and the ruffles around his neck. He's, he's just beautiful. At twenty nine ninety nine, it's the last of the winter collection. Um, oh, we're going out with a bang, says Ross. Um, again, just for those of you that have tuned in, this is final chance, final opportunity to get hold of uh, Chestnut Clothes. We're bringing you the last pieces. My goodness me. Oh, my goodness me. That's an absolute giveaway. Um, they are not being recommissioned again. Maybe you started the collection during the launches. The winter hasn't been aired again, has it? No, this is this is only the second time. Um, yeah. I, I almost feel a little bit mm. nervous looking at you mm. at that price point. That's way <laughs> lower than we should be, shouldn't it? It's we? that weight. Yeah. And again, let me show you on the reverse as well. Yeah. You've got that illusion setting. So you've got those two uh, bars, basically, of sterling silver. How many have we got left of, of, of the little mouse? 20. The final 20. Your deal of the day is coming. Don't worry. You can shop ahead and pre-order on those as well. Um, but, yeah, lots of love for Mark's beautiful collection. Hello, Valerie saying, hi, Mark. Never saw the original collection, but these pieces are all gorgeous. Thank That's you, it. especially for the blue tit. Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> That's the thing. We... You know, we almost assume that people will have tuned in for yeah. um, for yeah. it, but maybe didn't get the opportunity. Um, hello, Aww. Avon, saying I gave this little mouse to my uh, new daughter-in-law. She got very emotional and she oh, loved bless. it. That's How lovely. nice is that? It's, it's, lots of people have the name Mouse as a nickname, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Which is really nice. So with that connotation, I think that's lovely. <laughs> Mouse, yeah, I've got a friend that calls yeah. her little girl mouse. mouse yeah. It's cute, isn't it? It is really cute. Fourteen ninety nine only. Um, amazing. So that if yeah, the launch and again, Valerie. Um, I hope you were with us when we actually started this hour and we were discussing. So, all Mark's amazing uh, doing. You've literally sketched them. You've mm. been part of the process, and and every single piece is obviously part of a season and a very limited edition collection. But there's. And, and they exist in your, um, um, yes. within your garden. Yeah, but yeah. every single species or flower that we've actually uh, um, spoken about so far, there's a story behind yeah, it. Yeah, no, absolutely. That's why I, I, love, I love nature. I love nature so yeah, much. me too. I'll leave the yeah. final few there because there are loads of you. Let's do the squirrel in one auction's time. I've got this one. Oh, this one. The dahlia, yeah. I have got this I one. I love this one. I need this one. This is... Beautiful. Uh, this is probably. This is, is this the one with the marquee stone? Yes. I think they are. Yes. The day. And it's, and it's and it's ombre graded, but from the outside in, not not inside. So you've out. got what you've got almost pink. The, the dark ones are on the outside, and they get lighter. This is one of the most the detailed inside. pieces, yes. Mark. Isn't this is it? the most stone heavy of all of them. And again, this can be worn every single day. Of yes. The year, without a doubt. Oh, Mark, that's so beautiful. Yeah. So, dahlias. Dahlias, yeah, love So, this dahlias. is part, yeah. um, dahlias come out in October? Yeah. Do they? I thought they were summertime. They, 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 they sort of start um, end of August when they're, and they're at their height in September and October. So, um, <coughs> should we read it and mm. then explain? You can talk about the dahlia itself. Mm. And there's lots of different varieties. There's we're hundreds and thousands, yeah, it's a lot. They're, they're originally um, they're, they're grown in Chile as a food crop. People used to eat the tubers. Oh. <laughs> Like a potato. Really? Yeah. Are they edible? Yeah. 
I didn't know that. Known as the king of the garden, the dahlia comes from uh, a myriad of colors, sizes, shapes, and heights, symbolizing elegant strength, eternal love, and dignity, um, and is the traditional flower of the marriage wow. proposal. Yeah. Wow, I did not know that. Mark, this is so beautiful. Uh, and there, 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 are, there are hundreds of different varieties and shapes and sizes, but I wanted to go for a daisy type, which is one that we grow in our garden at home. And this, this just, it's just beautiful. They have layers yeah. of petals, they have don't they? They have layers. They're lovely. Yeah. I mean, for all that work, for all that detailing, if I just literally cradle it for a second, you can see, look at the amount, mm. the investment of the mm. sterling silver that's gone into this. Um, you've got a lot of amethyst in different colours, mm. as Mark just mentioned there. Huge amount of sterling silver. This has been one of the most popular, yeah, hasn't it? it's been lovely. No, it's been well received. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And as you said, you can wear this all, uh, all year round. Every day of the year. Yeah. Every no, it's, day. This isn't a seasonal one at all. Oh, do you want to know how many we've got left? No. Nine. Nine. So you need to be quick wow. checking this one out. Gabrielle, Valerie, Beverly, Elaine, Isle of Wight and Derbyshire. You're all there. Mm -hmm. Forty nine mm -hmm. ninety nine. It's one of the bigger pieces, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. If and I also, as like you said, gem got, heavy. It's got more, more gems than any other piece, yeah, I believe. Last we, chance. I just love the ombre from the dark on the outside and as you go to the centre. It's sold out. It's, it's one of the gem, uh, gem uh, the heavier gemstone yeah. pieces, yeah. that one. Yeah. Squirrel time. <laughs> He's fun. I love the squirrel. They are adorable squirrels, yeah, aren't they? they are I know some people look at squirrels like they're yeah. vermin, and I think they're really lovely. We've got one that we see occasionally, um, but lots of people they create havoc in their gardens and bird feeders, and you know they steal birds and rip off bird boxes and all sorts of things. Oh, but you can't not um, love them. I, their tenacity. Do you know? Um, I, I have mentioned it, and I might know you know. Mum's gone into home now, and. On the back of the windows, I've noticed they've got lots of li these little sort of oh. um, feeders yeah, yeah. that you just kind of suck the little oh, suckers so they can sit the and watch the so window. So you can sit oh, and watch them. So yeah, I, I was sat with her the other day, and there's obviously birds over here. Yeah. There's the squirrels <laughs> over there, just causing absolute chaos. Um, they are very endearing, aren't yeah. they? And this one is massive. Uh, it's huge. Yeah, this is the only one that's, that's two-tone gold as well. I missed this launch. Yeah. When did this one happen? This is autumn. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's, it's just all his, his fur and his tail and it's the attention to detail. It's the acorn. Yeah. Mark, this is stunning. I'm not surprised this is your favourite. Yeah. How, how mm. have, I, uh, have I missed this? It's so heavy, this piece. It is. The gram weight yeah. is... Yeah. You can feel it. You can literally mm. feel it. Madeira citrine, by the way, is the yeah. best citrine. Mm. The best citrine <laughs> that you can get hold of. So the beautiful little squirrel. Who remembers the red squirrels? I think I've seen one in my lifetime in the Lake District on holiday. We used to have them all the time when we were younger in Did Wales. You? Right. I can remember mm. red squirrels when I was, you know, very young mm. in Wales. We used to have them in the, in the gardens. Um, I'm showing my age a bit there, aren't I? But there definitely was red squirrels when I was growing up. Um, so let's read about the beautiful little cheeky squirrel. Coming from the Greek translation, thank you, um, shadow tail. Mm. The squirrel is a playful animal, always on the go, never resting. The animal known to climb the highest branches, talking to the sun and retrieving messages from the gods. How amazing mm. is that? And it is true. And I'm thinking about sort of quite iconic squirrels that yeah. we know. Peter Rabbit, for yeah. example. Basil Brush. Basil. Yeah. But is Basil Brush a squirrel? Yeah. No, he's a fox, isn't he? Why did I think it was no, a No, I know Peter Rabbit's a rabbit, but yeah. there, is, there is a squirrel in Peter squirrel Rabbit. Squirrel Nutkin. Yeah, Nutkin, yeah, that's nutkin. it, from, from Peter nutkin. Rabbit. Yeah. He's, he's busy, isn't he? Basil Brush. Basil Brush. It's squirrel. <laughs> I mean, why not? <laughs> um, but how beautiful. Yeah. What's this... the ground weight of this one? I can't remember what it was. Oh, that was it, yeah. 10? 10.9. 10.9. Ten point nine grams. Mm. Wow. We're at fifty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. For ten oh, grams oh. of sterling silver. I love that two tone effect. The fact that you have got the gold plated acorn as mm. well. This is your should be price. It's we the sold heaviest hundreds piece. Hundreds at this price. I'm not surprised. When we launched them. And again, um, squirrel is a nickname, isn't it? Lots of lots of children. Yeah. Like squirrel. Yeah. 
They are funny, aren't they? I they love they're, they're funny little yeah. creatures. <laughs> little nicknames, but yeah, I, I just I love them. They, they are on the go. That's the perfect description. They never stop, do they? There's certain people I can think of like that, so maybe. <laughs> oh, Liam's a little squirrel, isn't he? He's always on the go as well. And they're young, they're called kittens. Ah. Oh. Mm. Oh. At 59.99, you're getting 10 grams of sterling silver. How many do we have of the squirrel left? <clears throat> uh, okay, we had 30, we're down to 19 right now. Again, that is, he is all the way around, so if yes. I actually show you, um, from the reverse you can see, Sorry, little squirrel, don't mean to sort of, yeah, look, look. He is on both sides, and you've got, of course, your beautiful, uh, beautiful ma mandarin garnet set. By the way, I've just noticed this. There's a mandarin garnet there. Oh, yeah, both sides. And there's a mandarin garnet there. Yeah. So even if it flips over, and you've got black spinel in his eyes. What? <laughs> 39.99. He's got three different textures. You've got the texture on his tail, texture on his body, and then a smaller on his facial features. So t again, attention to detail. He's I don't beautiful. Think when we designed him, we, we thought, should we have him with or with? And you can't have a squirrel without an acorn, can you? No. You can't really. No. no. That's what they're after, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. That or a little, little, little peanut mm. or something mm. like that. I love them. I love this mark. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, stunning, aren't they? They've all got little characters as well, which is a silly thing to say. But all do all we, of the animals have got little characters. Do, do, the, do they have yeah. little families then, squirrels? Do we know? Yeah. Oh, I think so. Yeah. I, I think they're quite prolific, like rabbits, I think. Squirrels. Are they? There's lots of yeah, shenanigans. I see what you're trying to get at here. <laughs> <laughs> I see what, yeah. you get, what you're getting yeah. at here. Um, you, but I think they've got family units, yeah. though. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. 39.99 down to the final That's 30 of them. Price. Lovely. Love him. He's absolutely beautiful. His gorgeous, fabulous, bushy tail. Um, we only have... Is, that, is this right now? We've only got two more pieces of the chestnut close to bring. Three. Three. Oh, yeah, three. OK. Now, the, this, there's a story behind this. Because it was it was October and we needed a creature yeah. and, and we we've got bats, quite a few bats flying around our, our our road. So we thought, shall we, shall we, shall we, shall we? And uh, we relented and we didn't want because uh, there are some if you go if you Google bat, there are some really quite ferocious looking pictures of bats and we wanted Oh we some of them are we wanted yeah. a nice bat and, and so this was this was the bats that we came up with. And I have to say this was our best-selling piece of all the entire. I'm not surprised. Range. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I was surprised. so surprised. I was really shocked. Oh, wait, I just I can I can just see a hedgehog, a flying hedgehog. He's uh, the cutest little thing. Do you know what bats? I think you know our native bats mm. are so cute. Yeah, yeah. They've got the cutest little faces. Little little yeah. yeah, sweet little faces. Yeah. I remember rescuing a bat um, years and years and years. And of course they're protected as well, aren't they? Massive. Um, my first job was actually in like a, a, a hotel. I think I've told you this. Mm. And Harry and um, um, William um, used to be able to see them actually on the outskirts because oh. they were, their, their nanny was Tiggy Legbert, yes, hence yeah. why I've always loved that name. Yeah. Um, um, and she, was just, she lived not far right. away from yeah. the, the, the actual hotel that I started at. Anyway, digressing, but a little bat flew in and couldn't find its way out. And I can remember us chasing for hours and hours, this oh. tiny little bat <laughs> to try and get him outside. And I remember, I remember holding him, yeah. they're tiny, they are aren't tiny. they? Very light, they're even lightweight, more lightweight than a, rub, than a um, Bluetooth, I think, they're tiny little So bees. let's read about the beautiful yeah. bat. The native bat, again, very yeah. much uh, um, protected. Um, known as the guardian of the night. Um, the bat is a common sight in the skies of dusk. Living up to 30 years. Oh, incredible, isn't it? Did not know yeah. that. Um, and living in social groups, the bat is a sensitive and nurturing mammal. Uh, very much mm. misunderstood. I don't, yeah. I think, I think Count Dracula did um, a very big disservice to bats, I have to say. Yeah, because they're not, they're not bad. They, you know, they're beautiful little creatures. That's mad. 29.99, but you can see, it's his feet. I love yeah. his little feet. And his little, his little hedgehog face and his ears and... 
He's just ace. And again, he's encrusted with beautiful black spinel. Is that yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Amazing yeah. black spinel. That detailing is front and reverse as well. You've got the texturing of the bat wing, so mm. perfect. And his fur on his belly and his little tail. Do you know, 9.72 grams of sterling <laughs> silver. But I'm thinking right now, if, you know, if you were, you know, this might be one of your favorite species, mm. but um, I don't know, maybe um, you are born on Halloween. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I don't want to you know, add to that connection, mm. but yeah, you know, maybe right. you're born yeah. on Halloween, what a lovely mm. piece of jewelry this is. Or just yeah. like Mark and I, you're particularly fond of bats. Mm. I think they're pretty. It's lovely to watch them at night at dusk. They're so quick, aren't they? They are. Because we've got some big trees around our house and I love seeing them kind of swooping around. They're amazing, aren't they? Um, okay, which one are we doing now? I need the poppy. Why do you need the poppy? Um, you know, I bought one for my um, my, She's not my goddaughter, but my best friend's little girl. I always say it's goddaughter. Mm. Um, my best friend's little girl for Christmas. Yeah. Um, Willow was very jealous. Uh. <laughs> so, so I was like, okay, I'll get you one, Willow. Uh -huh. I will get you one. Um, oh, we have poppies outside our front, uh, out our house, at the front of our house. They're such beautiful plants. I'm really delighted with them because we wanted something small and delicate and something refined. And, and again, using the enamel. I love this design. It's so cute. Beautiful mm. piece, this mm. one, Mark. Like I said, I bought this for um, my best friend's little girl. Um, they are rare flowers, though, aren't they? Poppies. There, there's, there's a lot of different varieties. Um, what I really like to see is, is you get fields of them in late summer when you're driving through the countryside. You, know, you get swathes and, and on banks and things. And, uh, and, it, and it's the whole remembrance Yes. Day in November and the whole, um, the meaning behind it as well, so. Lots of us, yeah, yeah. Uh, of course, the name too. So poppy, there'll be, yeah, Poppy is a very popular name. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of sterling silver in this piece. And of course, let's read that amazing. Yeah. Comes in the, Hes uh, in the Hessian bag. This is last opportunities. And we are down to the penultimate, basically. This is yeah. the penultimate piece of your chestnut clothes. Um, yeah, of course, it had to be for November, didn't yeah. it? Um, in Flanders fields, the poppies blow between the crosses, row on row that mark our place in the sky the larks still bravely singing fly ah oh, again beautiful mark absolutely beautiful um amazing piece red enameling and then you've got your black spinel within this as well um was that the author yes john yes. mccrae yeah. you can see yeah. in the background quite a famous poem in flanders fields all about yeah, the war and remembrance and no, yeah. that's lovely. I think there'll be lots of pe reasons yeah. why um, yeah. people will gravitate to this piece. Obviously, yeah. I mean, we've mentioned the name, but um, you might have, as I'm sure so many of us do, actually have sort of relatives that fought mm. in either of the yeah, uh, of the right. world wars. Yeah. Um, so a nice a nice piece for uh, to wear for them. Um, at twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence, have we got many of the poppy? Ah, uh, twenty again. Again, make sure you do check out your baskets. Um, have we actually, I mean, so many of these pieces sold quite considerably higher on the original yeah, launch. Yeah. So it is a huge yeah. clearance deal for you. Now, the only piece of um, from the spring, uh, spring collection, I bought this one. This is amazing. The articulation. It's is unbelievable. Having a massive weight, carrot weight. I wear mine on a long 30 inch chain. It's lovely, Mark, this one. This is the iris, the right? Dutch iris, yeah. It's my, my so favorite. beautiful. I'm going to go as far as saying this is my favourite piece. You said that when we launched it. You, you yeah. thought this was your favourite And I think piece. it still yeah. is. Yeah. Very elegant. I just love, you know, it, it, again, it's three-dimensional. You've got those perfectly curved petals. Even if you, if I show you the mm. reverse, on, on the back, if you want it to be the back, that is, um, you've got that lovely detailing. I don't have the card here for the iris. You do get one, obviously, yes, but yeah, yeah. can you talk to us about the iris? I mean, this obviously features um, a lovely amethyst. So there are, there are three main iris varieties that we have. We have the flag iris, which are the really tall, statuesque irises. Then you get the little reticulatas, which are just starting to come out, little dwarf iris. Ah. And then you get the Siberian iris, um, which will come out sort of um, April time. Again, cottage garden plants. I, I just love iris. They're beautiful, them. aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Now, it is the last, it's the finale. 
still is my favourite mm. piece, I think. Yeah. 30 of these available. Again, I, I wear on a nice long 30, 30-inch uh, 30 chain. I think the weight warrants it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just the mm. movement as mm. well. I think it looks so beautiful with that lovely ab abacus at the bottom. Immediately, there are people getting involved. Again, it's a name, mm. Iris. Iris is a name as well. Yeah. $29.99. I'm fairly sure I played uh, paid a bit more than that. Um, but I'm more than happy to because you've got to remember that this is it's once mm. we're never gonna we're never yeah. gonna recommission each of these pieces. And I know Mark, this is quite bittersweet for you at the moment because we're basically saying bon voyage to a beautiful yeah. piece. No, it's been a joy though. But it then has. again, you know, we've got other ranges coming. Do you hear me say ranges? Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, I can't you keep can't. anything to yeah. myself. At all? No. Yeah. We've got we've we've got we've got a decorative range coming, and a functional range coming. Jewelry. That's all I'm going to say. Jewelry. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. In May. May, June, July. Yeah. How exciting is that? Yeah. Make sure you check out your baskets. That's a um, ridiculous price, honestly. It, yeah, it's four and a half grams of sterling silver, but it's just you know, the, mm. I mean. These are work of art. They literally mm. are. I've loved every single mm. one of these pieces, Mark, and you should be so, so, so proud. Mm. Um, I'm sure there's lots of meanings behind the iris as well as yeah. the flower. Uh, these are one of the more mm. robust flowers, am I right yes. in saying? Yes, yeah, yeah. They're really good cut flowers as well. They last for quite a long time. You always get them in, bun in spring bunches. Yes, yeah, yes, you do. They're closed up little, and then they open up. No, they're lovely. Um, I, I was watching, you know, one of the Facebook reels um, the other day, well, last night, actually, and they were saying amazing plants to put in your garden because they're robust and they're full. Mm. You know, they spread quite a lot. And they said hostas. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to watch the slugs with your I hostas. do get lots of slugs on my hostas. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you can literally spit them in half. I didn't yeah, know that. A, Irises for another. Yeah, you can be quite, quite tough with them. And iris. Yeah, and split them. Yeah. Split them. I never knew that. Did you know that? Um, amazing. Well done, everybody. Make sure you check out your baskets. Again, what, what I have to say on behalf of everybody no, and yourselves you at for, home, for your, thank you for, for that it. lovely collection, Mark. We can't wait to see what's on the horizon. Um, I know we're a little bit late, but it was so worth the wait. We've got some beautiful, beautiful malachite coming up. We have quite literally stolen it from the birthday celebration. Um, basically, yes, your... Um, uh, um, Zarite, Zoltanite, whichever way you actually uh, label it, um, was meant to land today. Unfortunately, some of the pieces didn't. Um, so basically, we're going to uh, schedule that for another day. Apologies about that. But don't you worry. We have filled it with something equally exciting. Um, this is quite literally from the birthday. Um, and we're bringing you the birthday deal of the day today. Don't go anywhere. It's coming up very soon. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane.
Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Earlier on this morning, Mark, we spoke about, I think we've really seen that turning point for Malachite. And, and, I, and I don't want you to think that it's just happening now. Historically, this mm. has been a gemstone that has been adored for, for thousands upon thousands of years. But as with all gemstones, as with pearls, as with sapphires, as, as with emeralds, you can, we, they, 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 they are you know, very in right now or they're not, you know. Um, but Malachi, I think, has been on that tiptoe, that that point of greatness. For, right. Do you see where I'm coming yeah, from? And then, absolutely. and all of a sudden now, it's everywhere, isn't it? Yeah. Um, well, the only I can only ever use my experiences. You know, um, it was never in the jewelers when I worked in that jewelers that sold the likes of Chopard, sold the likes of Gucci, sold the likes of Piaget. There was never any there. There was never any Malachi in there then, but. Now it's all across the said collections. Um, and again, when I was in Tucson just over a year ago, it, it did become a little bit of a standing joke amongst the team, you know. Toby would always be like, oh, we've lost L to the Malachite again. Go and track down the Malachite and you'll find L, basically. And you can imagine this is a vast city full of beautiful gemstones. I literally just, you get distracted and just wander off. Um, so I'd always be hovering around this gemstone. I think our obsession has been a, has been really significant. I think over the past sort of few, few years, and our sister channel appear to only just be incorporating it as oh, well. Really? Yeah, yeah right. because like I said, over in over in uh, in Tucson, I didn't see Ange getting excited about the Malachite, Malachite, but but we were, weren't we? Um, and it's not just us, actually. There's lots of designers. So I found this article. It's not a new article. And I did. I always try and find new information, see if I can add anything to your PowerPoints. Sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. Um, I have got sort of, I meant to send it. In fact, Ross, can I just send something to you? This is super unprofessional. Um, but I'll do it anyway. Um, basically, I found an article. I meant to do this in a break, and I totally forgot. Um, that documented what we've just spoken about, Mark. It spoke about the fact that here is a gemstone. There we go. Um, it might need cropping, Russ. <laughs> um, here's a gemstone that over start of 2021, but 2022, 2023 um, is, is, is huge at the moment. Absolutely huge. But let's re start with this one. Malachite. This is positively poetic. Eternal paradise. <laughs> in shades of green. That's so true. It is, though. It is, no. 
these beautiful stories of this wonderful natural gemstone. What is malachite? Malachite is a highly distinctive gem with its variegated banding and rich emerald green colour. That colour comes from the copper deposits where malachite is often found. In fact, malachite itself is used as a source of copper via the process of smelting. They wouldn't do that today. <laughs> um, often malachite is found with azurite, a brilliant blue gemstone that also forms in the copper rich areas. Concentrically banded malachite known as peacock's eye is especially sought after as it is rarer than the linearly banded um, gemstones. Malachite is a rather soft, um, on the most scale, 3.5 to 4, um, is found all over the world, including the USA, Arizona, Brazil, Australia, Mexico, and um, the Republic of Congo, which is arguably the most sought after location, the Congo. Um, and yes, it's a soft stone, but that doesn't stop any of the other designers like that, that we will show you in a few moments time using it. It is still very much wearable. Um, historically, uh, well, it's steeped in history and it has been around for thousands of years. The name Malachite is believed to come from the Greek word uh, molochitis, referring to the mallow leaf, which is similar in colour. Malachite has been used by humans since antiquity and was believed to protect one from evil. In ancient Egypt, the colour green was highly symbolic, representing new life and fertility. Ancient Egyptians referred to the eternal paradise they believed awaited them in the afterlife as the fields of Malachite. Wow. How beautiful is that? Yeah. Um, they would rarely use malachite as a gemstone in jewellery, but would grind it up to make paint mm. pigments and eye shadows. <gasps> I know, we all take a sudden intake of breath. I mean, back then, that's fine. I'm not going to say they're wrong. Personally, I would not touch the malachite. It's absolutely beautiful as a gemstone. Reading on. Here is, and like I said, just to emphasize the fact this is a gemstone te uh, steeped in history, uh, this is a funerary mask of the Red Queen um, displayed in the museum exhibition in Mexico City. And of course, it is all hand carved, beautiful malachite. In modern metaphysical practices, malachite symbolizes transformation, abundance, and spiritual wisdom. Some people believe that wearing malachite jewelry can alleviate depression and help aid in the restoration of balance and positivity. Whatever your beliefs are, malachite is undoubtedly a beautiful stone to add to your collection. And I, to I love that last sentence. You know, whether you go with the metaphysical side of gemstones or not, listen, it's entirely up to you, whichever you decide. You can't, we can't deny it's a beautiful stone, yeah, isn't it? It's, it's so striking. It is so distinctive, that opening sentence. You know, you're not likely to misinterpret this gemstone for another. Um, and lots of the big jewelers are actually incorporating it as well. And I'm going to show you a few of those. Be mindful, because when something is in, as, when a gem is hot, and it's very hot right now, um, it does open itself up to sort of simulants. And believe me, there are simulated malachites. Some of them are, are absolutely hideous. Um, be mindful. Make sure you're sourcing from a reputable jeweler um, or supplier like ourselves, like the ones I'm about to show you. Uh, Stone and May, for example, fine jewellery, a beautiful beaded necklace. You could recreate that, couldn't you? It is simple beading. £85 for that lovely piece. How about this on Netta Porter? It's, they look to be four millimetre yes, rounds. Absolutely. So, you know, quite small in their size. They've got a 14 karat gold clasp, I assume, 480 pounds. They're not even knotted. No. Not yeah. even knotted. Very tight choker as well, isn't it? Yeah. It's lovely. Don't get me wrong. I do like that. Next one. Going back to Stone and May, um, teaming it alongside some lovely tiger's eye, lovely combination, don't you think? £75? Is that a, sim is that a difficult piece of jewellery to, to make? No. It's and that could be worn by gents as well. As yeah, That's why I think we have such an affinity with malachite. It's, uh, for me, it's probably one of the most unisex gemstones I agree. that we can bring to air. Yeah, I agree. Without a doubt. It is beautiful, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Moving on. Ah, oh, here we go. So this is on eBay, or it was on eBay. It's probably not now, but um, so rare Tiffany's and Co. So Tiffany's and Co. Of course, incorporated malachite. And have a little look at the stones. Look at this. I know the silver is is starting to tarnish. Well, you'd expect that with something that is basically. Um, Oh, it's a vintage piece of jewellery, isn't it, essentially? Um, but look at the quality of the malachite. Does yours differ? 
Does yours look any different to what's Ours on your screen? It's right? darker and richer. I, I think it's better. Yeah, I <laughs> yes. agree with you there. Yeah. Um, how much is that? One thousand three hundred. Yeah, three hundred and six pounds. Um, absolutely beautiful though. Thirty inch necklace. Could you recreate that? Easily. Easily. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and that's to save yourself four figures and then some. Moving on. You've got. Um, is that Aisha? Aisha, um, £125. That's lovely and actually not too inexpensive, no, I think. No, no. I think that's one of the reasons why I like that. Malachite beaded necklace, beautiful. Again, it's not a difficult piece of jewellery for you to create. Wolf and Badger, I love this one. Wow. I think that's absolutely beautiful. It looks to have a few sea beads in between the Malachite. Yeah, a couple of Baroques. A couple of Baroque pearls yeah, and a feature yeah. uh, connector at the front there. £395. Again, you can create that, can't you? Um, the Brock pearls that we had earlier yeah, on this morning yeah. would be absolutely perfect. Yeah. Amazing. Something oh, like yeah. this. Again, love it. £430. Are we showing pieces here, jewellery maker, that you 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 could uh, uh, you don't envisage yourself making? You know, are these pieces that are beyond your capabilities? I don't think so, because I see your wonderful pieces on the Wall of Fame. How lovely is that? It's yeah, beautiful. Yeah. But again, yeah. another big designer working with it. We'll flick through a bit fast. You can this is you know, we mentioned earlier on that uh, Malachite often found around side um, alongside Azurite. That's literally Malachite forms in stalactites and stalagmites. You'll see that in a photograph in a few moments. So you've actually got a stalactite of uh, of Malachite and then a stalactite of Azurite all the way yeah. over it as well. How cool is that? Um, nature is cool. Moving on. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's me literally in Tucson. Yeah, you can find Elle hovering. <laughs> That's my hand, yeah. Um, uh, literally hovering around, hovering around the malachite. Um, but you can see there how they actually form these beautiful concentric, that peacock's eye formations. Oh, um, and they use slices of it to create beautiful homeware designs like this. That I can imagine they would be pretty expensive, um, but absolutely beautiful. Ah, where's, where's all the interior design? Oh, okay. I tell you what, the email hasn't come through, so I'm going to show you this. Don't worry, we, we can do it. We can do it literally live on air. Hang on a minute. I found this literally last night. Malachite, the next gemstone trend. Bear with. Oh, hang on. It's all right. It's only pictures of my kids. It's all good. Can you see this? Can you see this? There we go. Jewel tones have long been staples of fashion industry and various stones have become trends within the jewellery industry. A recent report by forecasting company WGSN revealed that Malachite is said to be one of autumn, winter, 2022 20, and 23's biggest colour and jewellery trends. Yeah. Malachite is a semi-pressure mineral base, uh, base stones uh, renowned for its unique, bright, opaque green colour and swirling circular look. So there we go. You know, we've been literally in the thick of it, haven't we? Um, you know, the fact that we've we, we, we've kind of been embracing this gemstone for years prior to that announcement, really. But um, we're not alone. Van Cleef and Arpels, here we go. Alhambra, you, you know. Do you think this included. has had a lot to do with it? Do Maybe. Think? Yeah, I think they would certainly play their part. People do sort of uh, recognise Van Cleef and Arpels. £23,000. That's a car. Mm. It is a car. <laughs> it's a nice car, too. Yeah. It's a very nice car. What about this piece? That's lovely, Netta Porter, six and a half thousand pounds. <laughs> I know, it's wow. expensive. I'm not comparing, I'm just showing all the different designers that are actually working with Malachite right now. I love oh, these, lovely. I think they're so beautiful. Yeah. And by the way, if, you, if you're giving away secrets, I'm gonna too, I've asked Wayne to buy those. Oh, okay. That kind of shape, yeah, yeah. that kind of uh, tulip-like shape. Um, not those actual ones, to buy a version like a tulip right. shape. Um, £595, or you can reconfigure it for £1,490. How about this? Misoma, £98 for that slice of yeah. malachite. Uh, again, another Misoma piece. I love that class. Isn't that beautiful? £159. Um, here is a photograph of the Malachite mine. As you can see, the Azurite right there, oh, that's yeah. that vibrant blue. Um, that's that's not a mine that's actually be in operation anymore. Yeah, it's, 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 it's cool, isn't it? It's right, really, right. really cool. Yeah. 
Um, paintings literally used, and we spoke about grinding mm. down malachite with your, uh, to use the pigment. That's a malachite Egyptian painting. And of course, we've got some uh, um, sort of uh, wow. full pillars literally created from malachite. It has made a, uh, if the jewelry world is being influenced by this gemstone, so will the interior design world as well. And you can just show you a few examples here, curtains, tiles, how lovely is that? I want a Malachite bathroom. <laughs> um, Von Cleef and Arpels, there we go, once again. Um, okay, so we know, we know this gemstone is global. We know that the biggest designers in the world, Chopard, Missoma, uh, Piaget, they're all using it. Lola, uh, Lola Rose have started a watch. I don't know if it's genuine Malachite, but they've got a, a Malachite dial, which is really lovely too. Um, it is absolutely everywhere. And do you know where else it is? Here, right now. But it is going to be available for a very short window. And I say that because I'm so confident every single one of these will sell out. This is Malachite, literally, purchased for the biggest day of our calendar, the 4th <laughs> of May. Yeah. Um, the reason why, I, I don't know how Ross has done this, to be honest. I don't know how you've persuaded Wayne, it's but well done. It's not what you know. It's who you know and all of that. <laughs> um, what are the quantities on these, Ross? Oh, 50 no. of them. Are we going to start with the largest? Larger size, but smallest quantity, 10 mil rounds. We're going to make this fair for everybody. Look, I've spoken, I've witted on about it enough. Wow. In 60 seconds, the opportunity is before you. Did you say how many? 50. Oh. It was a birthday deal. Yeah, it was the deal oh of the day God. for the 4th of May. It's quite scarce. It is scarce. This yeah. is a thing. Even even last year, I could see malachite. I could buy, bring you free forms of malachite, but we couldn't get any strands. Not, not so. Genuinely, hand on heart, I didn't see a single strand of malachite when I was over there. Wow. Not a single strand. I saw free forms. I saw sort of slices like the bowls. That, that, that was my photograph. That I was literally, literally at that store. Not a single strand. 10 millimetres in their size. Can you see that beautiful concentric peacock's eye that we spoke about? The quality of this, of this Malachi is second to none. These are the largest. We are going to be bringing you a graduation if you wanted to recreate, if you're inspired by any of those pieces. It is totally and utterly natural. Be mindful. There are some. There, are, there is obviously similar fake malachite out there. Um, obviously not with us here at Jewelry Maker. 190 carats of exemplary quality. You know, I, don't, I wouldn't hesitate holding this strand alongside any of those pieces of jewelry that we, uh, uh, you know, that we uh, that we just showed you. You know, the wolf and badger piece with the brock pill, for example. I wouldn't hesitate actually holding this alongside any one of those designs, whichever it might be. You know, do, do you think this is this looks vastly different? Does the, is the quality less? Right. It's definitely not, is it? Yeah, I agree, Adam. I think that because you've got such distinctions of those bands, the quality is right up there. That necklace, which I know so many of you could recreate, it's using some Y Guardian, some seed bead to clasp, Brock pills and a little connector. Yeah. That's 395 pounds for that necklace, which is lovely. It's beautiful, that necklace. We are not stopping at 295 pounds. I fully expect every single one of these to be an on-screen sellout. Add it to your basket. We are sourcing from the premium, lo widely re regarded as the best location in the world. Malachite from the Congo is considered to be the finest of its type. I, and I see why. It's vibrant. It's got the most beautiful, intense, natural colors. This is not dyed. It's not reconstituted. It's distinctive. It's, remember the, the, the title of that presentation? Again, those aren't my words. This is, those are words that I've literally taken off another, um, I think it was actually an article talking about the beauty of this stone. You know, Malachi, eternal paradise in shades of green. And the fact that we once imagined that, you know, so the afterlife is, it looks like this. I love that story. Yeah. There are 50 available, or rather there were. We are not stopping here, but we do want to see you there. The more of you that are there, the faster this is going to sell out, the lower we'll, put, we'll take it. And then obviously it means we can bring every single one of these strands. So if you love it, show Ross that you're interested. 
Ross, you consider my name on that list for sure. Because I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't see Malachi without wanting to purchase it. And there has been years where we've not bought it to air. It's expensive, mm. really expensive yeah. stones. Very shallow forming as well. So it's not like, you know, we spoke about tanzanite earlier on where you can dig to meet at like thousands of meters below the earth's surface. Um, malachite is literally shallow forming like your, your turquoise as well. So it's, there's never vast quantities of it. Make sure you're adding this to your basket, showing Ross that you're interested in getting involved. This is the largest of the rounds. I do have it in three other strands, so you could create that most beautiful graduation if you wanted to. I'm all over this, Ross. There's a lot I'd of multi-buyers. I'd love to make a malachite marla. Oh. Malachite. Oh. What colour would you put with it? Because it's gold for me all day long. Hmm. I think something like a pale lavender lilac colour. Nice. I think that would be nice. That's, I mean, I'm, I'm really basic with my jewellery. When it comes to malachite, all I do is literally put it with some gold, some gold coloured beads. Just beautiful. Look at the quality that we are getting here for 99.99. Did you see a single piece that was a double figure price tag? I don't think I did. And I know there's precious metal in that. Mm. Uh, oh, sorry, beg your pardon, there was, 75 pounds. Mm. I once did a, a, um, a craft fair in Chipping Norton and, um, and there was a lady selling, selling strands of, of, of um, gemstones on the joining table and she was selling, <laughs> I always remember this, and I, you know when you think, oh, I really should tell, say something to somebody, but she was, sell she was selling full strands of malachite beads for a fiver and you just think, Obviously, How did she get? Obviously, they weren't. But this, is what, oh. this is what you were saying. You have to be careful when you see when you when you go to craft fairs and sales. If you see malachite at ridiculous prices, sometimes it's, it's dyed magnesite. Yeah, it's probably really fake. Careful. Please, yeah, get yeah. your certificate of authenticity. Ask, you know, ask the questions. You know, I know they can be quite uncomfortable questions sometimes, but it is worthwhile doing, isn't oh, yeah. it? So yeah. I've been caught out, certainly yeah. with gemstones that I've bought that haven't been the real deal. Of course, all, all of ours are um, laboratory certified, amazing quality. And I know our audience have got a wealth of knowledge now, so you know what's, you know, you can almost recognise it, can't you, without that authenticity. Ignore 99.99, super limited opportunity. Um, we adore it, don't we, jewellery makers? It's the largest carat weight that we actually have in a strand. We don't see it very often. This was literally <laughs> yoiked out of the, the actual jewellery maker birthday, May the 4th, 49.99. I love it. I absolutely love it. You've got just under 200 carats of this beautiful gemstone. It's so unique. It glows and everybody, um, it seems, in the jewellery world is just utterly smitten with this gemstone. Yeah. But actually, it's not just the jewellery world, is it? You know, there's wallpaper that's like a malachite print. Dolce & Gabbana have done jewellery boxes with a malachite print. It's not actually malachite. You know, there's tiles that you can have fitted in your bathroom that are inspired by malachite. Oh. Curtains. Look, a chair, a malachite chair. How amazing. That's so we talk about jadeite fever. That's beautiful, isn't it? Look at the chandelier above the bath as well. Um, really? So, okay, let me just explain to you all. When you have, we have a quick change in the schedule, which is what happened yesterday. Obviously, we couldn't bring in the czar, right? Um, so it's like, okay, we've, we've got to have a plan B. What an amazing plan B this is. I know nothing, so I'm kind of, I, I'm winging it, totally. I don't know what Ross is going to do here. I don't think Ross knows, to be fair. You raise a good point. Mm. <laughs> mm. Do you know what you're doing, Ross? But I think that's only going to benefit you. No. Oh. He's got a price in his head that he's thinking. The larger size, look how beautiful this is. I just love the uniqueness of every single... So you've got the different colours, you've got the different tones, so you've got the different striations and patterning and... Apps. I'd wear malachite any day of the week. Look That's just one. stunning, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, look. yeah I, uh, Ross has said these are, these are better than the last parcel and they were good. Look at this one. <gasps> look at that. 
Amazing. We had 50. 27 have already gone. 23 remain. Get I might them miss gone. It. Yeah, I might miss out yeah. on this. I think they're going to sell out. Look how beautiful it is. 34.99. dollars <laughs> 34 dollars Wow. Just amazing. And they're not small sizes. You know, these are 10 mils, which, I mean, I can't say this for certain, but Ross, like I said, I'm winging it right now. Does that have a knock-on effect? Wow. So that means the six mils, the four mils, the, the eight mils, which are all available on pre-order, it will have a knock-on effect. And I would encourage you checking out because the phone lines and the website has just gone completely crazy. Hello to you, Selena, Sandra, um, Christine, Leicestershire, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Sue, Victoria, London, multi-buying, Heather, Christine, Suzanne, new customer, Pauline, Shirley, Sandra, Elaine, Victoria, Julia, hello to you, Faye, Andrew, Anne. Um, yeah, it is busy. If you press your option one, I can currently guarantee you one. Um, but... Uh, oh, I shouldn't really say that because people might multi-buy, yeah, mightn't they? So at the end of the yeah. day, um, good luck. You've got to be in there nice and early. All I'm going to say is if you want the other sizes, shop ahead. If you're on the phone line, speak to our contact center. They can allocate them to you as well. It doesn't matter whether you purchase them now, whether you pay, purchase them during the auction. Everybody pays the final low price tag. We don't deduct your card until the end of the day anyway, um, and your order is ready to be processed. We're straight down into single figure quantities how amazing is that i adore this gemstone it's my number one it's gorgeous there's not another stone like it is there no. there really isn't love Gosh. it absolutely and you always put gorgeous. it with gold do you yeah i love malachite mm. with gold it's just something so opulent about it i just think it's so so rich it's so yeah. Unique. It, you know, it is distinctive. You never forget Malachite. But be mindful. Mark was just saying there, and I've yeah, certainly yeah. seen it. I remember seeing this. I, I showed you a photograph once upon a time. This Malachite heart that had, and it was like, oh, yeah. here's here's the first <laughs> red flag. Malachite quartz, rare gem, or something like that. Well, is it a quartz or is it a malachite? Mm, Which is it? Yeah. Um, and it was painted. It was painted. Oh, yes. Yeah. Um, okay. Straight into the eight millimetres. Now, this strand comes with spacers. So, technically, you could literally re-strand it. Mm. Um, we had 50. 19 have gone on pre-order. Amazing. That's the way to do it. I would be shopping nice and early as well um to guarantee your success look at that there we go there's those peacock's eye you can see this beautiful sort of malachite um, um wonderful sort of malachite so if this was agate to bring out the banding we'd have to introduce dyes and colors yeah. wouldn't we but yeah. malachite does it all itself all on itself. what you see is what and you it's get. Where, i love it's, that it's where the copper is almost yeah. sort of dripped yeah. As we saw on that, as we saw on that uh, um, in that in that mine, didn't we? You can literally see where it's dripping down um, by the ladder itself. Um, it's that oh. copper rich. It's fifty percent copper malachite. Um, so yeah, you wow. get these beautiful and those stalactites can form stalagmites as well because it does actually grow upwards as well. That's what creates these beautiful bands. Now we already did you say half the stock's gone? Half the stock's gone. 19 went on pre-order. 29, that's the quantity now that has gone. 21 left. Julia, London, Pat, Sue, Isle of Wight, Devon, Helena, Christine, Rupel. We went lower than we should have done on the previous auction, as per usual. Um, but yes, <laughs> um, I guess that means we're going to do the same again. It's so beautiful, isn't it? absolutely beautiful you get little spaces i don't I, I think they are just sort of normal like seed bead spaces if you wanted to put your precious metal with it which is what i would personally do you could very easily do that um but yeah do you know you said earlier on about mm. it going with every single yeah cover. i think i love it with silver actually yeah rose definitely yeah. rose gold because what's what you've got you've got copper in rose mm. gold haven't you yes. that's what transforms yeah. it to that beautiful pinky color you know we're not stopping there. Uh, stopping there. Oh, Ross says I feel a little bit bad, Al. <laughs> the fact that it's the deal of the day for our birthday show. 
And then you're bringing it forward by two months. Do you know what? And you're dropping it. Do you know what? <laughs> can I can I be um, can I be really honest? I'm not sorry. <laughs> I'm not sorry. You will be if you can't get one at the end of the show. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry that we stole it from our birthday show. I'm not. We didn't steal it. We were actually given it. Because I don't want to wait to May for my Malachite. I want it now. <laughs> oh, my word. Adam, you can be full of apologies. I'm not sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 29 99 only. Um, as, has the previous strand sold out? Four left of the previous. That's a 10 mil. Um, I'm amazed by that. But it was massively over-allocated. I think this is going to be an imminent sellout as well. Julie, Anne, Christine, Nessasha, Anne, Sarah, Julia, Linda, London, lots of multi-buyers, Christine, Andrew, Faye, Patricia, new customer, Yorkshire, Kathleen, Manchester. I can't keep up. Um, we only had 50, and we are sourcing from, this is Congo Malachite, which is widely, globally renowned and considered to be the best Malachite in the world. Um, because, and I've seen lesser grade. You know, lesser grade Malachite can be quite opaque. It's not as lustrous on the surface and you don't have those distinctions of bands it almost just looks like a green it's just a green color um, what you're looking for are those sort of uh, either the linear or the concentric circles as well that's the quantity literally live as we speak 29 at 99 we've got 12 of them left well done do check out it is super duper busy today um, I'd love to know what you're going to be creating with uh, with your malachite um, the global obsession and like I said, I found that article, and Ross, we will add it to the PowerPoint, yeah? Um, because it talks about how, literally, it's, it's everywhere right now, isn't it? This is the, this is the gemstone that we will find. Um, you find it in Piaget, you find it in Chopard, you find it in Van Cleef, you find it in uh, um, Misoma, you find it in, yeah, Piaget, mm. you find it in um, Lola Rose, you find it in Gucci, you find it in Thomas Sabo, you find it everywhere. It's absolutely everywhere. Stay where you are on those phone lines, everybody. What was that? Oh no. <gasps> and they're six and four. Fuck, you know what I'm thinking, don't you? Mm. I'm thinking wow. about that piece of jewellery that you created. Ross, I reckon you should come and tell that message. Okay. Okay. No, go on. Is he gone all shy? That's all right. Say it, to me, say it to me again and I'll read out word for word. So what was that? There are six millimetres. We have over a hundred in quantity. The four to five millimetres, there's over 200. <laughs> They're both on pre-order. And he said, if you love your malachite, trust us. The bigger the quantity, the better the deal. Shop ahead, check out. You're helping out our call centre. Um, I think he's got something pretty special up mm. his sleeve. Are we doing the six now? Mark, you know what I'm thinking as well. Your kiss cross, can you mm. imagine Malachite yeah, in a kiss cross? I'm going to show you the two before. What oh, we yeah. have planned on these two strands, Ross is just saying, I don't know if we've ever done a Malachite before. It is, we've got to remember, these were purchased for the birthday. That takes years of planning the birthday. Mm. Well, a year. It takes us a year to plan the birthday. <laughs> um, so there will literally be, one birthday finishes, they start planning for the next. It's a whole year. Um, and why would this have been the deal of the day with quantities of 50, you might be thinking? Because we had these. Yeah. This is one of the biggest auctions, certainly Malachite auctions, you will ever see. I'm showing them both on the back of my hand so you can see the quality of the Malachite. We've also got the beautiful tumbles coming up. And that's it. That's all the strands we actually have of this gemstone. So again, I'm thinking back to the Misoma piece, which was smaller than this. Smaller than this. You know that single... Was it Misoma or Netta Porter? I think it was Netta Porter, actually. Um, 
just that single, I, th I don't know what size they were. No, it was like a row up close to the neckline. It was quite, it was quite high up to the neckline. That, no, it was before that, I think. Yeah, but there we go. 480 pounds, and actually that's more like the next strand, isn't it, in the formula yes, size? Yeah. But there's not a single knot, there's not a single bead. It's all about the malachite. Oh dear, says Ross in our ear. We've looked at pre a previous malachite strand that we have done in two millimeter rounds, okay. What? Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna do the same price point as a two mil strand of malachite in the past. Really? Purely because we have 100. Let's do it. Jewelry makers, are you ready? I think you're gonna to need to have a little bit of your, 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 your Speedy Gonzales to get hold of yours if you're making that kind of pledge. Already, yeah, <laughs> they're beautiful. Already loads of multi-buyers. Thank you so much for your trust. I assure you you're not gonna be disappointed. You know, shop ahead, dial nice and early. Um, also, you can purchase the four millimeters as well. 75 carats of beautiful quality malachite. Do you know what? Never mind the style, never mind the price point of that Netta Porter piece. You know that none of us is going to be paying 480 pounds, are we? We're not going to spend the 480 pounds on a necklace like that that we can make with, at a fraction of that cost. But what I am going to say, have a look at the quality of the malachite. Does yours differ? No, it doesn't. You've got the same quality, that same distinctive, vibrant separations of greens that we spoke about earlier on. Well, you know we're not stopping here. The first strand, the 10 millimeter strand, was less than what's on your screens. Use this time wisely to secure yours. Everybody will pay their final low because half the stock has already gone. Christine, you've done it. Bedfordshire, you've done it. Multi-buying. Margaret, you've uh, um, got yours. London's got six. Linda's got two. Sorry, stock update. There are five. Oh, is it? okay, another one's dropped back into the 10. Five of each, okay. There's five of each of them, so um, there we go. Get hold of the 10 millimeters and the, f and the eight millimeters if you wish. Nobody is paying 99 pounds for this beautiful strand. Six mils, it's our desert island size, Certainly isn't is. it? That's beautiful. Wow. Good luck. There's not another green like it, is there? I'm no. to rack my brains, there's nothing. There's very few gemstones no, like it, no. even in uh, you know all the color saturations. Before we crash that price, hello Heather, saw a solitaire game. Oh my goodness me, I like the sound of this. Oh. In an antique shop, malachite pieces. Wanted it but couldn't afford oh. it. Uh, wow. Afford the four hundred and ninety-five pound price sticker. I can make my own Absolutely, now. Absolutely, yes. I mean, wow, yeah. Heather, I would have wanted that too. But yeah, I agree, that's a lot of money, isn't it? It's a beautiful stone, isn't it? And look, even if you are getting like, uh, like I said, we all work to a budget, you know, whether it's a high-end budget or um, whether it's to as affordable and cost-effective as physically possible. You know, it's a beautiful, beautiful stone. You are getting supreme quality. I mean, you can see that. We're and Ethan's, you know, brought the camera right up to magnification so you can actually see, you know, the quality, the separation of those natural colors. We've got 33 available out of the 100 that were available, 100 that were available. Don't forget shop ahead on your four to five millimeters as well. Oh, that's, <laughs> wow. That's so low for Malachi. Yeah. I can't, since, we, since, yeah, since we've yeah. had this deposit, that has to be one of the lowest price points we've ever done. I agree, because we expect it. It's like, you know, it's like, a, a, I don't know. You don't expect a low price point for your cashmere sapphire, do you? So it's, you know, <laughs> and I'm not comparing the stones, but, you know, you pay a premium for that sort of pinnacle location as well. Um, absolutely beautiful. The final 22 remaining within the, the vault. Um, Heather, I can see you there, lovely. Well done, Jenny, Anne, Devon, Nora, Rupal, Hello to you, Isle of Wight, Michelle, Frida, Cheryl, Bernadette. I can't keep up. I genuinely can't. Loads of multi-buyers on this one. Stunning. Mark, Malachite Kiss Cross. 
be fantastic. Oh, it'd be beautiful. Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd love to see them. Have we, has, has Alan Sue done a mala with malachite before? Yes. Oh, they have, have they? It's been made. Uh, right. I think it'd be beautiful. I think uh, it was a long time ago, though. Mm. I'm fairly sure they it. have. I just see it. Just look amazing. Alan Again, Sue, if you, you're in the building and you've got a malachite yeah. mala next to you. Oh, yeah, year. pop it down. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Adam says, stop looking at your Jason Momoa calendar. <laughs> Pop your malachite down if you've got any up there right now. Um, you yeah. know, and, and I know Ann and Sue donate some amazing pieces, so they might, uh, might not. 11 final oh, remaining gosh. opportunities. How incredibly beautiful is this strand? Um, I shall be joining you, stock permitting, that is. Uh, West Yorkshire, Patricia, Anne, Susan, Christine, Janice, Una, Faye. Hello to you, Joanne. Um, hello to you, Marie. Hello to you, Vivian. Pauline, Pat and Cleveland, Wendy. I can't keep up. It's stunning quality, isn't it? And all of the strands are so perfectly colour matched, aren't they? As they well? are. So it's got to, to be from the same same it must be, yeah. same deposit, I would yeah. suggest. Oh, look. Because you know, like jade, I you pay um, the auction houses. Auction houses expect their type A jadeite to be from the same boulder. Right. You know, I, oh, I, yes. I don't know yeah. this for certainty. Like I said, I, I wasn't there at the at the lab report, but um, look. It would be a fair assumption they were from the yeah, same location like because you can see that beautiful consistency. So, yes, a graduated Marla necklace would be stunning. And, of course, you've got the eight mils as well. Um, there are just seven left within the vault. We've got three left on the eight mil, and there's still five of the ten as it stands. Um, I'll leave the seven of the six millimetre just because time is ticking. Um, this is the one, the four <laughs> mils. We've got a lot of these, have we? 200. That's got to be one of the biggest quantities we've be. ever had in Malachite. Hence, yeah. why, hence why it was part of the birthday. <laughs> so remember, uh, Ross has all the information. And he's done a little search. And he could find, he could find one two millimetre Malachite strand. And that has been brought to air at the same price oh. that we're about to bring the four mil. There are 200 available. Oh, look how beautiful the quality it's is. It's stunning, isn't it? It is so beautiful. Even the light green and the dark green are the same tone, aren't they? Yeah. It's, it's just beautiful. It's all natural. It's all totally and utterly natural. OK, hang on a minute. Look at the Whoa. quality of the stones. Four millimeter natural malachite, perfect rounds. Ugh, oh, four hundred eighty pounds for that piece. I don't know how. I, I don't know how it's finished. I don't know what the class was like. I don't remember looking at it, even looking to be honest. I was just looking at the fact that look, that's something that us jewelry makers would actually work yeah. with. That's something. Um, oh, sorry, I beg your pardon, Adam. Sorry, um, that we could we, we could actually create. That's not even knotted though, is it? Look at this. There are two hundred available opportunity. Malachite. Our showcases of malachite do not come around every single day. Let me just explain. I know some of you will have been expecting um, Zarite as a showcase. I, I, I don't know if I should. I'm going to say anyway. Um, basically, we had a few issues. Some of them landed. Some of them didn't. So rather than actually uh, do a half-hearted showcase, we were like, okay, we'll reserve that for another occasion. What can we? Uh, we have to be reactive in live TV. What can we do as an alternative? Um, Ross was quite plucky, let's put it that way. You were, weren't you? Quite plucky and said, I want the Malachite showcase for the birthday. Um, and I don't know how you did it, but well done. It's beautiful. <laughs> um, four millimetres in their size. We've got 200 available in their quantity. I've still got the tumbles to bring you as well. Beautiful bands of amazing intense colours. Are you ready? The graphics are live. Wait, f oh, I forgot about the graduation. Graduation, yes. Mark, how beautiful are these? How amazing. Look at those bands. Look at those beautiful separations of colour. It would be such a shame to cut these strands up, wouldn't it? But I think you'd have to. Yeah. 
you wouldn't want to put this away hidden in a box. You'd want it out and show. Yeah, you? you want to wear it, don't yeah. you? Yeah. The history of malachite. You know, we automatically think that it's just gemstones like jadeite mm. that have that uh, lapis lazuli, for example, that have that long history. Malachite has been uh, uh, has been celebrated since ancient ancient Egyptian times. A gemstone, as I said, that many believe has got this sort of uh, um, protective um, protective ability. In fact, you know, like I said, whether you believe in metaphysical uh, sides of gemstones or not, it's exactly up to you. Um, but some time ago, it was a couple of years ago actually. Willow hadn't long started school, and she was having a little bit of trouble with another child in her class, and she was getting really really sad, mm. um, getting really really sad about it, and I made her just a simple little stretchy bracelet out of malachite and said look I that's remember, your brave yeah. and, do you remember yeah, yeah, your brave yeah. and strong bracelet yeah. good luck already people getting involved let's show you just how amazing this deal is gosh Isle of Wight's got seven. Thank you for your trust, Isle of Wight. What we can say is we've got a two millimeter strand of malachite, not from this uh, from this uh, um, same showcase, not necessarily from the same parcel. And I can tell you that it's the same price of what you're about to see this beautiful strand for. Twenty four ninety nine is just your first price crash. We have to start making our way towards um, the quantity of this. It's probably one of the biggest quantities we'll ever see on Malachite. Um, and it's that quantity, really, that we have to thank for this amazing saving. Kirsty, Christine, Isle of Wight, and Suzanne, and Sandra, Lauren, hello to you, Christy, Susan, Valerie, nice to see you, Joy, Berkshire, congratulations to you. Um, Linda, London, Kathleen, I can't keep up with you, I really can't. Not stopping here. Paradise in shades of green. The next price is not even your closing oh. price, says Roscoe in my ear. Is he in birthday show mode? He is, isn't he? Yeah. 19 pounds Not your price crash. The next drop is not your price. That's what we mean by that. I think this might be what you're expecting. I've got a feeling. <laughs> that's a nice yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. That's not the price, did he say? Not the price. These are four to five millimetres. Not the price. How many of us were expecting 19.99? No. The, the, the reality is Malachite is not under 20 pounds. It's not one of those stones that we really see at that kind of price point. I'm not saying ever. Because you might well have seen malachite at some point of these prices. Depends on the source. Depends on the quality of the stone. You know, but for this premium grade, and I, I, it, it, I would never, ex I'd never make the assumption this would be a purple note. We don't see rounds very often, Ross. There's so many we don'ts to say in this opportunity. We don't get malachite very often. And when we do, it flies out. We don't see rounds very often. And when we do, guess what? It flies out. We don't see it very often at under 20 pounds. If we had 100, this would absolutely be where we are closing. But we don't have 100. We have 200 available opportunities. You know what? We're always about bringing you the most amazing deals, the most beautiful gemstones. For my eyes, this is my number one. I'm often asked that question, what's your favourite gemstone? I'm like, it does, it does change from time to time. But if you were to ask me what's my favourite gemstone here at Jewellery Maker, it would be this. I love malachite. I absolutely love malachite. Is that, yeah, Adam's just said, if somebody asked me what's Elle's favourite gemstone, he would say malachite. Do you? Yeah, I love it. What about, Ross, would you say the same? Yeah. You designed your own range, didn't you? Yeah. Malachite. Yeah, did that, uh, yeah. Did that, uh, that, that pendant, which yeah. you got to work I with did. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you like it? Loved it. I absolutely loved it. It's just it's a stunning stone. It is expensive, though. And it's difficult to get hold of, especially in strands. You've got to remember this is hugely wasteful around strand. <laughs> 16 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, oh my goodness <laughs> me, Ross. And we're not done. Can you, do, I, I think we need to talk about this for a second. Imagine wherever it is in the world, you've got a stalactite. 
So I used to say, I think, tights, mites, yeah? yeah? So you've got a stalactite of beautiful green and it's malachite and it's, it might be huge, it might be much smaller. So what they do is they literally slice it. So they cut, this, they cut the stalactite down and they'll slice it. So out of those slices, if you look at the Masoma piece, you know, that single slice um, of malachite, that's much more um, um, cost effective, isn't it, to do them by the slice. Yes, or for yes. example, like Van Cleef and Arpels, they're by the slice. When you start cutting away, it's just amazing, this gemstone. Wow. When you start cutting away sort of, I don't want to say corners, because it's not a corner, it's a spherical shape, but you're, 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 you, you get much more loss. Look how cool that is. So that those are obviously your stalagmites. That's like an uh, alien planet, doesn't it? It's otherworldly, isn't it? Yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Nobody is paying sixteen ninety nine today purely because we had 200 You know when I said I had a feeling? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Have, we might have made history today, I think. Mm. Malachite rounds at under £15. Have we made history today, Russ? Yeah. I think so as well. I'm just trying to imagine if it was a different colour, so if it, was a, if it was a range of purple or a range of blue. I don't think it would have the same, no. the same look or feeling, would it? No. It's just beautiful, yeah. isn't it? It's so beautiful. You can see why interior design, clothing lines, yeah, handbags yeah. have literally been inspired by this beautiful gemstone. It's going to go with every other colour, isn't it? Everything. Yeah. Absolutely everything. Like I said, uh, uh, see if you can find it for me, Roscoe. I did have a photograph. I, I think that some of our photos have been lost off that. Um, but it was a Dolce & Gabbana Malachite bag. Oh. Um, and I think, and basically, I think it, it wasn't actual malachite. It was like print, but thousands of pounds, as you can imagine. Fourteen ninety nine. Have you found it? You'd have a malachite living room. Yeah, oh, I no. love malachite. There it is. It's beautiful. It's not actually malachite. It's a resin. Inspired like by Malachite. I wonder how much it is. They've got a few. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Dol this is Dolce & Gabbana, isn't it? Yeah, thought so. So I can imagine you'd have to invest somewhat into this. You know, you were, this is the influence of this amazing gemstone across the fashion world, the interior design world. No, it doesn't stop there. I'm sure you can get lights as well, Malachite lights, you know, for your coffee tables and things like that. Ah. Oh. Dolce & Gabbana Malachite watch, wow. Have a look on there then, whilst we're at it, add Lola Rose Malachite watch then, because I actually really want one of those. Um, okay, 500 pounds for this next item. 500 pounds? What is it? Uh. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty nice, aren't they? They're a bit 1920s. They are actually, yeah. They're a bit yeah. of a 1920s yeah. vibe a about those. Look, yeah. yeah. I like those. Um, can you put Lona Rose? Lona Rose, Malachite. I don't know where they've, these have all gone. But the influence of this gemstone is absolutely everywhere, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I love the, the, the Lola Rose Malachite watch. I am tempted to treat myself to it one day. It's not that, it's not, I mean, it is, it is, it, it's, it's, it's a fair amount of money, but it's not as much as you would expect. It's about, I think about 150 pounds. Oh, okay. For that, it's not that bad, is no. it? Not that bad. It's nice, isn't it? Mm. Very classy. And it's a real piece of stone, do we know? I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> I don't know at all, but I like it though. Strap's nice. It is, it's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. Um, 14 pounds and 99 pence only to get hold of this lovely strand. There are so many multipliers, yet we have quite literally stolen it from the birthday. Quite literally. I've got <laughs> one more strand to bring you. I'll leave the final quantity. How are we doing stock update? About 30 of them, 31 wow. of them left, so I'll leave that there. Um, okay, the only other shape that we have in Malachi is the tumbles. And it's the last of the Malachi today. Look at this. It's just... <laughs> oh, don't. No, don't. You, 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 can't, you can't be naughty. Don't be naughty, wow. Ross. So once they've got this, this, this stalactite or stalagmite, they don't actually know what the interior is going to look like until they cut no. it. No. And even slice by slice by slice, they don't know what they're going to get. No. 
quite fascinating. It's like the rings of a tree, isn't it, I mm, guess? Yes, yes. And it's literally as time, the water with that copper rich uh, um, solution has literally sort of dripped down and down and down. Or I don't know how they, I, what I can't figure out is how they grow up. I can figure out how they grow down. How do they grow up? Hmm. What do you mean the same? It's drips. So it forms upwards. Okay, okay, okay. Gets added to, I suppose. Gets added yeah. to. Mm. Just cool, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I think it's amazing. Ah, oh, I mean, I could stare and look at that all day. It's amazing, isn't it? Just fascinating. Are you ready? The first price crash. First. Our finale Malachite strand. Beautiful. Apps. And every single Malachite will be unique. They are all completely <laughs> and utterly unique. First price crash. Have we got many of these available? A hundred? Really? That's amazing, isn't it? Look how beautiful these are. The quality of the luster. Again, there's those concentric bands that we spoke about earlier on. It's the only malachite strand that we actually have with more, oh, um, no. obviously, outside of a, uh, of, uh, of a round. Our finale of your malachite deal of the day. And yeah, we've rolled over. It's all good. Don't worry. We've got some beautiful items still to squeeze in between now and the top of, uh, um, uh, at the top of the show. We've got some huge jadeite strands to bring. We've got some lovely masterclass kiss, yeah, kit, kiss, I said then, um, kits to bring you as well with our, um, our gorgeous mark. And um, we are going even lower. This is just the first price crash. Malachite obsession. If we've got jadeite fever, then I think we're obsessed <laughs> with malachite, don't we? I like you? that, I like that. Paradise in shades of green. In 19 seconds, we're going to go even lower on this opportunity. We had 100 available. Beautiful, beautiful organic shapes. How would you work with this, Mark? I think I would do that macrame technique, the floating stone macrame technique. I oh, think I would do nice. that. So it sits on top. Yeah, um, I would use them in slider bracelets. Every single one, use them in a slider bracelet. Would you have Rosary them stand link alone? Them. Yes, I think so. They deserve it. They do, I agree. Where's he going then? 14.99. How unbelievable. Now, surely this is a bigger carrot weight. I don't know, is it? Is it a bigger carrot weight? Over double for the same price, and it's almost sold out all ready. I'm curious, and I'm literally asking a question. I think certainly it's only a matter of time because I know that Rolex use meteorite. Hello, Belinda. Um, that watch is 24% off right now. Is it how much is it? I wonder. It was about a hundred and something. I think it was, oh, okay. it was about just over a hundred pounds, that's I think. reasonable. Yeah. Little like that. Oh, 24% yeah. off. That's good then. Thank you for that, Belinda, darling. Thank you. Might be a payday treat, I think. They've got a watch in our, one of our jewellery shops in Whitney. I, it begins with B. It's not... It's not Breitling? A, no, no, no. Um, it Bowman like, Mercia? It sounds like a German name. A gent's watch. Not Bowman Mercia? No, I can't remember. But it's £293,000. £293,000? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wish Tom was here. Yeah. Um, he'd be able to tell you. It's quite famous. It's got George Clooney does the... I think oh. George Clooney does the adverts for it. It's a, it sound, it's a George Clooney is the face of this brand. And I'm sure it begins it, no. with a B. Um, it's not Audemars Piquet. No, no, no. 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 It might not be him then. It might be Brad Pitt. As the, he's the other one who does watches. I'll, come, I'll have a look in the break. Frank Muller? No. No. Uh, we'll, we'll get to we'll it. We'll look, get yeah. to it. Right now, 14 uh, I'm just curious because uh, you know Rolex mm. do um, use meteorite in their dials. Mm, yeah. Is it, uh, is it a matter of time when they, for Must when they be. start introducing Must things be. like Malachite? Yeah. Do they do it already? Do they do it? They might do it already. Do they? Not sure. Rolex Malachite? Google those two words together, see if they actually do it. Because it's, it's their brand. If you look yeah, at the Rolex yeah. watch box, it's yeah, this colour, isn't right. it? Yeah. You're not going to believe it, says Ross. They've done it, haven't they? 
Have they done it? Have they? Let's have a little look. Rolex, Malachi. It was only a matter of time if it hasn't already done. I'm curious to know what that watch brand is now. Tom's so good on his watch brands. Yeah. Obsessed with watch brands. Only he had it then. Oh. Oh, look. They have done oh, it, haven't they? Have they as well, yeah. 79,000 <laughs> pounds. Uh, wow. Just call it 80, let's be honest. I mean, it's lovely. That's gorgeous. It is lovely. I don't like the gold, though. Do, don't you? Know why no, I love a gold Rolex. No. I think they're beautiful. Right. <laughs> I, I, yeah, that's a lot of money, though, isn't yeah. it? My goodness me. I, I, yeah, we need to add that one in there, don't we? So there we go. Wow. If they hadn't already done it, which I would have been very surprised, um, it was only a matter of time. So beautiful. Um, a stunning, stunning gemstone Malachi. I think we are, we all share that same passion and obsession with this stone. That's the finale of this amazing showcase. Well done to each and every single one of you. Congratulations. Yeah. You'll be blown away by the quality of them. You really will. There's still so much to bring you as well. We've got these beautiful jadeites that we've been teasing you with. Nice. And we've got some lovely, can we, can we have a little sneaky peek at your jewellery for the um, Masterclass as well. I bring some of these bracelets across. These are really cool. Oh, Mark, these are so pretty. See these dinky little charms. They're so beautiful. Aren't they lovely? I love that one. Up. Yeah, so we've got these coming up. All coming your way in the Masterclass. Um, now, the jadeites that are on this display, they're coming up after the break. There are 20 of each. That's oh, no. it. That's it. Can we... Are you put, you're not pre-ordering, are you? So there's lavender, there's green, and there's multicolour. Are you putting these on pre-order? No. <laughs> I just, isn't it funny? I just knew that's what he was about to say. Don't go anywhere. Well done, everybody, on your beautiful Malachite. We'll be back after this. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guests we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. 
And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, everybody. I told you it was a wonderful Thursday. Did you go to the ladies? I did go to you the did ladies. Go to <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Guess who did it? Tell the, tell the story. So we've been, we've been sat here <laughs> looking at our clocks thinking, is, is, um, is Ross going to have a break so, we can, so break. we can go to the comfort break? And as we, as, she, as we came off air, I said to Elle, oh, I need to go to the loo. And Elle says, oh, I do too. And I, all I said was, oh, which one are you going to? <laughs> Thinking which part of the building. And she said, oh, the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't often, you know, just treat to myself. Yeah. Just like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> so funny. Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> um, we do also have. He's been busy in the in in, in the in the background, hasn't he? We don't yes. often see him in the studio. Is he still there, yeah. loitering? loitering? Hello, loitering Liam. Hello. How are you doing? Come on, yeah. Come on. Did you do shows with him last week, or was it the other side? Um, and also, we need to. Uh, not last week. The week before, was it? Wasn't before, it? Was it? Yeah. Wow. I've um, got one coming up though on the seventeenth. I know. I know. Oh, wow. Ross's personal PA, it yes, seems I lately. Am Ross's personal PA, oh. You keep having to send his emails. Yeah. He said he's ready for his cup of tea now. <laughs> Another cheek. I know. Look at it. Nice to see Liam. <laughs> he's doing a bit. Oh, we might as well. What are you doing? Decorating the decorating the set. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I love When's the last day of the birthday? Sunday. Sunday is it? Yeah, so it this is, is not our birthday, by the way. We're not one. <laughs> We're going to be 13. 13 in May, but Hobby Makers won as yes, if. Yes, I know. It's happened so quickly, hasn't it? Crazy. Right then, what are we going to do between now and the masterclass? These are so limited in their time. Can I, can I, be, can I produce from the floor? Can I, can I yeah. desperately want to do this lavender first? It's been sat next to me the whole three and a half hours we've been on, and it is so beautiful. It is mm. so... I don't think I've ever been this close to lavender before. It's beautiful, isn't it's it? Gorgeous. And, and And everybody... Yeah. Ev yeah yes, Can we start with that one? Well? Um, everybody beautiful. does fall in love with lavender, gorgeous, lavender jade. And actually, um, I know we've shown you lots of different... Uh, um, Retailers, traders, etc., that all uh, say the same. Roland Schlussel, prime example, actually oh, says no. he believes that the lavenders and the reds, uh, it's highly likely that they will overtake your imperial greens moving forward. Really? Um, because it's not been stockpiled. It's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's ghostly, isn't it? It's yeah, got it this, is. It's got this aura about it. It's stunningly beautiful. But um, the reason wow. why it's so rare is because vanadium is what's responsible for the oh. colour of, um, of, of lavender. And wow. that's something that really forms in Burma. Right. So that's why you don't see a huge So what are the gemstones, vanadium? That's tanzanite. Tanzanite, yeah, yes, cool. absolutely. Yes. Um, so yeah, the vanadium that uh, um, forms in, that. doesn't form in Burma very often. So here we go. Lambda jadeite has become one of the most expensive colours in the jade market um, today. Um, and here we go, we've shown you these, kind of, there we go, lavender jadeite wow. is a very rare colour in jadeite due to the fact that it needs the trace right, elements right. of vanadium and manganese to is produce... Is that marine? Yes, that, yes, that's right, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, to produce the violet, purple, lavender colour in the crystal structure of the jadeite that makes it lavender in colour. So that's, those are two components that don't 
aren't abundant in this location. Vanadium is considered extremely rare in areas of Burma where jadeite is found um, and for it to naturally exist in sufficient quantities to produce the uh, lavender color is one of the one of the reasons this color is just so rare to find in any real saturation or wow. quality. Um, this I have to say Mark I can see why you've been drawn to this. This is one of the most lavender jadeite it's, it's strands I've ever for seen. For me without a doubt. It, yeah. it's, uh, that yeah. might sound like a ridiculous statement but it can be just a hint you know, don't expect look I can show you a necklace here which is absolutely beautiful mm. that amazing necklace was sold at auction wasn't that the one that was at like 18 million pounds that sold at auction um, enhanced do we think no it was natural it was that but 18 million pounds or something around that wow. mind so, uh, wow. that price point um, lavender jadeite jade there it is oh my word that's that's actually the same piece by the way Look at that. Is that the same piece? It is, but just different lighting. Wow. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, either way, it's very expensive. Very, very expensive. You know what? Apparently she's... Uh, oh, there it is. There's the uh, an impressive lavender jadeite bead and emerald uh, um, necklace. 21 million Hong Kong dollars. Yeah, I don't know what that is in... in we can Google it, maybe. Oh. It broke records, didn't it? It, it broke records... Um, this is one of those that, um, well, you can see it was literally, a, she stood in front of, uh, that bag has got significance in the photograph behind her. Um, yeah, but you can see the quality of it. And yeah, wow. yeah I would assume 22 million. 22 million pounds. Wow. Oh, sorry, uh, yeah, 2 million, yeah, yeah. 2.2 million pounds. Wow. wow. Yeah. It's a lot of money, yeah, it is a lot of money. So, and again, you know, I'm not making comparisons. That is, I've never seen lavender jade out like that before. Never oh, seen it before. Man. What we should expect is sort of a slight suggestion, if you like, for, um, um, well, certainly for me to be able to afford it anyway. But just to put it into perspective, we know that jadeite comes in a multitude of colours. Um, green probably is the most immediately recognised, and that's just because of the history of jade. Um, so I, I take a look at this colour index. So firstly, the first three colours, imperial, bluish green, yellowish green, you can see the value index. They are massively leading the way. However, very swiftly afterwards is the violet, and it's in different... See the lavender? So it's kind of in the middle, isn't it? Well, not in the middle. It's actually right up. It's what? One, two, three, four, five. Um, it's number six. And that lavender is number six. So imperial green is the most expensive. Is that yes. what this graph means? Yes. Right. But they believe that lavender will overtake it. That's amazing. Because it's so rare. It's so rare in uh, But you think formation. the rarer, the more expensive it would be, wouldn't you? You'd think. So we've got the oranges down the bottom there, which was a long way off for value-wise, but it's, it's rarer. Yeah. You'd think it would be the other way around. You would. You? That's yeah. just, just yeah. Well, I guess like diamonds. You know, yeah. diamonds are, it's De Beers. They're as popular and as expensive as they are because De Beers market them. Um, so we have also found some beautiful lavender jade in the market. Here's Dave, literally, um, I think this was in Hong Kong, 45,000 US dollars. That's wholesale though. And that's a simple, it's not even knotted, is it? No. Lavender with, I think like, I wouldn't call that um, imperial, but it's certainly moving towards that. Those two accent beads, 45,000 US dollars wholesale. So who, heaven knows what that's going to be actually at retail. Um, this amazing piece. Colour-wise, I'm going to say your lavender's better. All right, it's probably got more, um, slightly more translucency. Literally tied together by a rubber band. I can't believe that. Um, <laughs> 80,000 US dollars wholesale, that is. Um, again, you've got those beautiful um, sort of imperial-like greens accented between. Let's pop along to something which we're a bit wow. more familiar with. How about first dibs? Um, first dibs, look, natural lavender jadeite jade bead necklace with a diamond clasp. It, compare that to what I've got on the back of my hand. Yeah, they're not, not too, far they're, yeah, no, they're not no, far no, off from one another. They might be slightly bigger. I don't know. I haven't got the measurements here. Um, I'm also looking at the. I'm trying to figure out the actual clasp. Um, can't get. I can't. I don't understand that no, clasp there. No. But anyway, it's if you actually compare the actual lavender jadeite, they're not too far apart. Thirty-four thousand pounds. That's a very nice car. It is. Mm. Mm. Buy a lovely car for thirty-four thousand pounds, can't you? Look at that. Look at that quality. How many do we have then, Russ? 
He says, I thought there was 20, oh, no. but actually of this one, there's only 10. And it is the only lavender jade strand that we actually have today. That's a house. That's a house, that one. That, yeah, there's another one, yeah. And, and, and it is exceptional. £335,000. <laughs> um, hello wow. to you, Jane. Wow. My lavender and red jade it's arrived earlier this week. It is stunning. Love the quality and the great price jewelry oh, maker. Okay. How amazing, Jane. Honestly, it's beautiful. And isn't it exciting to say that you own such a mm. gemstone? You know, let's hope. And I, I don't see why not. Roland Schlussel says the lavenders and the J and the reds, the ones that you've just mentioned there, he believes could overtake that of your imperial green moving forward. There's 10 of these available. The half, we sell that class. We do, we, yeah, or we do. Or diamond. Well, that's with Burmese yeah. ruby. Let's show yeah. that, because again, it's not too dissimilar. Yeah. All right, there's a slight yeah. difference in the translucency. That one has got you know, more of a water content. Mm. How, lavender jadeite, ruby and diamond necklace, faceted rubies in between. We could do that. We could do yeah. that, definitely. Yeah. Um, I don't know how much this is in British pounds, but Hong Kong estimate... Oh, wait, wait, this isn't the actual um, realised price point. Hong right. Kong estimate 150,000 to 250,000. Do we know what the realised is? No, it's not. It's probably going to be more than that, to be mm. honest, because they, they usually underestimate it. But there it is. There's a certificate of that beautiful mm. piece composed of 37 graduated translucent lavender jadeite beads spaced with ruby rondelles completed with a round, brilliant cut diamond and set clasp. Amazing. I love rubies with this. Me too. Yeah. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? How about 10 of these available? The auction is open. Yeah, they are more opaque. They are a little bit more opaque, but it's still lavender. Yeah. You know, if you want that translucency, you're going to have to pay, you know, dig pretty deep. Straight away, well done, Samantha. Congratulations, well lovely. Done. You aren't alone. That takes us immediately down to nine. You know, trust the fact that jewellery maker bring you the most unbelievable, amazing prices, um, even with, you know, gemstones, which are auction house worthy. How does, I, I get it all the time. How do you do this then? How does jewellery maker bring prices like this um, when, uh, you know, when, when they are in auction houses for those kind of prices? You know, well, really, I have to say a lot of it has to do with the, um, the pandemic. Immediately, we purchased as much as we possibly could by some of our um, liaisons around the world. Um, it was an opportunity we'd never had before. Um, we seized that moment. We took big, we took big quantities. That, that relationship has developed somewhat. And obviously, we've purchased from different traders around the world now as well. We don't just buy one strand, which is probably what that vendor for the 80,000 US dollars did. You know, we will sell... We will purchase a big quantity of it. So even here at four and a, uh, four thousand nine hundred ninety-five pounds. Exactly. Yeah. The, the first dibs one, which is actually probably the cheapest, yeah. As if I'm saying that. <laughs> As if I'm saying that. The first dibs was that lavender one that we had there. Thirty-four thousand five hundred and fifty pounds. And look. It's so similar yeah, in terms yeah. of its colour. This is the most lavender I've seen, I think, of all the strands. I agree. That's, it's beautiful. And I love that idea of popping the little rubies in between. That was just Lovely. incredible. You know, you know, first, I've got to figure this out, but I know first dibs will sell on your behalf. Right. So this is a, that's a pre-loved piece of jewellery. I assume yeah. they take a commission, yeah. Right. I've got to figure this out, actually, because you could, could you make that? If you had those components, Easy. could you knot it? Yeah, yeah. You could, couldn't you? Yeah. Well, yours isn't costing four and four thousand nine hundred ninety-nine pounds. It's not costing. How much would you buy a diamond either. clasp for? A couple I mean, of hundred get, pounds, maybe. Yeah, um, I would get I the know. finer quality diamonds if you're yeah. going to go for the high. Even just put it with an eighteen karat gold clasp, which you can definitely buy yeah. for a couple of hundred pound. And then sell it right through first dibs. Wow. Do it. If I had your talents, I would. At £499, <laughs> that is not even 
your closing price. We are going to go even lower. In fact, we are about to half that price point. Um, good luck, everybody, and huge congratulations to everyone that is successful. Again, you know, I, I'm not just showing these other uh, locations to s s sort of sort of gloat about how good the price is that you get here at Jewelry Maker. I think that speaks volumes. We've halved that price point, but also what? the quality that you get from us here. Please know that this is not an inferior grade. Look, the, that, I mean that that right there, by the way, will be photoshopped. Yes, it'll exactly. be taken by. Yeah. Yeah. In it'll be in half. Enhanced colour, by the way, um, that image that we showed you on first dibs, as with all the others, apart from the ones Dave had in his hand. Um, why is there a clock on our screen? <laughs> the TV mm. screen does not do these no, justice. No, not at all. As I said, it's, it's been sat there since we started at eight this morning, and I've just been transfixed by it. It's beautiful. And even more now, adding the rubies in between. I have, to, I'll have, to, get, spinel, I'll have to get one of these. I love that look. It is lovely. That's if that's mm. legacy jewellery. Mark, yeah. you should do that. Mm. Wow. You should. We need to look into it. It can't be that hard. I, they'll take it. They'll take a commission. I should imagine. But that same price, as auction you could houses. That. <laughs> so, same as auction houses. They'll probably they take would, a big, yeah. yeah, a big 10, chunk. 15 percent. I'm sure. Yeah. Today. Oh, what are you gonna do? So all of a sudden, you add two hundred pounds for your eighteen carat. Yeah. You could probably get it for less than that, to be honest. But wow, that's an amazing piece of jewellery, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. An absolutely amazing piece of jewellery. There were only ten of them at the beginning of this auction. Again, the rarity, the rarity of uh, of lavender jade dye is the fact that it has manganese and vanadium, um, and that doesn't form in abundance um, in around Burma. Um, well done, everybody! And you can see it literally on that uh, on that price index, if you like, in terms of the colours of jade dye, which are the most sought after. You can get this home today for fifty nine pounds and sixty six pence. Um, now the remaining jade pieces that we are going to be bringing you in wow. the greens we've got 20 or less um so again be quick dial nice and early hands down the biggest jades we've mm. ever brought away mm. 13, 13 millimeters <laughs> in their size 13 mil they're amazing oh that sound there's it's no lovely. mistaking that sound is there you it can, is you a You can tell without it's been a gemstone that it was jade dye. They've got such a distinct sound and tone to them. Do you know that's the sound is how lots of jade dye experts actually oh. test the boulders. Really? Yeah. So if oh. you can imagine you they don't know they'll buy boulders blind. So oh they don't know gosh. what's inside, what the quality, what the colours is gonna be, and you bid on the boulders. Um, but they will hit it and, uh, and oh. you can tell the sound apparently. Apparently, I don't know. These are, I agree. The biggest. I bet they're freezing, aren't they? Beautiful, yeah. <laughs> they feel amazing, yeah, absolutely. Certified wow. Type A natural Burmese jade dye in 13 millimeter size. You've got that beautiful apple blossom green color. There are 20 of these available. Sorry, in the in the gallery, all we can hear, <laughs> all I can hear, if you've gone quiet, Mark and I just literally we're, we're like we are ear <laughs> eavesdropping because it's like they're having a little tiff in there. Yeah. You've got you've got Liam, you've got Ross, and you've got Adam, and and all I can hear is Ross saying, "What? Wally took these to the price that they did. Let me guess." Is that person stood between the two of you? He's the filling between the bread. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, sorry. What we did Dave say? What did Dave say? Not a sandwich. What, what, he, he said something else, didn't he? I don't know. I can't remember. He, he said bread was, was horrible. 
No, there was some bread's not horrible. No, no, that's what bread's, we tried to say. You to get him. some pretty yeah. delicious bread. Yeah. Sometimes I prefer the bread to what's inside. <laughs> um, okay. Anyway, back to the gemstone. Right. Sorry. Can I just say that if 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 any of my bosses are watching right now. I apologise for all of that. I was getting very distracted by the tiff that was going on in yeah. the gallery. Stop it now. Liam, are we going to... Uh, not Liam. See, see what I mean? Ross, are we going to do it? <laughs> These are the larger size that we actually have available. In one minute's time, what... I agree with you. That's ridiculous. I didn't do that. I didn't do that. Oh, OK. Oh, that's oh oh Liam. It's when you were in Bali, was it, or something like that? Ah, amazing! Apparently, mm -hmm. should we say it out loud? Yeah. For the bigger size, we've done thirteen millimeters in the green, and we've done thirteen millimeters in the white, and I think the white sold out. We are going to take the green to a double what? figure price tag. Yeah. And Liam did this. Liam d and I did apparently. <laughs> Yeah, but the thing is, Liam doesn't doesn't oh, care no. because you got to. He's you, you know he's literally he's not part of the jewelry maker team anymore, is he? He doesn't <laughs> care. He's reckless. Do you know what, Samantha? If you get that wow. three, would you knock yeah. them all together and make the most amazing piece? Like the lavenders. I don't know what size those lavenders are, but they look fa yeah. fairly sizable, don't they? How incredible! We had <laughs> twenty available opportunities. Ninety nine oh, pounds only. 275 carats, certified natural. This should be at least, well, I was Gosh. happy at 299. This is all gonna go, oh no. I love big gemstones as well, I love big rounds. This is the biggest size we bought to wear, is it? The 13 mil, I think. Fif uh, 15 on the strand, sorry, what did you say? 13 mil is the biggest we've bought yeah, to wear, is so. it? Yeah, I think so. 50. 18.3 carats per stone. You're talking about £10 per individual type oh, AJ wow. die. Yeah. Less than an actual fact. But there's a lot of collectors getting involved. Rupal, Samantha, Brion, Fiona, Christine. Uh, Christine in Tyne and Ware. Christine in Sapphire. Samantha in West Midlands. That's working out at what? £6.60 per solitaire. Uh, for 18 oh, carats, that's God. pretty amazing. Hello, Sue on the phone lines. I can see you there as well. Um, we only had 20. Yeah, let's not repeat this in front of Dave. I mean, you might just say that. He's been pretty reckless lately, isn't he? He has. Let's be yeah. honest. Reckless in the best possible way, of course, delivering all the amazing deals. Um, £99 only. Fion, I can see you there. There is a little bit of a queue on the phone line. Sue in Essex, I can see you there as well. Samantha, you've got your two amazing. Middlesex, you've got yours as well. It is busy, busy, busy this morning. And Ma uh, sorry, Anna um, joining us on the, um, in, on the web somewhere with your basket. Yeah, amazing. Again, make sure you do oh, check them out nice and early. Amazing. That's what you've got to do, Anna. Um, add it to your basket. Check checked it out straight away there were only 20 there is a little bit of a queue on the phone lines but it's worth the weight uh, the weight that you are uh, the time that you're investing um all i can do is keep everything crossed for you each and every single one of these strands there are only 20 or 20 or less in actual fact yeah we've brought a 13 mil i'm fairly sure we've done a 13 mil in white wow i think this is the 13 mil in green have we done that size in black oh i've not seen no. that no no Wow. We've certainly not done it in anything, any other colour, the red or the yellow. No, um, no. Hold the line, Sue. Hold the line, Fiona. We know you're there, darling, so just please wait for our call centre. It is busy. Um, you, you'll be successful if you keep your, uh, keep your phone to your ear. Amazing. OK, now let's do... This is beautiful, isn't it? I've not Who seen this strand before. Who put 50p and these two in there today, <laughs> honestly? Are you two all right? <laughs> Honestly, oh dear me. Although that is a good song, I have to say. He was singing, Hold the lines. Is it, Your love is always on time? <laughs> <laughs> Who sings it? Text in if you know. Gosh. Oh, Toto. Toto. Africa, yeah. I hit the race down in Africa. That one. Mm. Voice of an angel. Um, <laughs> you know your lavender strand? Yeah. 
I know. Uh, can, can I borrow your board a minute? You can. It's a bit... Um, it's okay. Oh, I see what you're going to do. Because there's oh. lavenders and green in this strand. Yeah, I've not seen this before, have you? No, I haven't. That's gorgeous. How lovely is that? Can you see it there? Mm. Can you see? You've got wow. natural type A green and you've got your lavenders. Can you see? I've put it with the lavender strand here, but you've got the lavenders in this strand too. Perfectly matched. I like yeah. that look. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking back again to all of those pieces that we were admiring. It's a different version of. Would you put some of the ruby in there, maybe? Ruby would work perfectly with all of that. It That's would. That's a lovely idea, actually. Green oh. and lavender jade. Look at this! <laughs> it's all natural, all totally and utterly natural. Um, seven and a half millimetres um, in their size. We're bringing, offering you a 20 centimetre strand. The quality of these, you can see it, can't you? Um, I know that, you know, with, when it comes to jade, I... What was, who was it that said, I think it was Sotheby's that said, the novices basically talk solely about colour. We need to no. uh, definitely talk about the translucency as well. Um, and you've got translucency, I know that. Here we go, let me just get my mobile phone for a second um, next to me, which is looks like it's been tiggied. One second. If I hold that like this, can you see how they, that translucency, do you see how, the, how they glow? Oh, sorry, it's really difficult to do. You that see. ring all the way around the outside. Yeah, it's like a halo yeah, all yeah. the way around. Beautiful translucency. So you have both of those amazing qualities. What? It's a, a jewel <laughs> strand. You've got the lavender and the green. Did you say we had less than 20 of this one too? Fiona, Samantha, Anna, well done, um, darling, and nice and early. You can get this home today for just £33. How amazing. Karen, I can see you there as well. Um, I'm excited to see what you're going to do with these. Are you going to knot them? Um, I will do a bit of research on the first dibs. Because <coughs> yeah. I know you can sell on there. Likewise, you can sell on Sotheby's, etc. Um, they must, it must just be a commission. Yeah, I think it is a commission thing. because, yeah. and I know about Sotheby's because my mum and dad sold a few pieces on um, at Sotheby's. Right. They had like a um, some like an old barometer, which oh. apparently was very very rare. That had probably was, was my mum's parents, and oh. um, obviously they had no need for it oh. anymore. Um, so they sold it at Sotheby's auction house. Apparently, it's not that hard. Well, okay. Don't know. Maybe well, it's something yeah. we should we should uh, we yeah. should research a little bit more. Um, amazing. Well done. The last. Before we dive into your masterclass. Oh, we've got oh, we've got two strands of pearls just before <laughs> that. Okay. Uh, eight millimeters. You've got your multicolor jade. So even some of your beautiful honeys, the pure whites and the beautiful. greens. This is lovely. Yeah. I, I, you know, it would work with all of the strands that we've just brought you. It would work with the lavenders, work with the lavender and the green. Now, um, first price crash. What? First? What? Have we still only got 20 of these? How, uh, well, we haven't got a bigger quantity, so how are we going even lower? Next price crash, not your price. I'm. Just literally I'm repeating Ross now. I'm intrigued as well. <gasps> what? And that's not it. 20 available, one minute I'm clock. Confused. I'm confused as well. <laughs> I literally don't know what to say. Who did this then? Because this wasn't me. No. Oh, it was Liam again, was it? Yeah, but my name goes on the computer system, doesn't it? So, oh. so I get blamed as well, even though, even though sort of, hey, listen, it's all good because I'm all about, bring, I'd love to bring you the best prices on Jade Eye, as long as we all know that this is no reflection of the true value or worth. We know that, don't we? We know that if just because you are paying as little as 69.99 or lower, you know that's not the, the true reflection of value and price. That's why we go, we show you all of these different retailers. That's why we show you the quality that you see at Sotheby's and, and First Dibs and other locations and Hong Kong and Tucson all around the world. What you don't see is 69 dollars 99 dear. 
Let's be honest. <laughs> Did you, have, have we shown one of those, uh, one of those retailers, traders, bringing pure white type A, not even type B, is double figure price point these days. 49, <coughs> sorry, it's made me cough. 49.99. Pure split payment, seriously. £49.99 pence only. Gabrielle, Fiona, Samantha, amazing. Fiona, I could... Oh, you've got yours as well. Well done, lovely. I've got new customers getting involved. You know, maybe you can't make your decisions between what shape, what, you know, what colour you want. Maybe, oh, I like the greens, but I also like the whites and I also yeah. like the lavenders. But you're kind of getting the best of everything in this one strand, aren't you? We were saying earlier on in the show, Mark, that, um, you know, multicoloured gemstone strands are always very popular. And I know this isn't different gems, but it's multi colours mm. yeah no absolutely it's beautiful it's really subtle it's, it's gorgeous range of colours pure Very pure yeah tones. it's lovely they're lovely aren't they all natural that's not bleached white jade if you look at the translucency here you've got aqua jade just here then you've got some of your lovely honey tones so are these jemmy these uh, yeah Absolutely. Jemmy, You've got some right. which are a little bit more opaque yeah. just here. Yeah. That one right there yeah. is very, very, very gemmy. That's very gemmy as well. Um, yeah, it's all about the surface luster and the translucency um, that makes it gemmy. Um, down to the final five of these. Diana in West Yorkshire, I can see you joining us. Telephone caller, you're there as well. I've got people who've multi-bought. Uh, multi I don't blame you, no, Fiona um, and Samantha. <laughs> I would have multi-bought on this as well. That's an wow. absolute steal. Pauline, you've got yours. Congratulations, lovely. We had 20 of them. We are down to the final five, but like I said, people multi-buying on this. Beautiful quality. Absolutely amazing, amazing quality um, on each of those strands that we just brought you. Um, the 13 mils, I don't think I'll ever get over those. No, They're absolutely no. colossal. And that's, that's because amazing. jade tends to be cut into slices. So and the slices are, are, are normally about 12 millimeters in their thickness. So it's another reason. Oh my goodness. Well, they're both that. Okay. Yeah. Can I borrow um, a bust? Ethan's on it. Seriously, look at this colour. Oh my god. Oh, word. there they are. Sorry. Thank you. Ah, uh, thanks, Ethan. Um, they're incredible, aren't they? Have you ever seen <laughs> such colour? No. So. I kind of know the answer to this question, but the colour is that good, I, I feel like I need to ask. Are these natural? Look at these. They are. They've got a beautiful copper tone to them, haven't they? They're gorgeous. Oh. That's all natural. And the reason why I said I, I, I think they, I, I'm fairly sure they are, but can you see how it's a slightly more concentrated colour up here and slightly more peachy pistachio oh my goodness slightly more peachy pistachio mm, at the bottom yeah. of your uh, of your fireball naturally coloured so this is literally the colours that the mollusk has passed on to the pearl itself you have pure nacre that's why they are as lustrous as every single one of these are they're standalone pendants if you want them to be mm, they're some, amazing. some time ago and, I, and I'm, I, I'm gonna request this because we haven't shown it in some time um but why is it, it our pearl suppliers actually said to us look pearl strands like this aren't impossible you know we can get them but they are astonishingly expensive and that is because you've got to remember again the pandemic is still really um yeah. uh, created an issue particularly with pill ha uh, pill farming um and that's because basically the farmers couldn't get out there to look after the mollusks so they literally were washed out, uh, washed away into sea so that's an entire that's not just you know one harvest that's years of time that was invested into those mollusks maturing the mollusks um, nurturing the pills, making sure they were they fed and filtered perfectly. So it, they they estimate it's going to be another decade until the pearl farms are operating as they once wow. were pre-pandemic. So yeah, strands like this aren't impossible. They are very very expensive. So our own suppliers have actually said most retailers are, are, are bringing them individually rather than an entire strand. 
There's less than 10 of these available. Single figure quantity. It's all natural color. They're so beautiful. I mean, they're positively gold, aren't they're they? They're gorgeous. They're absolutely lovely. Good luck to each and every single one of you. There are seven in the world. Hints of lilac with sashes <laughs> of purples, all natural. They're big sizes, you can see, right the way up to your 18 millimetres. Would you restrand this, Mark, or would you actually uh, um, use them I as individuals? I think independence. I yeah. really do. Because I, I think they're sort of vying for attention on the strand, aren't they? And it's difficult to know where to look. Yeah, that's true. And concentrate on. But I think if you had them all individually... Oh, they're amazing. They really are beautiful, yeah, aren't they? The yeah. quality of art. And this is, again, I've got to say it. This is why I say the quality of jewellery yeah. makers, pearls. I, I truly believe are second to none. I truly, truly believe that. They're huge. They're full of nacre. So basically, this is, a, you know, this is a, a rare anomaly. Obviously, each and every single pearl that we see out there these days, 99.99999% of them are cultured. Um, and it's an initiated process. And they still nurture and care for these mollusks yeah. in the hope that they will eventually actually produce a beautiful pearl um, produce a beautiful pearl but instead you don't know that for sure for sure but then when they um, they do open it up there's on the uh, very 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 few and far between the pearls actually rolled out if you like to the circumference where it has much more of a condensed area of color that's how you get such quality Ooh. and then you have these some some pearls will produce too much nacre so these beautiful tails almost these wonderful blazes are where the the the, the, the actual um sorry the mollusk has produced more nacre oh. even at 1999 pounds we're going to give you a huge price crash oh it's stunning isn't it it's absolutely beautiful. I think gorgeous. <laughs> I bought some pills yesterday. Did you? I buy so many pills from Jewelry Maker. <laughs> They're just, uh, like I said, just so beautiful. And some of them haven't even yeah. made it out. The, they have been taken out of the plastic. You should always take your pills out of the plastic because they don't like it in plastic. They like to breathe. Um, Gosh. But yeah, some haven't even been turned into jewellery as of yet. They're just, just things of beauty, aren't they? Yeah. At £499. It is pure nacre, beautiful, beautiful colour, amazing blazes of lustre. And that is because, like I said, that mollusk itself secreted more nacre. And that's how you get these beautiful tails. These colours that you're seeing, notice how some actually have sort of quite an intense, here's a prime example, yes, have quite yeah. an intense purple colour. And then you've got those beautiful peachy colours at the top here. It's much more golden. It's all down to the colours that are on the inside of the mollusk shell. £499 only. We only had seven of these available. Oh, really? Going even lower? Let's do a closeout deal. Time is a ticking. Um, we've still got, oh, yeah, I've still got the Keshis to do. We've wow. still got your gorgeous kits to bring you. Oh, my word. £299. £299. Let me just, one sec. They launched at 399. Yeah. I'm not surprised. That's an incredible deal, by the way. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. Individual solitaires. You, I, th I, know, I know that some of our uh, amazing designers would sell these individually at probably more mm. than what's on yeah, your screens absolutely. right now. I don't think I could separate them. That's like liquid gold. And you'd never find these on the high street, would no. you? No. Either individually or stranded. You find Baroque pearls mm. um, and Keshi pearls, but yeah, not with these, no. not so much with these no. rare colours. This is something for the pearl specialists out there. There were seven available. You can get hold of this today for just under just under a hundred pounds. These launched at three hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Look how beautiful they sit against the skin. Um, good luck to those of you that have it in your baskets. Um, Lynn in Hampshire, um, if you've still got time to make those phone calls, don't be put off by the fact that there are um, only seven available. I'm tempted by those. I am tempted by those. Um, okay, next, the Keshis. These are not just any Keshis, though. 
These are, are quite probably the biggest caches I've ever seen. These, this is the strand that Lady Gaga worn on the on the House um, of Gucci. on the House of Gucci poster. Yeah, yeah. This, I'm pretty sure it's this exact strand by the look of it. Yeah, I don't know. Are, are those cashews or are they brocks? I'm not sure. Cashews, I think. Are they? Yeah, I think so. Oh, is he finding it? Well, that image. Oh, yeah. Hollywood has a lot. Oh, yeah. um, has a yeah. lot to. To has big play, if you like, on the popularity of gemstones. <laughs> yeah, they're absolutely huge. Keshi pearls are wonderful. Are you? Oh, no, they are Baroque. They are um... Baroque pearls. There you go. You can see. Mm. But still beautiful. Keshi's Baroques, um, amazing. Well, yours is actually mm. rarer than hers then. Yeah. Because Baroque pearls are initiated, aren't they? You know, there is a nucleus bead in the centre, whereas Keshi's aren't. Keshi's are natural little stowaways, miracles really, as part of the culturing process. We can't call them natural pearls because they are still formed yes, during culturing yeah. process. But what we mean is there's no nucleus bead in the center. Does that make sense? These are natural stowaways, stowaways that have formed on their own accord. So, um, yeah, and, and Keshi pearls, you do see them in places like Monica Veneda. Um, you see them, I think, Asail, I think I've shown, shown before, haven't I? Asail jewelers, but they're thousands and thousands of pounds. Now, there's 10 of these available. Who wants these available at a brand new low price tag today? We're at 299 though, Ross, and these are the biggest Keshi pills we've ever done. I'm ready. I hope everybody else is ready. Keshis used to be teeny weeny, didn't they? Yes, they used to be about five right. millimeters in their size. These are absolute giants, pure nacre. Literally, if you were to cut, heaven forbid, goodness me, that's low. Wow. If you were to cut just one of these in half, please don't, um, then you will find it is just solid, pure nacre. There's no nucleus bead um, in the center. That's why you get these mirror-like clusters across the surface. We have taken it, what, from 299 pounds down to 129. That's an absolute no-brainer price point, isn't it? Um, and you can get hold of it on your split payments. Good luck, wow. everybody. That's got to be one of the best deals of Keshi Pearls I've seen in a very, very, very long time. Um, previously used to get the smaller sizes, and they were about 80, 90 pounds, weren't they? Yeah, I think they were. They, they, were, I, they I must have been, I mean, yeah. They were... yeah. I mean, have, have we discovered how to man-make Nacre? Have we discovered how to do that yet? No. No. Because imagine if we could like man-made diamonds, lab-grown mm. diamonds, and we, we could do that with nacre and do our own moulded shapes and... Wow, that'd be amazing. But you'd never be able to no, do this, though, because no. every keshi is one of a yeah, kind. Yeah. Every single one is completely and utterly natural. Beautiful, aren't they? That's the joy, isn't it? Your keshis are all unique. Now, I'm going to leave that with you. Uh, I will keep referencing it as well, just wow. to keep you updated on the quantity of those. Well done. I can see Toy in there, Samantha, Elizabeth, and Myra. Um, we've still got loads to bring you. A beautiful Gosh. masterclass as well. Um, really excited about these lovely bracelets. Um, make sure you check out your baskets on that one. Um, unbelievable quality. They're huge. They are absolutely wow. huge. Don't go anywhere. Mark and I return after this. <laughs> Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. 
You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. way mark to look at your masterclass kits is as your jewelry because if somebody put these components in front of me I'll be honest I'd be <laughs> like um what do I do with those well I have added a few little extras but it wouldn't be a Mark Smith kit hour without a few extras would it so we have some brand new cord called glitter cord <gasps> which has got gold thread running throughout it it's really lovely can you see that there? Mm. So that's one of the colours of glitter. There's a glitter running through it. Yes. Mark, that's beautiful, that bracelet. So we've got a pink and a blue. And as I said, they've, they've got individual gold thread running through the cords as well. And I've added six O's and a few jump rings. And uh, yeah, I've had a play. I love these. And you get these beautiful, cute little charm. And there's one charm that I was going to ask you about. Yeah. Because it's got some sort of... Is it an om? It's a symbol, but I'm not sure Om what charm. it is. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh. Um, right. It's a meditation, I think. Oh, I'm right. Not, like, right. I didn't recognise it. I'm, yeah. yeah I, well, as soon as you said, oh, there's one thing, I was like, <laughs> I got you were going to say about the Om charm because I can remember doing the same going, yeah. oh, there what's it is. that? Yeah. There it is. Yeah. yeah. So that's Om. It's right. the Om symbol. Oh, okay. Right. Can you, let me turn it towards Ethan so you can actually see. Ah. Because without my glasses, I thought it was, it was a number 30, and I thought, oh. Is it a birthday charm or something? But it's actually a, a meditative symbol. It is a meditative. Oh, right, I, yeah, right. again, uh, that's as much as I do know. Mm. But I do have a little look at right. and research it. I think it's it's a bit like um, oh, feng shui. You know that right. kind of yin oh, okay. yang symbol, right. a little bit like that in the Buddha, Hamza hand, etc. Um, so these are brand new. Should we start with the navy blue? Okay. Is that the one you were saying? 
Yeah. Let's start with the navy blue. Here it is. This is the brand new cord. And I assume, Mark, you're going to get an abundance from this, I aren't you? I think it's two metres, yes. I believe. Yes. Two metres, and it's got this really beautiful, fine gold silk running through it. Now, you don't just get that. You are also getting... Rose gold plated 925 sterling silver jump ring. Uh, sorry, uh, spacer beads. What size are these? Two millimetres? Maybe three? I think they're three. Three, three, I think. Three mils yeah. in their yeah. size. Yep. So you get those as well. You are also getting two really beautiful charms. So we've already spoken about the Om charm. Yes. They are 925 sterling silver, are, by yes. the way. That's both your charms and also the spacer beads. And the other one is this really beautiful um, little star, uh, little sun shape. Lovely. They're beautiful, aren't they? Really cute. Do you know, uh, and I'm guessing, Mark, it looks like it's a very small, it's kind of a, a, a very small selection of components, but they're luxury components because you've got exclusively precious mm -hmm. metal. Yeah, yeah this brand new cord but i guess the potential of what you can work with it so exactly. this has got the cord yeah. running through it as well yeah so we've so this is this has got the cord underneath oh, it yes. and i've macrame over the top to incorporate the the seed beads on the outside and then in this one here i've knotted which i'm going to i'll show you how a little demo on this so i've got the can you see the the knots in yeah. between the jump rings here knotted and then i love this piece this is this is a, a, a necklace as well so i'm going to show you how to do this using the cord and I've just added the little sun little charm at the front there oh. as well so you, you can do it in, in your macrame you can knot with it you can do all sorts is this are, are any of these like really difficult are these I assume hard te techniques they look no. like they're hard technique <laughs> really <laughs> so that is not a hard technique no no I generally <laughs> it's all smoke and mirrors it's brilliant <laughs> So beautiful, yeah. Mark. I love so, these. Do you remember on our last show, I did a demonstration doing a half hitch knots, where I yes. did the left side and then the right side. So with this one here, all I've done is I've used some featherweight head pins um, to attach the little seed beads to. And then when I do the left, the left knot, before I tie the knot, I slide a jump ring with that little charm up tie the knot and then I do the same on the other side and then the left and then the right so each knot has got a little jump ring with a little dangle attached and, and then the, and then a little butterfly which we've got coming up in the next kit oh mark these are beautiful well. now it's all brand new these are brand new components yes, yes. we do also have the 60 bundles as well to put alongside yeah. this amazing Brilliant. kit um, okay, well, good luck because there's 150 of these available. Rose gold plated 925 sterling silver. What size are they? Two or three? Three millimeters. So you're getting 30 of those? 40. 40 yeah, of those. 40 it just keeps those. getting better yeah. and better. <laughs> um, you've got your sterling silver OM um, and you've got the sterling silver. Um, some charm as well two meters of your beautiful blue cord with that gold running through it i love this particular color it's like a denim it's lovely isn't it, isn't it? yes yeah. really nice i love your jewelry mark i think your jewelry is amazing we just just use the components as a base and just add it's just it's just amazing it goes on forever but genuinely i thought yeah. i'd never be able to make any of these pieces if you say it's kind of knotty i'm excited <laughs> by that Okay, good luck already, people getting involved with this one. There are just two kits, and as always, if you do have any questions uh, for Mark, message us. We are live here in the studio. The first of your price crashes. First? That's all, si that's all silver. Uh. <laughs> two charms. Uh. And 40 of your rose gold spacer beads. I'm just wondering, you know, I haven't been in that charm shop in a very long time. I'm just, I don't know, would you be able to find one of those charms? Mm. Grant? They've got this new thing, haven't they now, where there are, there are charms that you attach to your belt buckle bits. What are these called? I don't know. Belt buckles. The little loops. The little loops that you put your belt through on a pair of jeans. It's charms that you hang on those. That's the new thing. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm just thinking they're, th uh, they're, they're like, ooh, sell lots of, lots of charms on those. Mm. Sell. <laughs> it's a great marketing yeah, ploy. Yeah. 
I mean, you've got to credit them, though. They've, you you know, it's, it's a amazing. very, it's a great success. Yeah. Although in our local town, I have to say, they had the shop and then they've got a shop for returns. Oh, you That's said that. not great, is it? That you need a whole shop for returns. <gasps> what? How much are the spaces on their own? I really? Eight ninety nine. <laughs> that seems like a great deal. Forty of your rose gold plated nine two five sterling silver spaces. Plus, then you're getting your two sterling silver charms. So that's the Om symbol and the sort of sunburst. And you're getting two meters of this really beautiful um, navy. I might have to get this kit, Mark. It's lovely. It's cute, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. really nice. Yeah. And I like the fact that it's not overly complicated. You know, I haven't got lots of loads of different mm. components because sometimes that can confuse me. I don't know. That's, that's, no. <laughs> I am easily confused, to be <laughs> fair. Whereas, you know, that, you could look, you, I'm sure on someone like Masoma, they're doing that look. So all that is, it's a piece of the blue cord going through the centre and then I've macrame but instead of putting the beads on the inside, I've put them on the outside. That's all that is. And with a, again, with that little charm, and then I've added a, if I, and I've just um, done this loop block with a knot oh, to I finish off. I love that piece, Mark. That's so beautiful. That's cool. Mine wouldn't it? look like yeah. that, though. It would, honestly. They're, they're really easy techniques. Well, there's loads of you getting involved right now. Twelve ninety nine. Oh my goodness! Now you can shop ahead on the other. Um, there's only two kits. Um, we've got quantity of them, though. Same price point. Um, it's basically blue, and then you've got the pink. The pink kit, by the way, has uh, again got the rose gold uh, three millimeter space to beads with a butterfly and a heart. Butterfly so, and a heart. Um, yeah. it's up to you. I mean, at the end of the day, you can get both kits for what twenty six. Mm. It's yeah, pretty amazing, amazing, isn't it? And yeah, I said all that meterage of that cord. It's really luxurious cord as well. It's lovely. The pink is coming up. Um, right. Okay, over to you. Right. So I'm going. This is <laughs> this is so. It's, I've only just discovered this as well. I'm going to I'm going to use it a lot now because I've got masses it's of beautiful. I've got masses of jump rings at home. Okay. And I've got masses of six O's at home. Yeah. Well, I never thought of putting them together. And you'll love this. You will love this technique. It's so cool. So I've got a length of my cord, mm. and the first thing I've done is using a cigarette lighter, I've just melted the end okay. to get to a nice point. I've done that. Um, you do get a slight fray, but you can quickly remedy that with a, with a bit of clear nail varnish if you don't like to use your cigarette lighter. But it's got nylon cord running through it as well. The, the thing you need to be careful of is that you might get a little flame if you do use it because you've got the gold thread running through it okay, okay. So that, but so just be careful yeah but but if you just do it I, you know a second it will make a nice little melt on the ends okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do and, I've, and again this is something that I've recently discovered so I'm just going to show you how to do the ends so you can either tie a knot at one end and do a loop the other and have a loop lock but I, I, I like this this coiled clasp ending um, that I did on the show recently using your bail making pliers so you will need, um, so I've got your six step bail making pliers. Let me clear the deck a little bit. So I'll do, this is the first stage. And um, you'll need your 0.8 millimeter wire. So if you cut off a length of about 10 inches, and again, when I get home, so I'm gonna confess, I didn't know whether the snow was gonna stop me from getting into the studio today. So I've recorded both of these demos at home and I will put them onto my Facebook page when I get home. I'll, I'll do both of them, even though this one um, you'd have seen on the show, just so you can, um, if you don't want to go, go via YouTube, you can watch it on my Facebook page. So I'm holding the bail maker, and then you've got six bail mate, you've got six mandrels on your pliers. I'm going to be using the finest, the smallest. So I'm gonna hold the short part of the wire in my left hand. I'm gonna place the wire over the top of the mandrels, and I'm just going to wrap five or six times using my 0.8 wire around the mandrel. Okay, like so. And you want to slide it off, making sure that you've got both pieces of wire on the same side. Okay, so we're gonna slide that down. And then you're going to take your cord and we're just going to feed it up through. So you can see how it feeds all the way up, up inside your cord. So that, that's absolutely perfect. So first thing I'm going to do is the, the longer length of wire, I'm just going to cut with my pliers. Like, make sure that that's nice and level with the top. You can hold that into position. And can you see where we've just cut the wire? You can just see the end, the cut edge. 
using our flat nose pliers, we're going to squidge it into the cord so it holds it nice and secure. Okay, so that's now caught it. You just give that another squidge. Okay, so you're just squidging it and that's holding it. If you didn't want to do the squidging, you can glue it in position as well. Okay, and then with the other end, I'm going to go in and I'm going to cut about a centimetre. And using my round nose, pl round nose pliers, I'm going to curl this. I did this on the show a couple of weeks ago as well, so it's, it's something I've done recently. So I'm going to curl back using my pliers, so you have a loop. And then using your flat nose pliers, you're going to hold that loop nice and tight, and you're just going to twist 90 degrees. So you can now see that I've got mm -hmm. a loop at the end. So with that loop, you will then attach your clasp of your choice. Okay, so you can see it on the back here. So I've used a, a toggle on the back there. So you can use one millimeter wire, but, but 0.8 is, is nice and subtle enough. It's, it's, it's really nice. Okay, so do you want to do the second kit while I... We can do, yeah, Oh, is, oh it's up on, is it up on there already? No. Uh, no. Yep. And I'll just um, prep for the next. Same, same sort yeah. of ingredients, if yes. you like, just yep. variations of. This is with the pink glitter. Um, so two metres of that brand new um, cord, which is just beautiful. I think there's going to be people um, getting really excited about using this. Kumahimo? It'd be perfect for Kumahimo. Macrame. Macrame. As I said, I'm, I'm going to show you how we knot with it now, so you can do that as well. It's just lovely, but as a as a, um, a macrame cord, it's, it's it's just beautiful. Wow! Plus, you get your um, rose gold plated nine two five sterling silver spacer beads, and there's the two lovely sterling silver charms, so a butterfly and also a heart, um, matching that price point for you as well. So you can get both kits today for twenty six pounds. It's amazing. It's brilliant. And as I said, you've got you've got two meters. So what you could do is you, you cut a, a bracelet length piece of your cord, put one of these clasps either end with your charm on. That's mm. a really nice little little friendship bracelet. Yeah. So you so you can probably get twenty bracelets out of out of one reel of, of your cord if you incorporate your little charms and lovely. all sorts of things. No, it's lovely. It's very cute. But are you ready? Do you want if to you want me to, yeah, 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 yeah back to you if you if you are ready. Amazing! Make sure you check out though, because we had 150 of each of these, um, uh, each of these kits. Um, yeah, and they are flying out the door again. 12.99, Mark for the sterling silver. That's pocket amazing, money. It's an Easter egg, isn't it? That's very true. That's very very true. It's an Easter egg. So what I've got in front of me now is I've gone for I've rated my stash of six O beads. Okay, this is a really nice maroon colour. Just lay some of those. It is out. a pretty colour. It's, it's lovely. Yep. And then I've gone for, the, I found in my stash some base metal jump rings. Maybe you can use sterling silver if you want to as well. And I believe these are five millimetres inner diameter, seven exterior. Is that right? So it's always a mil. Yeah. yeah. So it's five and seven. Yeah. I've opened them and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to thread my 6O beads onto the jump rings and close them up. Oh, this, that's <laughs> cute. Honestly, this is so... Easy. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, and again, you can't do it with eight O's. They're they're not uh, the holes aren't large enough. But you can go in. We've got bundles of six O's as well. We so have. If you yeah, want to yeah. literally replicate Mark's designs. Okay, so we're just going to close those up, and just make little groups. Now on the bracelets, I did groups of five, and on the necklace, I did groups of seven. But obviously, you can do as as many or as little as you like in each of your groups. Close that up. So let's do five. Okay, all we're going to do is just close the jump rings up. And then all you do, so we've, we've added our little clasp ending. So all we're going to do is tie a simple overhand knot to start the technique. And then use your bead all just to slide that down at the beginning. Okay, so that's now ready to go. And all we're going to do, now you said this looks complicated. Mm. All we're going to do is we're going to thread our jump rings on. So you need to make sure that once you've got your 6O, you've got enough space on your jump ring to feed your cord through. And the, the, the inner five is absolutely perfect. So three, four, five. And all we're going to do is slide them down so it meets the knots. And you want to, you want to um, squidge them all together so they make a, a sort of uh, a little squidgeness of your beads. And then all we're going to do 
is we're going to again overhand knot. Look at that! We're going to squidge that knot. Just be really gentle, just sort of... Great way of practising knotting. Yeah, so just meander it down ever so gently. You don't want to make it too tight, like so. And then we've got our little group of beads. And then all you're going to do is repeat. So you do another group of five. This is, uh, can you see what it, how it makes sense now? Yes! So it's group of five, a knot. What an effective technique! Group of five, knot, group of five, knot. And because you've still got space, you see, you can add charms to those jump rings. If you don't want to add the, this, the six O's, just leave them as bare jump rings, and then you've got all those different endings to attach charms, all sorts of things to. But I think if you've got a stash of six O's sat at home in boxes, and you've got lots of jump rings, this is really nice. So this, this is the bracelet, which has got, as I said, groups of five, and then the necklace, exactly the same, yeah. but using groups of seven. Mark, this is absolutely beautiful. Really, really cool little technique. Yeah, and, and, and even, you know, where the cord is literally just pop, you know, poking through in those yep. lovely knots. Love this idea. You need to it's, come up with a name for it's this. It's lovely, isn't it? It's yeah. really, really cool. So Have I you think got I'll, a name no, for it? I think you I'll need be to doing come up it. With one. Yeah, I think I'll be doing it a lot because I love it. And it's so simple. You just spend an hour opening, popping your six O's on, closing them, pop them in a bag. And then when you've got 10 minutes, that's all it takes to make a necklace. They're all ready to go. You just thread them on, knot in between. Really I'm trying cool. to think of, yeah. uh, uh, of like a, a description for this because mm. it needs to be, you know, like it the needs goddess. To be a something, yeah. <laughs> kiss cross. Text yeah. it if you've got any ideas. It's lovely though, isn't it? I, it's just beautiful. Yeah. I love the texture of it and I love the fact that literally anybody could have a go at that. Yeah. It's so easy. Amazing. Oh, really um, cool. Hello to you, Carolyn, yeah. saying hi to you both. Loving the demo. Can you let me know your Facebook page, please, Mark, as you mentioned it? So it's jewellery maker, guest designer, Mark Smith. It's a bit there of a mouthful. But if, you, if you, but if you just put jewellery maker, guest designer, Mark Smith, and, uh, and like and join my page, because I'm nearly at 5,500 followers. You? So I've, um, I've got to be honest, I'm so yeah. rubbish on Facebook these days. So if anyone's watching who has not joined my page, if they could have a look and like it and follow me. And uh, so I've every, every show without fail, I put pictures on the night you before do. and a little in, bit of info, what's coming up. You get lots of secret gossip and, and yeah, little extras. And, join yeah, Mark on great. his Facebook. Yeah, because you do share a lot, don't you, mm. on your Facebook yeah. page. So, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, you just skirt over my Facebook because I never actually... <laughs> I'm terrible on it. Um, I need to do more. Um, hello, Jane, saying, great idea, Mark. Uh, we'll be using that with colour jump rings. I found oh, one brilliant. sorting out I my do. stash. Have a look through your stashes because I, I keep finding things that I've, uh, I forgot I had and, no, it's amazing. Yeah, it, they, yeah. it does accumulate, doesn't it? Do you want to know a massive secret? Yes. There's a massive secret. So as you know, I've got a massive stash. I've got 12 years worth of stash that I've formed over the years. And because I get sent kits for JM, I don't get time to make my own jewellery anymore. So it's building up and building up and building up. And I've got some real antique strands and gemstones. So next Friday, mm -hmm. I've got Georgia and Alice coming over for tea. Nice. And we're going to go through, trawl through all my boxes of gemstones from old school JM take them away and see if we can get them replicated for new viewers over the next over the next year. So I've got some real finds, gemstone shapes, sizes, gemstones we haven't had before. Cool. So, so it's going to be amazing. So like like yeah. the old trapezoids. Yeah, yeah, and, and the big slabs, the double drills. Irregular drops. Regular everything. All those that Carol amazing. used to sing about, yeah. remember all them? Amazing, that yeah. sounds exciting. Yeah. Plus you get a nice cup of tea. Cup of tea. Um, yeah. Fabulous. <laughs> well done. Um, yeah, so make sure you do have a look because you did say you'd put the demonstrations I'll as do well. it as soon as I get home. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Um, okay, shall we do some of the 6 O bundles? Gosh, time has literally it flown has, by yeah. today, hasn't it? 6 O's, they, they are like gold dust, aren't they? They are, yeah. Well, um, we, the, the, when we did our 6 o show, they all sold out on yeah. the show. So. What is it about a 6 o that we love so much? It's a really good, it's quick makes for a start. They've got really good drill holes going through the centre. Um, it's a really good way of learning CB techniques before you move on to your 11 o's and your 8 o's and your smaller beads. And, um, and they go on your thicker cords as well. So you, yeah. you can put them onto your leather and your eslons and, and things like that. So I love this bundle, these it's metallics. Beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. So you've got what your. Um, Oh, are these the pearls? Yeah. <gasps> Baroque wow. pearl, antique brass. Then you've got the Baroque dark olive pearl and you've got the silver line crystal. Wow. There is That's only lovely. 20 of this bundle though. Right. Like for example, uh, I've got loads of 11 O's. I haven't got any 6 O's. Right. 
in my stash. So I'd be all over it. Always always grab them. Because yeah. that, that design, and it is really, you know, the six O's are integral really to yeah. that. So this, that this necklace here and the bracelet use two thirds of a tube of the, of the six O's, okay. the big tube. So you still have some left as well. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. £14.99 only. Um, do make sure you check out your baskets on it because there was only 20 of them. Wow. The, Mayuki, um, this, this, the pearl edition, again, mm. you speak about how some of them are more um, more of a luxurious Yeah, these, these pearls bead. are gorgeous. It's, it's their take on a, on a pearl, but with that large drill hole going through the centre. And they're slightly rippled as well. They've got really nice texture yeah, to they them. Are they're really lovely. Beautiful. And they would go with both of the kits as well, they wouldn't would. they? They'd yes. match the pink and also the blue. Yep. Um, again, make sure you do check out your baskets. We had only 20 of them available. Oh, sold out. Well done. Um, amazing. Oh. Um, okay. <sighs> jump rings? Okay. Not everybody's got jump rings. No. Five millimeter internal diameter. These are your rose gold color. These are brilliant. At least ah. the sterling, are they? Yes. They're amazing. So, for example, if I can borrow that bracelet for a minute, they go pretty. They're, they go beautifully, don't they, with yep. that bracelet? And those are sterling silver as well. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Now, you're getting a quantity of, what, 30 of them? Um, these are going to appeal to lots of different jewellery makers, not just uh, those of you that are excited to try Mark's amazing demonstration, but also, you know, your chain mailers, those of you that just want to sort of use a, a jump ring to attach your clasps or your, your pendants, etc. You get all 30 of them. Going to do it one amazing price point. We've got them in three different colours as well. Look at the precision of that wow. cutting. It's incredible, isn't it? 11 .99. Yeah, yeah. Can you see? Ethan's just zoomed them nice and close. Can you see that? They are precision cut. If they were, um, um, these are machine cut. That's, I think I'm right in saying. Machine mm. cut rather than sawn, or I can't remember which way round it is. Anyway, if you were to cut these with your pliers, you get a bird, don't you? Would, you? An angle. One of them yes. would have like a sort That's of slight right. 45 yeah. degree angle. Yeah. Whereas because these are so these, sawn, these are sawn. Yeah. yes, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Because these are sawn, they are perfect. Can you see that? Well, uh, you, you might think, okay, why is that? Why does that matter? Well, you're less likely to see the actual join if they are actually yeah. sawn. Um, Eleven pounds and ninety nine pence again. Rose gold plated nine two five sterling silver. Karen, Aisha, Pearl, Weldon, Chew, Carol, Susan, Anne, Mary, Christine. Um, Geraldine, lovely to be with you. Again, uh, um, five millimeter internal diameter and you're getting all 30 of them. Um, we have got also the yellow gold color, same measurement. So again, for those of you that are thinking about chain mail, um, the quality of our jump rings, and you know, something I haven't mentioned out loud in a very long time, but the quality of our jump rings, I truly think is, um, it's right up there. And we've had so many, so mm. many designers yeah. say it, don't they? Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know, you can make jump rings, you can. Yeah. But it's actually having that precision cut. Mm -hmm. So that in an ideal world, we, sh we don't want to be, when, when your jump ring is actually fully closed, we don't want to have to see, we don't want to be able to detect no. the and if you're, opening. Um, if you're using jump rings at the end of your seed bead designs, you want something that closes and seals properly, otherwise your thread will come out of the gap. Yes. And you'll never get a clasp on once that happens. No. So, so for, for seed bead endings, I think these are these are fantastic. You can see that precision, yeah, can't yeah. you? Um, you get 30 of them as well. Again, beautiful additions, the same technique that Mark has been demonstrating. Let's match that price for you, everybody. Yeah, there's some essentials, aren't they? But, you know, you might have jump rings in your stash. You might, like myself, need to replace some of your essential findings. I'm desperate for shepherd hooks. I'm desperate for head I'm running out of shepherd hooks as well. Isn't that funny? Yeah. We need an hour of we, we need a We need a basic finding hour, I think we need. That'd be good, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah. What do you reckon? What's the probability yeah. then, Roscoe? A findings hour. <laughs> well, I didn't fill you oh, with confidence. Maybe, no. <laughs> I didn't fill you with confidence. Um, yum, yum, maybe. Well, we just don't have the quantity. Is that what you mean? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Whenever they go on air, they literally sell out straight away. Well, that's because they're essentials, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see. Watch this space. We'll always endeavour. Um, 11 99 only. We've still got the silver to bring you as well. Make sure you do check out those baskets, everybody. Did we have quantity of these? 
Almost 200 available. Let's move on to the silver. Amazing. Um, look at all these. Right, these are going to go absolutely. Why do, you, why do you think? Well, these, these are your, your silver plated copper. Uh -huh. And as I said, for, for, to replicate this second, you will need to buy bulk. So if, if I were, if you don't have any of this size, particular size jumper, and this is the size you need, and you want to replicate these designs, I would get four or five of these. Okay. Without so a you're going to need a lot of jump rings you'll need to a make that design. Lot. Which I, I well, each of these little group has seven jump rings. So, okay. So there's a lot. There's probably about 200 jump rings on there. Okay. Well, yeah. you're getting approximately oh, perfect. 200 in oh, this one. Oh, brilliant. Right. Now, we have got quantity, yeah. but they haven't been on air individually for over a year. Wow. I would snaffle these. Well, they're, they're, they're yeah. a must, aren't they? Yeah. Not only because they are the design, they're the mm. feature of this amazing yeah. design, Mark, but a jump ring, we need jump rings, yeah. don't for we? For everything, for everything. For your, for as you said, for your, for your, for your chain mail, for finishing off your designs, mm. for adding your clasps to. They're brilliant. They are a must. Yeah. You've still got that precious metal as well. 16 pounds and 99 pence only, but we're gonna do it in one price uh -huh. crash. Yeah, stock up when you get the chance. Yeah, yeah. It's been a year since Especially I've Especially get 200 you. in a packet. That's yeah. brilliant. Yeah, That's I mean, amazing. you just literally have them in a little bag or a little yeah. jug wherever you actually yeah. saw your jump rings. There's your essentials. You know, how many times do we reach for silver-plated mm. jump rings? Yeah. <laughs> all, uh, the all the time. Literally all the time. Yeah. Um, they are like gold dust, yeah. Have we got quantity then? 200 available, but already I can tell you I've got uh, two full rows of um, of names. Lots of uh, confirmations already. Amazing. I'm totally and utterly inspired by your demonstration, Mark. I love the fact that... Cool, isn't it? It is so <laughs> cool. It's so easy. It just looks really complicated. It looks as though you've wrapped wire around it. Do you know what they look like to me? They look like berries. Yeah. This one here. Yeah. yeah I, I, I'm trying to. I'm trying to come up with a tech. Uh, we'll you know, look with, with a, a name. With a yeah. name for this amazing design. I can't think of it. I'll definitely in. do this again. I love it. I absolutely beautiful. Love it. It's really beautiful. Mm. Phone lines have gone crazy, but one thing you will need, much like, do you remember the links of London Sweetie bracelet? Exactly. Yes. You Two to have five. You need for that. How many? Two hundred and twenty-five. Really? Yeah. So they've they've discontinued they that. Have, now, haven't yeah. They have. Yeah. What's so much doing? like the sweetie bracelet, you need a lot of jump rings. <gasps> what? Oh, it's very quiet. It's I'll be very grabbing ten. At, I'll be grabbing ten at that price. That's ridiculous. Honestly, over a year. Ro Ross, oh, what were they no. before? <laughs> these are going to sell out. You just, these are going to go. So you need 100 for the bracelet, for this big bracelet, the chunky bracelet, and then 200 odd for the... It's up to you how many you use. Oh, 4 you, know. you, I know. you would definitely yeah. be stocking up your stash, wouldn't yeah. you? Because they are so essential, aren't they? Yeah. You know, what I would love, what I aspire to is to, is to be as organised as you. You know, where you've kind of got this lovely lovely area, mm. and that's uh, how I imagine, like Anne and Sue, you've got a little drawer for your silver-plated jump rings, you've got a little drawer for your head pins yeah. and your box clasps, and yeah, yeah. I thought so. <laughs> I mean, mine's all literally <laughs> just chaos, if you like. It's still in a deflecto trolley. So there's a level of organisation. Oh, that's all right. That's good. Minimal, that's good. though, I have to say. Um, no. Look at the call screens. There are tons of you there. I've literally got a full TV screen, basically. Four rows um, of names. Well done to you, Victoria. Cambridgeshire, you've got four. East Sussex, multi-bought. Margaret's multi-bought. Pauline's multi-bought. Wow. Gillian's multi-bought. Catherine's multi-bought. Nicole's multi-bought. Yeah, it's, I mean, what a way um, to end the show. Amazing. Make sure you check out. There is still quantity, but they are flying. They're absolutely flying. Now, I can do wow. one more auction before we disappear. Um, for the weekend. We brought you the most spectacular Malachite showcase oh, earlier on, didn't we? Um, oh, and I, I, I'm guessing it got producer Ross's mind ticking. He was like, hang on a second. Didn't we, once upon a time, launch a slider bracelet with Malachites? You asked me earlier what I would do with the tumble strand we had earlier, you and did. I said I would individual slider bracelets, but to have the Malachite dongles as well. Dongles? <laughs> I don't know if that's the right word. I like it. <laughs> I've always called it's a them good that. Word. The dangles, dongles. Yeah. Oh, how that's amazing. Gorgeous. There are 40 of these available in the world. Natural malachite. 
solid 925 sterling silver. Look at that. This mirror light luster. Yeah, only 40 available. Yeah, we've brought you the gem set. Um, I can't remember which stone it was actually that we first introduced gemstones in. Was it amber? Well, I can't remember. I think it might have been amber. Mm. Yeah. And then we did Grand Digirite mm. in, in no particular order. I remember the Grand Digirite. And then we did like sapphire, ruby, and emerald in a set of three. Yeah. How amazing. Yeah. Malachite, not stopping at 39.99. There are only 40 of these available. It's been, uh, yeah, for any of, you, any of you that got involved during the Malachite showcase, or maybe you've got some lovely Malachite in your stash already. Um, our finale auction of the day, Mark, 14 pounds wow. and 99 pence only. Sheila, Karen, well done. Mary, Carol, Denise, Susan, Sarah, Christine, Sally, Julie. Um, what, a, what, a, what a day. That's incredible, isn't it? It's been amazing. Yeah. I, know, I watched The Apprentice and there's a, there's a new um, chap called Stephen, Stephen Bartlett, and he wears dongle bracelets. Does he? Because I was thought if the dongle is going to be too long for gents to wear, but this would be perfect. Why not? For that. I don't know. Do maybe. You know, I haven't watched yeah. The Apprentice for years. But our Sarah Davis is on it. Dragon's Den. Yeah, that's what I said. Did I, what did I say? You said Apprentice. Sorry, Dragon's Den. Uh, oh, I watched Dragon's that. Dragon's Den. Yeah, Sorry. Lovely, yeah. lovely yeah. Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've loved today, Mark, as always. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much for joining me. Please be careful on the way back. I will. I'll take it nice and Please nice be and slowly. nice and slow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, apparently, it's raining now, so yeah. we should be, yeah, we should be all go. good. We should be all good. And we're sensible, aren't we? Yeah. I mean, I'm saying that. I'm only around the corner. Um, have a lovely afternoon. Stay safe, likewise, again. Um, do make sure you check out. You can still just to give you an update you can still get hold of these amazing cashies um there are two of them left i mean 129 pounds do you know when you're back next thursday with a brand new uh vinyl heshi launch Ooh, that sounds Can't wait. amazing yeah, yeah. um look forward to that have a lovely weekend everybody i'll see you monday